unmute myself. All right. Open everything back up. YouTube, Twitch, Twitter. Everything. All right, that can go there. That can go there. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. M. What's I looking for? I was going to look for something. Oh, music. A little bit delayed to the stream though, because I had to drop me brother off at school today, and then I still had to make breakfast, so it was a little bit late. It's a wee bit though, not really. Golly, that crap! This is oatmeal. It's hot. It's on. Literally on fire. Okay. Out of that to open up this. Let's make sure we are live. Ah, which we are. thinking to myself. I don't think I was, I'm nah. I went from ahead of the game to behind the game now. Cause I ran out of time this morning, I just realized. Uh oh, we do what we do. It's not available in my location. That's odd. I don't think that makes it think I'm not live. Oh man, I'm gonna have to open everything back up. Everything I literally just mean one thing. Grind a diamond. League of Legends today, baby. Maybe a little bit Tarkov, but League of Legends. I will start out with Tarkov until Copy Edit It's funny, all my titles have been like, grind level 10, grind level 10. And now it says, EFT until 10. Well, I mean like 10 o'clock. I'll play EFT until 10 o'clock. I hope that's not confused. Oh well. If it is, it is. Cancel that, no thumbnail. I feel like it just complicates things. It's actually not as behind at 8 o'clock as I thought. I was thinking we were big late. Like, I thought it would be 15 after right now. Dumb 10. It's a plus. It's in two chats still. If 
up. Pop out, chat. There we go. Alright, so let's hurry up and get onto it then. I need to make money somehow. I just don't know what's the approach I want to take. Probably customs with uh going after all the caches. Just because I know customs decent to be not well, but enough to get by. Because there's a ton of them. Okay, Doug. <laughs> All right, hold up. Go to active feed. Beautiful. And as usual, probably gonna have to turn up. EFT. Let's see if I can eat this oatmeal yet. This stuff is it's freaking purple. Like it's not even like oatmeal color. Actually, it looks black on camera. See, it is purple. Got some blueberries. Huh, huh, huh. Okay. Bummer, that's it. Look at this. This is what we try thought we could do last night. We died. We got our taws and our body armor. I thought I could give it back to, uh, what's his name? I died last night with that loot on me. Scav had both of them. And my friend picked it up and I figured, okay. And he got out after 10 minutes, so it was found in raid. But I thought he could just give it to me. And then I would turn it into Skier, or Supplier, what's his name? Skier. And nope, sure can't. We're gonna take a scab in the factory and go look for our body armor. We're gonna start off with that at least. And then we're gonna go to customs and make money. Hot! Tomorrow's on sweat. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Oatmeal, blueberries, walnut, and honey. Okay, here we go.
Where's the office at again? the sewer that blew up. My arm's blacked out. Goodness, bro, you need to stop wiggling. How much meds does this guy got? in the arm. Our arm was blacked out. It's a bummer. Alright, alright. Man, I lost two. What? 441 damage dealt. Oh, okay. Mmm. Raids are good. That was our first one. <laughs> We killed a guy though. Hmm. I'm broker than a joke though. We'll 
We'll see how this goes. Hmm. I might as well take this body armor in since I can't even use it. I can use the relay though. I already have headphones on. Okay. Escape from Tarkov. Customs. 12 o'clock. Ready. I don't even care about that body armor. The backpack I kind of do. Wonder if anybody would actually keep it though. Yummy breakfast. Also, I had a piece of toast with Nutella on it. That was pretty darn good as well. Stuff's yummy. Nutella's so good. So not healthy, but so yummy. This rate is to hit as many loot caches as possible to get as much money as possible. Because we are broke. So we have less than a hundred thousand ruples. We also probably just need to sell some stuff, but hey. Oh well. Hey, Lamau. Okay, here we go. Where's my water? There it is. Oh, my cranberry juice. Ugh, I forgot I had that bad, Larry. Mm. Don't know what just fell out there, but... Let's see, where do we spawn? Keyboard? Am I playing this video game? Okay, there it goes. That was weird. Mm, there's one right up here. There's actually two right up here. I'm not sure there's a handful in this area. Okay. Wait, okay, there's one right where I spawned. Hold up. I'm going back to that one. Video with you. Uh, you talking about uh, what's his name? Pesley for sure. I, I'm only on episode. I'm not even fully through episode three yet, though. Yeah, I'm not even fully through episode three. They're so entertaining, though. Because first off, I think Tarkov's just a fun game to watch. It says it's somewhere in here. It's a fun game to watch, and then he's so smart. Lots of good advice. Okay, where is this thing at? I know it's in here. I think. I feel like it's in here. I'm cool with waiting. Mainly because I'm not trying to fight anybody. I need to get out with all the loot possible. One thing I don't agree with. He said that he acts like you can't just wait out like a lot of things don't not everything gets 100 percent looted no and not to he died he really he's really against camping <laughs> i'm not i'm like bro 
take advantage. Oh, wait, I need to. There we go. Uh -huh. Three to five with me. <laughs> okay, somewhere in here, because this is the Big Ben by the Big Rock. And it says that there's one. Like right in here. Oh my goodness. That thing's like invisible. He hates customs? Yeah. Especially as a new player, he says he hates it. I don't think it's that bad though. Like, I'm not as against it as he is. Like, I feel way more comfortable. I hate woods, bro. That's what I hate is woods. Cause I, I guess it also comes with not knowing the maps very much. Thank you for that beautiful juice. Okay, finally found that. Took me a minute, but we got there. He also gets very triggered, and it kind of makes you feel uncomfortable. Cause if y'all chill, all informative, and then gets boom, he dies, and he's like, oh. he's like, he doesn't get mad, he doesn't get loud like Tyler One or something, but he just is like, like Loki hates the game or something. It's just like, oh okay. So, but super smart. Lots of ammo, dear lordy. Oh, they look the same. I thought they might stack. Uh. I'm probably really loud, I just realized. Not to mention, I just walked past this guy's one. See if we can't find it. right here is where we found the good loot or not good loot but the good uh the juicy scab that dropped literally the perfect armor and the perfect gun for me. I think that stack no such an awkward fight too. I don't know if I should have chased him down. I hit, uh, I hit him four times? He was naked! And I only did 194? Man. That don't make sense to me. He was literally naked, was he not? Not naked, but like no, no, no rig. No nothing. He literally had nothing. Looks like an old hatchet runner. Hit him four times, it said. And only did, each bullet did barely, f it didn't even do a full 50 damage every bullet. Huh, that's interesting. Well then. Yeah, but I thought all I could hit was his head too, you know? And not to mention I had a helmet on. The guy had literally nothing. He was naked. Depressing that four bullets only do. Hmm. Oh, we're gonna run in with this now. Oh well. Yeah. Oh well. Hmm. 
I wonder, does anyone have a bigger mag for this gun? The... Oh, that holds seven by... Hmm, I'll take a nade. I like nades. Let me see, maybe he's got a bigger mag. Yes, this is what I want. Give me two of these, please. I believe these are. I hope I didn't just buy them for no reason. I believe these. Yeah. Yes, sir. Look, that looks exact. <laughs> like the exact same. Just one holds more ammo. Rip. Scav for money? Oh, do I not? Do I have scav up again? And yeah, I'll play. Yeah, I have it up and set. Whoa! Do you see my scav? That's a decked out Moses. What is that? A Mosin? Looks like a Mo I don't know what that is. Trevor. Here, we can get in Discord. It'll be easier. Yeah, you're already in. Figures. Cool. Hey, do you see my scav? Um. I don't think that's a Mosin. I don't. It, that's what I first thought, but then I was like, wait, it doesn't look like one. I don't know it what that like, is. Go ahead. It looks like a hunter with a uh, scope. Uh -huh. It's also got a suppressor on it. It's loaded. I just found it. Yeah. Hey, got check this out real quick. Check out my. Uh, this is my insurance claim. Holy bejesus. This is your insurance? Yeah, I just got on this morning and it's like, you have messages. I clicked into it. This is my insurance return. Dear heavens. I was like, what? Oh, you got your uh, DT. Yeah, see, that was all insurance. <laughs> Bro, I didn't I get my cleared. ADAR back. That you put a scope on. I was so upset. That was like the only gun that I wanted to get back. And I threw it in the water, I thought. Right. But, was it 24 hours ago? Oh yeah, it was when we last, I was like almost 36 now probably. Somebody tossed this gun for me, I don't remember, I think it was uh, Luke. Probably. He tossed this for me so I got it back. Correct. See, I thought I tossed mine. Bummer. You wanna do a small run in customs? Uh, yeah, sure. You just looking for loot? Yeah, just money. I need money. I'm broker then. I need to sell stuff is what I need to do. I need to start selling stuff, but uh, if I can just make it out, if I can just get, actually, you know what I should do? I should just complete the quest, then sell stuff, because I'm level nine, or eight, nine. Nine. So one of the things I like kind of already knew, but I've really noticed watching um, Presley mm -hmm. is that my audio is just complete trash. Yeah. Um, and so I went back to work at trying to get my earbuds. Cause remember I explained to you, I was having trouble with it. Not, um, as soon as I opened discord, not oh, yeah. the game sound anymore. So I got that fixed. I'm using them right now. So cool. hopefully this will really enhance, um, being able to hear things. Have you noticed that he never goes into a raid without a helmet or earbuds though? Like headphones? Yeah. Never. Yeah. Always buys it. Oh, I don't know about never, but almost always buys it. Yeah, because the helmet just keeps you from getting domed on. I mean, not always. You can still get like hit in the face, but like, mm -hmm. it just it really helps. And yeah, it's kind of cool too because um, I'm a little ahead, so I won't give too many spoilers. But um, no, it don't matter. It's of, just information for me. Okay, it's kind of cool because at one point he does talk about how it's actually kind of neat that he's getting murked so much oh yeah because you get to see that it even good everybody. players like him right yeah. i don't know i can't remember exactly where that was but that was like since episode two he keeps talking about it gotcha or yeah because episode two is the one where he goes it's all going downhill <laughs> and yeah he's like crying out for help that's oh funny. episode three that's right that's the one um it's titled like good stash or god stash or something i won't spoil it but he finds on interchange like he's like even he was shocked he said that was the best loot stash <laughs> he's ever found so i won't give a spoiler there but yeah it was it was crazy can i put this on anything i wonder <clears throat> oh i can 
I figured out one other thing you need to do, Blake. What's up? Clean out my inventory? I know. Leave me alone. That's what I'm working on right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need to... Uh, he's got his little catchphrase. He's like, let's crack right into it. Oh, yeah. You need to have, you need to have a, a Blake's catchphrase, you know, before you get in your match to pump you up, get you ready, you know, like... And I mean, all by itself, his catchphrase is actually like a little kind of weird or corny. But because he uses it every time and it's like his catchphrase, yeah. it kind of like uh, it you, don't, you don't you know judge I mean? him. You're like, oh, okay. The first video, you're like, what? yeah, you're like, like this is uncomfortable. Video, like, yeah, the second video, you're like, okay, and then by the third one, you're like, yeah, let's do it, man. <laughs> you're like, I'm a part of this. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to sell all these fleece. I pick them up only to sell them to her. And then I just decided never to sell them, apparently. Look at this, a $4,000 dog tag? USEC? Name Dan Brothers? That's two mil on the market, just wait. <laughs> I can't remember, Do yeah. I, should I sell the LCD screen? The broken one? Or does that sell for a lot on the market? Um, give me a second, I can tell you. It's the broken one? Yeah. LCD. Are you level 10 yet? I'm like one level away, so I'm gonna save out. Um, the broken goes for about 10 grand, maybe a little okay, less, somewhere eight. between. So nice. you might as well just sell it. Yeah. What about PSU? Uh, what is it? PSU? Oh, the computer. Yeah. It might make you type in power supply unit. Which is kind of annoying, but at the same time. That's what it's called. Um, power supply unit. Oh, um, I would hold on to that one. That's 52,000. I got two of them. Okay, nice. look up a Geiger molar counter. <laughs> okay, I just need to get to level 10. I have a billion hoses. Are those still selling for... I? Uh, G-E-I-G-E-R, yeah. Those are only 10. Okay, I can sell it for... Cool. That's then, also a, a mission thing oh, later, if you want to hold on to it. Ouch, oh, I should have. <laughs> that's alright, you'll find more of those. They're like the gas analyzers. Okay. Can you look up a hose real quick? And that's my last request. <laughs> the regular hose? Yeah. Well, it's called yeah, a, like, I'm still... core or whatever hose. Ooh, yes. 27? So probably, it'd probably sell quickly for like 20... What I always do is if you want to just sell it real fast, I always do it like a thousand less than whatever's on the market. Cause mm -hmm. like in that snapshot, more people could put things on there lower than that. Yeah. So in that case, I would do like 25,000. You'll probably sell them just boom, boom, boom. Well, why not know? sell it for 30? You'll still be after that 27 gets bought. You can, but what happens if like five more people do what I do and go under 27? Now you're six back. Well, then I just so like the that price. probably would. It would still sell for 30 eventually, mm -hmm. but if you want to sell it like quickly, like you need the money for like the next raid, uh, yeah. then you want to sell it under. But yeah, you're right. You can, like, you lose out on some money that way I have for sure. Eight of them, bro. I have eight hoses. Right. I got hoses for days. <laughs> and the nice thing about the market is you can cluster those. So if you want to sell, like, say, four of them, five of them, all of them, whatever. You can just make like one post and then you'll click them all and it'll say like quantity eight and then they'll all sell for that amount. Or you could do like four at the cheaper amount and then you could do a second uh, post of like four yeah. at the other amount. So that way you can get like a little bit of instant money, but then yeah. you'll get a little bit of good money. Like right, you can do it however you want. I have my scab ready. Okay, give me a second. I got to get bullets for this thing. I got talking. Hey, look at that. The PP-19. <laughs> get out of here. I'm using a Sega 9, the off brand, but hey. I just got it back from insurance, that's why I'm using it. <laughs> Man is hating on me for liking the gun. It's got no kick though, bro. Don't even start with me. And then, and then the man, the myth, the legend, Pesley's like, yeah, this gun's busted. <laughs> he didn't say it's busted, but he's like, it's a great beginner gun. I mean, low level I'm logging gun. Out. I'm logging out, I'm out, bye. <laughs> it was fun, everybody. Bro, he makes he also the shoddy with the eight five C. I know he makes that gun look so good. I'll tell you what, I take a shotgun into any mission and I'm just like blah 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 like I'm shooting birds out of the air <laughs> and then the, I die. Like I don't even know how he does it. Alright. Yeah, I think we should take scab. But I don't know. I'm just gonna complete my missions, honestly. 
because I'm so close to level nine. Uh, he also need... takes like so much uh, meds. Mm -hmm. The nice thing though about having the Gamma container is that you can take all that he takes, but yet never lose it. Right. Ah, why did I get a Windows notification? If a thousand dollars is pretty cool. He keep he knows all the keys though. I have no idea like all, any of the keys. He's like, oh like yeah. All the bindings. What? Like all the bindings? No, 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 no. Like actual keys. Like he keeps all the keys that he knows that are gonna be good. I'm just sitting there oh. like I don't know what's good, bro. What do you mean? I keep them all. <laughs> He's like, oh no, don't need that one. No, oh, that one's trash. Oh, this one's worth something. I'm like. Oh, okay, okay, sure. What's a hemostat again? What's that do? I think that's the heavy bleed one. Oh. If you do, if you inspect it, it should tell you. Oh. I think it's like the bandage, but the, the stronger Check version of the bandage. Through the wound, operate directly to the source of the bleeding. In just a few seconds. Sounds like it. What's a profital? Cheers. The what? Because I can expect it. That's right. Can you guys hear? Oh, that? I don't know what those are. Yeah, what's up? Oh, uh, nothing. I was watching a video and it said cheers, and then you said cheers. So I'm like, wait, could you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I could hear it. <laughs> what the fuck? What's wrong with my mic then? Oh, hmm. it's not empty. Hmm. So, like loud, or was it just faintly like background? Mine was pretty um, faint. But. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it was like as loud as we're talking now, but yeah. I mean, it wasn't like a hundred percent. Like it wasn't like you know on the other side of the room sounding either. So kind of like in between, I would say. That's annoying. All right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Okay. I was watching a video on how to build on the forest. Oh. But supposedly they're gonna release a new one here, oh. like within the next year or something like you that. You saw that so. Outlast too? I mean, Outlast uh, the Forest too. Yeah, I still have to look up this like game. Sons of the Forest or whatever. Yeah. Well, I originally that. I was thinking I was gonna get it for Jaden because I kind of liked it, but then I realized how many cannibal titties there are in the game, and I'm like, well, maybe <laughs> I probably did. Bro, that's gonna be his favorite part. Why take that from him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's I, in middle school. That le legit would be his best part. <laughs> do you want to yeah, go to? I mean, he turns, he turns thirteen this year. So I'm done for whatever, Blake. You just let me know. I'm going to the woods. We're playing Tarkov, Ryan. If you want to jump in on the next one, Scab, by the yeah, way. I'm already, uh, I'm already planning on it. Oh, cool. I'm actually on Scav. I was going to play the forest till I saw you guys were on. I'm like, all right, I'm not playing the forest. Do you have a Scav up, Ryan? Or do you need to wait for your Scav? I'll probably have to wait. Blake's streaming, just so you know, too. All right. Let's go ahead and... Oh. Here we go. Try not to swear. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, what was I going to say? I forget, whatever. Oh, I need to kill I need to kill scavs and I need to get the food stuff. So and I need I to do too. I where was this did you see where the food stash is on here? No, that's what I'm gonna pull up on the map though. Okay. Ah, like, get out of here. I okay, saw so that I in his... the feedback okay. problem. Sorry. Oh you're good. But uh so if my headset's turned all the way up, it literally repeats everything as I slowly turn my headset down then it got rid of it. Ah, uh, okay. Huh. Oh, no, I need to go to the woods. That would help at all. And then food stash. Did it disconnect me again, bro? It's been doing that lately. I think so, because I think mine did too. It just kicks me out. I don't know why. It's like every other raid. Well, I'm just going to stop my streaming, because that'll help. Food. Recording. At least it didn't like count it. Yeah. The scav run, so. 
I'd rather get kicked out early and get to rerun it and have a full run than yeah. like you see it like I'd load or something. Blow. I didn't end up playing any Tarkov yesterday. I saw that. You never got it on. I was like, oh, driver. Well, I was going to get on later that afternoon, but then I was, t I, maybe too, because he goes down here to Fort Wayne to college, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, hey, on your way home, I'll meet you. And then I don't have to drive to a villa, and it's not really out of his way. Yeah. So I just met him on his way up back up to villa. And, uh, he said he wanted to play some D&D &D last night. So I was like, okay, cool. Well, I'm the DM and I haven't like come up with anything yet, like more story. So I spent the afternoon making up story. Um, they were going to go donate plasma, him and his girlfriend, and then he was going to take her home and then he was going to get on. Well, it turns out his girlfriend didn't eat all day, went and donated plasma and then got all woozy and sick. So at like nine o'clock at night, when he was supposed to be on playing D&D, &D, we called him. He's like, yeah, I'm at Logan's. Um, I probably won't be on for like 10. <laughs> and I'm like, well, we were going to stop at midnight, so we might as well just wait and play tomorrow. So we didn't end up playing D&D &D last night. Right. <laughs> I mean, it was really his fault. The other thing I was kind of mad about was when we called him, he was sitting at Logan's. It's like, why didn't you text us, bro? You know, like, uh, yeah. just say, hey, my, my girlfriend got sick. Like, I'm totally cool with that. That's not anything you can help but at least let us know okie doke so i can't figure out where the rations are Do you, where are you oh, at? we spawned at the village yeah I'm true here at the village with you i'm going in to the village all right i'm in I the middle like... of the road i don't know where you're at but... <laughs> i feel like the food stash is something that was like has always been on the map like the way he talked about it so mm -hmm. i feel like this being in the new area it's not here yeah i'm gonna look for one thing though while i am here oh i found hey, I have, a lunch box you have the zb114 key let me see oh that's the one you need i don't have it no you, you the lunch box oh that's yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly all right i'm coming in I here keep looking up. um is there somewhere I can put it so I don't have to throw it on the ground? Oh. oh here. Okay, I'll throw it on the ground. Hopefully we what see is it. it. There it goes. What key is this? That's the extract bunker oh. for this. this. If you go down to that bunker, there's the locked door that you have to have the key for. Yeah. There also is so. a spawn in the village. Now that we're here, I don't know where he's at. Where is this place on the map? Um, uh, It's in the new area. That's all I know. Bro. There's, There's apparently a, loot here. a spawn for uh, those book, those armor vests that I need. In a double storied brown building and then a greenish bungle, bungle. I think that's what this thing is, the green thing. Holy bejesus, that scaf scared me. Oh my goodness. Which one did you go into? The green looking one. Okay, I'm gonna go in the brick house with the garage open. You're looking for armor, you said? Yeah, white armor. Oh, here's an unbroken LCD screen and a relay. The 3M armor, that you go, that's the word for it. <coughs> Here is, is this canned beef, herring? Oh. Herring's nice. I do have cab ready. Condensed milk and a USB A. So I'm guessing you got the day off work today, Ryan? Yeah, well, yeah, today's my day off. I work this whole weekend. Water. All right. Thirsty. Well, I can play till about. I think Mason City gets home about four, so I can play till about then. Yeah, that's about how long I can play, because then my girlfriend gets off work. I have to write a little more of the D&D campaign though, because now that we have more time, I got to write more content. 
No worries. I'll probably play this for a few hours and then I might switch to the forest. That's cool. On a practice building. It's a pretty fun game, but I don't know that I'd worry about buying it until the new one comes out. Because <laughs> I guess this game's actually really old. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I've I'm never still... even heard of it until like. Are you running, Blake? Yeah, yeah. Months ago. Okay. I'm right outside your building. Okay, that's what I heard then. Sorry, Ryan. Oh, you're okay. Well, I found like a bunch of like tools and stuff in this house, but mm -hmm. I didn't find any armor. Yeah, I'm not seeing it either. I don't know if this is the correct village. Well, there's more this way. Okay, should I kill that scav? I need to kill 10 of them or whatever. Well, but this is worse scav, so it's not going to count. Oh, Rick. frick. That's right. Never mind. Don't kill scav. Pointless to kill scav. I wonder what's I mean, this way. If he's got good loot, we still can. I'm just saying, like, it's not going to count for your, uh... Let's see real quick. He was just sitting in here, and he freaked me out when I saw him. What you got, good sir? Full AK, a scav backpack? Ooh, tag? that's a big backpack. Yeah, what's your tag? You got a scav... Tactical vest? You don't have any body... Oh, wait, you do have my body armor? Oh, he's got my body armor. This guy's dead. <laughs> Hold still, my good friend. Hold still. <laughs> All right, thank you. That's my body armor I needed. AK-74M. What's in here? Which building are you in? The green one. The weird looking one. Okay, I'm gonna come in just so that we're together mm -hmm. until you're ready to go. Cool, dope. I actually... Just need the extra. A murder has been committed oh, here. Oh yeah, hold on. Does he have my customs key too? No. That'd be crazy if he had a customs key on woods. You missed the condensed milk and ah. the the oat flakes. I don't want that. I don't think I want it at least. <laughs> Bro, he's got the cool looking AK. He's got the AK-70. Okay, okay. Well, okay. you'll need the the condensed milk Bro. and the mayonnaise for one of the quests down the line. Oh. Uh. You missed the vodka. Wait, I did? Now that I know is worth something. I just didn't know. Mine. Rip. Alrighty. Ah, uh, there's green tea here. That's all you. I don't know. Did you see this little ammo crate over here? Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't loot very well. <laughs> I was looking for my armor and it was stained. It was literally attached to this guy and I missed it. I almost missed it. Good thing he said something. Maybe he's got good loot. <gasps> Big brain, he does. He has exactly. Oh, I unplugged my headphones. My headphones get caught on my chair, and when what? I slide away, they rip out of my audio. Oh, just right now. Face thing. Oh gosh, get back in. There we go. Okay. You ready? If you make some coffee, then you can. Not your silly decraft stuff, though. Yeah, I'm ready. Mm. Is that a hammer? It's a hammer. Is that what you used to oh. knock out the stagav with? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That way is the snipers. That's oh. the edge of the map. Oh, don't go that way. I died last time because I didn't realize that was the edge of the map. What? So along the edge of the map, there's another bridge. This might be it. No, honey, I, not right now. What? There's on the edge of one of these areas where, the, where it's the edge of the map, you can... Oh, the, the extraction. I've never used that extraction. I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. The, um, it's... It has you, because DJ was trying to get me to loot some like food stuff. Don't go that way. So that's not the one. And it was on, it was on a bridge like that. It was in a little, like outpost type thing. So I just don't know what side we're on. Maybe we just run along the edge of the map, or. Yeah. What's our extracts? Factory gate. That's the one that you have to have. So we have the RFU roadblock or outskirts. We must be in like the dead center of the map because we have. And out. We have a uh, you extract mean like, on both ends. Oh uh, yeah, so we're probably at what South VX extract. I would imagine that's an extract at least. The thing we were just at. So this road should theoretically just take us all the way to outskirts. Probably not the greatest idea to run down the middle of the road like I am, but hey. I wish this map would show me water sources. All it shows me is the great big lake that's in the middle. 
Are you sure it's updated to have the new area on it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Because it's shaped like a U, right? Or not upside down. No, right? it's a... Well, going around the... Lake, it uh, looks like a U. I don't know. After the trade, you can send it to me and I'll let you know. I'll get it. There's a village over there. It might be out of bounds because like we were pretty close to the mm -hmm. out of bounds. Good point, and that's a good ways over. Or this road turned. I think the road turns. I think we'd be safe to go loot it if you Let's want. Let's go loot it. I need to find a scab anyways. There there should be signs, so if we see Don't pass, we shouldn't yeah. pass. Huh, imagine that. Oh, there's like a little road thing here, so I think we're okay. That's when we start getting shot at. Oh god! Oh, this isn't nothing. Oh, this is the sunken village. It is sunken. There's a loot stash in one of these buildings. According to Pestley. To Pestley. <coughs> what about a pig head in a tractor? Uh huh. <laughs> Do you see me? This oh, it's like the Mark guy. Like the Mark room. Um, do you need any ammo? There's some ammo laying around in this room. BT, PRS. That's yeah, it's an actual pig head driving this. Huh. They have a thing for pig heads in this game. Oh, <laughs> really? Uh, Shoreline has a marked room and there's like a guy with a pig head like sitting in a bathtub and he's like <laughs> lootable. It's like a dead scav. Yeah. And then there's like candles all around it and like markings and it's kind of weird, but all right. it's very weird. They're actually going to put those cultists in the church area off to the uh, west side of the map eventually, but I don't know if they ever did. Ew. Is that what that is? Is the cultist stuff? You're supposed to be able to fight them and they're <laughs> supposed to be like extremely crazy. Hmm. I think I'm near you, Blake. I saw you run off toward these buildings. I kind of yeah. followed, but... I'm not seeing any... Oh! This building might actually have something in it. He didn't actually go in, so I didn't actually get to see it, but he just said that there was a stash in one of the buildings as he ran past them. Oh. Huh. Alright, well, screw that. This way sucks. I don't see much. Alright! Toolbox. Spark plug? We were trying to get Lane a spark plug last night. He got this game. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. And we got it. Okay, now where are we heading? Is the real question. I don't know where we're at exactly. There's something up on the rocks to our left, like crates or something. Maybe we could go explore that. Rock on. Oh, wait. It might be the camp. Yeah, oh wait, on the right here, this is the camp that DJ was talking about. He said that, don't go past Careful. it. Yeah, so there's markings all over yeah, it. Yeah, but he did say that there's uh, rations in it. Alright, well I'm gonna explore the camp up on the rocks, so... I'm scared, I don't wanna get shot at. This looks unlooted. Yeah. Don't go past is all this thing says. But I thought D maybe DJ was just trying to get me killed, but... <laughs> There's not fighting. a lot here. There was a weapons crate. I found a duffel bag. And a soap. You found a whacked scav? That's not good. Yeah, I know, right? There's pineapple juice, but that's not anything we have to find. Hmm, I don't know, man. It's I'm croutons, too... the lunch boxes. Oh, yeah, I have and... not found any croutons. I don't know where those are. I don't even know what that they was... look like. That was the first thing I found. Same for uh, 
Pest sleep, but I can't find them, bro. And DJ found. Oh, a grenade. Where are you at? How did you go left? Oh, guys, 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 guys. What? I have guys on me. I'm up on the hill. By a red thing? Uh, yeah, they're like shipping crates. Yeah, someone just ran down from there. What? I hear people moving around me right now. Yeah, that's not me. So if you see anyone close to you, fire. Oh, yeah, I see him. He was crouched down in front of me. Are you running down the hill? Oh, no, I'm not moving. Up. I'm in a building. Yeah, there's two guys by you. Oh, there's gas, there's gas. I can hear him yelling at me right now. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to walk out. Look for him. Unless it's a player that threw the emote. I don't see him, but I'm going to come to... Oh, yeah, I see him. Well, I'm below you. Okay, I'm going to come down. I, the, the one scav, just, he just booked it past me. He didn't do anything. So yeah, I'm coming down. I don't know what side you're on, but I'm towards I'm, that. I'm coming right at you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Yeah, no, they ran up that way and they're dead sprinting. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Bro, it's like the yeah, freaking forest over here with these guys running around us. They're like being hunted. Guys. They must have just spawned in because I didn't hear them or anything up there until you said something. They're running around Careful. like freaking. Yeah, so if you try and pluck one. Freaking One's gonna out. get a good headshot on you. Yeah, that's gonna be annoying. Oh, don't go that way. Sniper as well. Eventually, we should make it to either outskirts or factory gate if we follow the edge of the map. We're heading toward outskirts. Outskirts, okay. So we're on the right side. Oh, is this the scav camp? Or the left side. Oh, that's a player. That's a player. He ran right. He's running. We'll just let him go. Yeah, no kidding. After I, Kobe. Are you sure? It sounded like a... Oh, maybe it was a scav. He's backing off now. Uh-oh. There's two scavs here. Let's see if they engage us because I see that grenade. He's like geared though. But it isn't like a boss, is it? I don't think so. I'll push in. Oh god. Put my gun on full auto. He ran away. Bro, these guys be acting different. <laughs> they, like, they were, dude. They're like running away and then they they just sprint past us every time. Cornflakes. Oat flakes. There's a me. bunker here. There's a bunker here. I'm going down. Alright. Oh, oh, there's a scav right here. He scared the literal you knows out of me. Dead scav? No, I came around the corner. He's crouched. Oh, he'll in shoot the me. I killed another scav, right? Hey, alright. Uh, I'll get him for you. Hold on. I can kill oh, him. Oh, he's coming to you. He's coming to you. He's coming to you. I can't tell, bro. Is he gonna shoot me? No, he, just let him go. I don't think he will. There's a toolbox down bro, here. Bro, I don't understand scabs. They confuse me. Why did he not shoot me? I think they only shoot you if they've like seen you shoot another scav. <clears throat> bro, scabs confuse me. They, sh I've been shot by a scav for no reason before. It just doesn't. I don't understand. The, the boss scab. I got another relay. That's good. That's good. I mean, oh MRE. Isn't that considered a lunchbox? It says MRE lunchbox on the title of the thing. But I don't know if they work for it, Trevor. <gasps> oh, baby. Please be worth something. A horse? Yeah, the gold horse statue. It's more bronze. Is that okay? Maybe it's bronze, I don't know. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. Do you see that there's a lunchbox, I mean, a MRE lunchbox in here? Will that work for him? No, it won't. Because it's the tan one. It's got to yeah. be the green and... Unlucky. Still, though, there's a lot of supplies in this. It's good to know for the future. Oh, God. I saw at least three scavs, so I don't think we should shoot One's him. One's right cause... behind you. <laughs> He's pointing a gun right at us. Oh, there he is. I think we'll get flanked by scabs that we don't see if we try and get one. Oh gosh, she's reloading. That makes me feel uncomfortable. I really don't feel safe. <laughs> oh god. 
Hammer. <laughs> okay. Wait, what are these? There's a ton of different ammo Popcorn? boxes and stuff around. So far, oh. I haven't really found anything good though. Oh, there's the lunch box we need. Right. Ah, dibs. <laughs> All right, actually, this is my last one. I just need the croutons. Oh wait, you need the lunch box then? No, 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 no. Like the one that I have in my inventory is my last one. Okay. I think I need I, two more. I need two more uh, lunch boxes. I mean croutons, dear lord. If I know what I'm talking All right, about. I can help you find those croutons. The croutons you find a lot in customs. All right, are we ready uh, to move? Yeah, I got lost, so I don't know which way we were. We're not heading. Uh, <laughs> not that way. Guess we could just pull out the compass. Isn't it south? We need to head. Wait, is that is that a scav or is it at you? A... We need to head this way, I think. Oh no, that's the river or the lakes. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that would work. We can go this way. Man, wood gets me all confuzzled. Everything looks the same. <coughs> oh, here's the convoy. Isn't a scav spawn here too? We're scavs, so that's okay. Oh, that's but... right. Dead body, let me loot it. Anything juicy here? Oh, that's an arm badge, let me take that. Snatch. Oh, no, it's a splint. Never mind, not as, a, not as fun. Oh, CMS kit? Oh! Oh, come on, gun. Come on, come on. Show me a gun. A battery! <laughs> Damn. Man, that, that guy had a CMS and a... Do you need a gas splint. analyzer? Uh, not if you need it. No. I do need it then. This big crate's got a gas analyzer Ooh, in it. I'll take these fabrics. I had to drop them for the battery. I sell them to therapists. <laughs> Even though it's not much money, but... <clears throat> Yeah, I need one more gas analyzer to finish my mission. Dang! What a shuss. I know. That thing was stacked. That's why when I first saw it, like, and that big hole was the battery. So that's why when I first saw it, <laughs> I was thinking gun, because, like, it was just massive. Worse, uh, is shuss not, shuss not worth anything? Is what? That stuff in there, was that not worth anything? The big three I'm by just, one? I'm full. Oh, uh, okay. I probably could have taken it out. Ah, uh, well, little brain over here doesn't realize it. Me, me, PB size brain. Follow, follow Trevor. Makes life easier. Oh. I'm just coming down to these power lines, so we're gonna hang a right. That should take us over toward outskirts. Dun, 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 these power lines dun, 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 run all the way to the right side of the map, and then they run out of the bounds. Yeah, so then if you follow these power lines when they run out of bounds you take a left and then you just stay on the edge of the out of bounds and then that takes you to out um, whatever it is outskirts do you want to go raid the camp sure I found an m4 up here one time Whoa. it was just laying on the like there's like a little like sniper perch like a blanket and a cardboard thing mm -hmm. like it you know like for scavs quote unquote yeah and there's an m4 Lord. just laying on the ground there Where's it at? I can't even see it. Oh, it's all in here. It's up around the corner here. This is the second place you need to go for that quest. What quest? The, uh, the compass quest that we already did. Oh. Uh, this is the... Wait. Vodka? S sorry. Sorry, or whatever it's called. Over uh, to the right, Blake, is the second camp. The camp's like split in half. Oh, okay. Darn it, over there now. Is empty. Weapons, please. Oh, there's something. Ammo. Um, I think someone's been through this one, just so you know. Got it. Because I opened a chest and everything's kind of like scattered in the pattern that it's in, so. What's PRSGS? What kind of ammo is that? I think that's bad ammo, but I've seen that like twice now. 
I did too. So I'm gonna pick it up because they're really there's 120 bullets <laughs> on ammo. Which should probably be a hint that it's probably not very good, but oh well. There's not much over here. I'm gonna come back to you. And like I said, it looks like someone may have been there, so. Yeah. I looked for the gun. There was no gun there. Bummer. Alrighty. You wanna go for extract? I'm so full. Same. I'm like throwing items out now to. Yeah. Make room. What do I have? Oh, I only have the small backpack, but. I have a big backpack and I'm full. See how there's like two ones off to the left? Say what now? See how there's two power lines straight ahead of us? Yeah. And then the ones off to the left, that's where it's turning. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's the out, that's the boundary. That third one that's turned. Gotcha. <clears throat> so that'll be our extract, right? No, we have to, we're at the bottom. Oh no, I, I actually lied there. The next one. I can see the sign on the next one, so we actually want to, after this field, start going left. <laughs> We're in the... Oh, uh, are we by East if it's, Yeah, if it's a box, we're in the bottom corner right now. We need to then... <sighs> run to the left to get to outskirts, which is in the opposite... Not opposite corner, but the next corner, if you're running around the box. I like the really tall grass. It's yeah. Cool. Presley talked about that as he's talked about how you really should go through like the tree line like skirt the trees mm -hmm. so you don't get sniped but he said it is pretty cool that they added the tall grass in the big fields that way you can lay down and technically go invisible wait can you re is it really that hard to see you <clears throat> supposedly because it's tall enough that if you lay down you actually will go yeah, you're like under gone the, yeah oh there's a site up here Truck's there. I don't see anything though. I think, yeah, this is right next to where the wall starts. <sighs> hmm. So there's a bunker. We're scavs and we don't have the bunker, so I don't think we should go down it in case players are there. Yeah. But right here where these rocks are like smashing the wall. I'm pretty sure that's the ZB-14 key bunker. And so you would go down in it, then there's a metal door in there that you'll unlock, and then you'll go to the back area, and that's the extract. You said we can't use it because we're scouts? Correct. Bummer. It's because, I mean, think about it this way, because we're scavs, you wouldn't have brought that key in with you, so you just got lucky and I had it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So they wouldn't make that an extract because that'd be kind of crappy if it's like, yeah. yep, have fun, scavs. Good, good luck finding a key. <laughs> In the middle of a raid. There's a scav on our left, but we're okay. He's not shooting. That's a free... Oh, I know we're free. Yeah, we're not. PMC, no reason to kill them. Other than for certain loot. Now I just got to find a Taz. Or Tav. How have you not found a Taz? Like half the guys on these maps have Tazes. That's what I thought. Hold on, let's just go look at this house then and see if any of these guys have a Taz. Oh, they're running away. Maybe we shouldn't go that way then. There may be a player over there. They were kind of. Oh, they were kind of. Right They were running away like they had a mission, so let's go this way. There's one on the other side of the house. Oh, there is? Yeah. I think most of the guys on this map have rifles and stuff because it's what more I thought. ranged. Yeah. I could be wrong, but. Watch him have a toss. <laughs> or did he go inside? I can hear him. He might be inside now. Are you inside? No. Where are you at? I ran away. Uh -oh. I ran away. Uh oh, where'd you go? Uh, that way. I'm coming up over the hill. You should see me in a second. Oh, I see you. I'm on your left. Okay. The extract's just right up here. 
trees. Behind the truck. I think it's. Next. There it is. Next to the truck. Oh. Not too close to the truck, or you walk out of it. Oh, what? Huh, you walked out of it. Wait, where is it? It's over oh, in the trees where I was. We're scars. We don't have the same ones. Oh, what do you have? I have factory gate. Oh no. Okay, no, the it's boats. Not factory gate. Oh, scav house. Uh, that's you're right there. Oh, it's, it's this guy. To your left. That's that wooden house. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I don't know where the extract at the scav house is, but. I was gonna go to the boat because yeah, I was like, no, I didn't know I had the scav house. I forgot we don't have the same extracts. Yeah, I didn't even think about it to be honest. I really hope this guy doesn't try shooting me. He shouldn't. Scavs seem buggy, bro. Sometimes they don't like me, sometimes they do. I've had bad experiences with scavs. That's true. Oh. I'm Maybe just... it's in it? There we go, this side. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. Well, at least we got lucky and it was like right there. Yeah. I would have sucked if it's like, yep, yeah, factory gate, you and a roadblock, and old station. <laughs> factory gate is the one that you have to have a PMC and a scav, so don't go to that one. Wait, what? You have to have a friendly scav and a PMC to leave at factory gate. <clears throat> How is that possible? You have to try and find a scav player and not shoot him and get him to follow you there. That's horrid. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds terrible. Lots of ammo. Bro, made out like a freaking bandit on this one. Yeah. That was a good run. I finished <laughs> two missions, one mission in this run. Got two guns though. And I halfway finished another. I've been collecting all the knives because don't you need them later on for a uh, mission? Don't you need what? The knives. Um, yeah, <clears throat> they're a trade thing later. Oh, a trade thing. All right, got my last gas analyzer for what's or nuts, and then I have a vest for the other guy, I have a lunchbox for the Jaeger, and then I just need to get man, I'm gonna finish almost a lot of emissions at once. Almost, oh, not him, sorry. I don't think at least, yeah, no. This chick, task, here is your last one of these guys. Dun, dun. Complete. Dun, dun, dun. It's delightful to find it. What was a reasonable person who is willing to take risks for the common good? What is this one? Find hidden water in the dorm? Oh, it's on customs. Except find and raid four morphine syringes and the syringes over to therapist. Okay, skier. I have something for you as well. Turn in this armor. Cool. Now I need to get a shotgun. So, uh, who's the last guy that I needed this for? Oh, Jaeger. I had something for you, good sir. All right, cool, cool, cool. So, where to next? Do you have anywhere in particular you want to go? Uh, nope. All right, so how do you feel about going to customs, trying to complete our proper task, or the first half? Oh no, you already have, no, you don't have the first half, right? Have you done the task for proper? Which one? find a secure case in the Tarkon director's office at the customs terminal where you had to pick up a package and deliver it um is that the one that you then have to go to the factory yeah yeah I did that one Darn you can it. do that if you want <clears throat> okay um have you done the therapist's uh water in the dorms yeah bummer bro you're one step ahead of me and everything that's why I'm a couple levels ahead of you <laughs> <laughs> So I need to do all of those and they're all in custom. Do you have anything you need to do in custom? Um, 
That's a good question. I have croutons I also need to find that you said you found a bunch of customs. Oh, I need to go turn in that um, lunchbox food thing. Yep, before I forget. I wonder, does custom have spots for you to find lunchboxes? Um, probably not, which is probably why I haven't found one yet. I need gotcha. one more lunchbox. So we can go to woods and I'll just hunt down scavs. And we can find you your lunchbox. It'll make good content as well. Oh, I do have, um, I've got these markers and I have to mark the gas trucks in customs. All right, let's do that. Then. And there's two gas trucks near. Oh, I'm trying to think of where they're at. There's one in old gas station. There's one at new gas station. There's one at. Sounds like a bunch of scabs, scab baby. Roadblock. And then there's one at Crossroads. Rock on. So you want to go to customs? We can do that. All right, let me see if I can get an attachment for my gun. Are you still there, Ryan? Uh oh. Yeah, sorry, I've been uh -oh. talking. I was actually recommending uh -oh. customs because uh, I'm sure almost all my quests are needed for there. Okay, cool. Yeah. We'll go customs then. Where is the said scope that I just bought? <laughs> Isn't that rough when your inventory is that full? It should put it at the top of where it can. Was it a red dot? Shoot, the Sega can't use the the red dot. It's that this, he... it's, this, it's that one, isn't it? Yeah, but it doesn't go on it. Um, it should. Oh, you're using the Seg Nine. Okay. Yeah, it's not actually. I'm using the PP. Yeah. Nineteen. Okay. <laughs> Frick. Wow. Well, you know. How close are you to the market? I think that might have a cover you can get for it. I am. Wait, is that the pistol grip you need for your shotgun? It is. <laughs> Did you find that in raid? Yeah. Oh, that's so lucky. I dude. know. <laughs> the muzzle for that shotgun's fifty thousand, by the way. So if you get the muzzle you need for it, don't sell it. What is uh? What is it? Um, I don't recall off the top of my head. It's. I think it's called Remington something gotcha. 12 gauge choke yeah my mission is I, a, look it up, I found a shotgun off a scab that was I mean off a player that was literally like the whole thing it had the sprout it had I had a few things I can't remember it all but I was like dang yeah here it is the Remington tackle choke 12 gauge and yeah they're basically 49,000 right now 59 or 50,000 are you hikes that's the most expensive part of that build, and you only get twenty thousand for doing it, so you lose money Dang. if you do it that way. Um, but later on, once you get Jaeger to level two, and I think it's Skier level two, they will sell you all the components you need for it. Oh, okay. And it'll be it won't be fifty thousand. So just wait till <laughs> Jaeger. And, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Skier. But technically, I think to do that, you have to wait till you're like level fifteen before yeah. they upgrade. Which is a so it's kind of one of those tasks that, like, if you want to do it early, you just have to spend extra money on the market to get it done early. How much is the horse worth? Mm, I think that was like ten thousand. What's it actually called? Horse. Horse. Horse figurine. Oh, seven thousand right now. Bummer. So it's not worth much. Uh, it's gone down. What does it sell to the vendor? Eight thousand, actually. Or six? No. Uh -uh. Eight or six? Six, seven, sixty-eight hundred. I need to know, man. Okay, yeah, sixty-eight. Is that the only vendor it sells to? Uh, I bet. Let me double you check. Might well, you might as well just sell it to her because when you put yeah. it on the market, there's a cost to put it on the market. So. Yeah, she buys it for the most. Take me, horsey. Um, There's some guns, um, like the Keter, that will go on the market for like nine thousand because nobody wants it, and it's actually um, I'm gonna do something stupid. <laughs> okay, it doesn't let you do it anymore. Okay, I'm not gonna do something stupid. Um, anyways, because nobody actually wants to use the Keter in raids, 
Um, sometimes you can find it on the market for like nine thousand, but it actually sells to one of the uh, people for like um, twelve thousand. So you can actually make money just buying the cheap ones off the market and just vendoring them. Oh, really? And if you're lucky, they won't rip off the uh, like the mag, and you'll have bullets in it. So you can unload the bullets first, mm-hmm. then sell the gun for a profit to the vendor, and then sell the bullets back on the market. Huh. And or use the bullets depending on order what's in it. Okay, um, I'm ready whenever you guys are. I'm just going to sit here and sell stuff out of my inventory, so just let me know. I'm ready whenever. Are you good, I'm Ryan? Sorry, you have to give me a good second. Okay, you're fine. I'm trying to build I a have... wall on uh, Fours. I figured I'd play Full Fours while I was waiting on you guys. Yeah. I have a really fat inventory I'm trying to dwindle down at the market right now. That's what I should do. Just so hard to. What do I get rid of? Wait, do I need? Do I need strikes and something else later on? What are strikes? Cigarettes. Oh mission. yeah. But you find those everywhere. Like almost yeah. every coat pocket that doesn't have keys, you find them. But mm-hmm. there's one that's more rare than the other. I don't remember which one's which though. Vodka's a good sell, right? Like to. Um. Yeah, vodka is pretty good. Actually, I have one. I'll tell you what it's worth. Oh, crud. I can sell mine for 12. Want to become yeah, famous? Yeah, I did something stupid. Nope. But I will block you. I want to become famous. <laughs> Talk to this guy. He's trying to hook you up. He didn't offer it to me, he'll not offer it to you. I'm not good enough, I guess. (laughs) I didn't make the cut. Grenade fuse. Those are... (coughs) Alright, I'm ready. Um, I already had a DMC here, so... Good to go. Cool. Okay, perfect. And we're going I think to those trade. grenade fuses. I think there's a vendor that'll trade you a grenade for those fuses. Oh, like correct. a straight up trade. What's your name, Ryan? Dark up. Um, it's who's your daddy? Oh. I don't know why I'm insuring everything every single time I insure, I never get to collect it. (laughs) You should have seen my insurance today, dude. It was nuts. I didn't play it all yesterday, so I got on. The whole box was almost full. (laughs) Damn. Hardly any of the weapons, but like all the backpacks and stuff came back. Yeah, I I missed out on collecting the the two games before and then the last two games we just played. So like I've missed out on four insurance, but... Oops, I'm sorry guys, I keep clicking character for some reason instead of... I'm in the 8 o'clock lobby, I don't see you in it. Trying to find you and I can't seem to find you. Hoosier, right? S, I mean H-O-S, I mean H-O-O-S-I-E-R. 86, yep. Hang on, as soon as I get in I can add you guys both. Cool, true. Wish I could add a friend over... Like this screen, the lobby screen. I don't think I can. All right. Yeah, no. Nope. Got a nice foul. And then the Sig 9, the upgraded PP that makes it <laughs> worth using. <laughs> AKA, I dropped a 30,000 Rupal silencer on it and a 20,000 Rupal red dot sight on it. <laughs> I don't. I only have a total of like 54 rounds though on me because the last time I went in was like 100 or something like that. I died and lost it all. Nice. <laughs> and I'm low on ammo, so. I went in with two clips and whatever's remaining inside my stash and my thing. I had, uh, yeah, I got 30, I mean 60,000, I mean 60 rounds. Got plenty of clips, it's not enough rounds. <laughs> oh, I just looked at your chat. I can cheat the system by going to bigfollows.com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not a scam for only $14.99 a week. 
I can get you famous. Let me just buy you a bunch of bots. No, I think I know a guy who did that. The streamer I used to watch him. He would average like 500 views, but nobody would talk. Dude, like I just thought of a business. What? What if you got 20 people to sit in a room with just some really cheap laptops and just all watch? And they're viewers. They work for you, and then you go to other like streams and get people to pay you for the twenty viewers. Except for you'd have to pay a lot, cause like that's twenty employees. for twenty people. Twenty people to work one hour watching a stream. Yeah, like at least at ten dollars an hour at minimum. So you're looking at two hundred an hour. Yeah, two hundred an hour. Yikes! You'd have for to twenty get viewers. A yeah, yeah. So you're gonna have you're gonna have to take but, this operation overseas, <laughs> where you're where you're paying them twenty five cents an hour. <laughs> but either way, why not just get a bot? Because then they'll type the if, chat it, and stuff. Like uh, it'll be a real player. Individual chat and characteristics and all that stuff. Right. Or you could probably pay s some like high school kids just go to s go find them and be like, hey, during class, I need I'll pay you all. Ten bucks. Whoa, Blake! Whoa, Blake! <laughs> You're destroying the future of our, <laughs> our youth. <laughs> Bro, that's where my mind's going. Screw that! I'm gonna go rob some little kids of their education. Yeah, just just offer them uh, Fortnite credits if they. Uh, yeah, I'll be like, hey, I'll get you, while. I'll get you like Xbox or PlayStation Plus for a year if you do this for me for the rest of the semester. <laughs> That kid would get his code from you and then ghost. What? I'll get you candy out of my white van every day if you do this for me. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Try to think. <sighs> Heck, with, with the school's lunches, you could just walk in there and set a pizza down on the table and say, anyone that eats this pizza owes me the next class worth of time. <laughs> that'd only be like, if, especially if I work at pizza, bro, that'd only be like five bucks a pizza. I know, see, look, you can, I'm you can paying chain five your events people. together. I'm paying, no, I'm paying eight people with five bucks. Okay, one slice of pizza, but you gotta do this the rest of the day. Except for that wouldn't work, but. Maybe I give them the food at the end of the day. Okay, I'll give you a slice of pizza on your way out of school if you do this for me for all day. And then their parents that are picking them up in the carpool <laughs> line are wondering why you're handing out pizza at the front of the school. <laughs> Hello, oh, fellas. Alright, where are we going, Blake? Oh, uh, that I don't know. Oh, right here, right here. Yeah, right here. The... I forgot which mission we were doing. I'm doing several. Remember. Yeah, oh, I'm free to shoot now. Wait, yeah, this is right here, ain't it? I don't have a key All though. Right. I got it. I'm going. Oh wait, I don't have it. How do we find Crud. one? Um, on a scab. I'm sorry, I completely forgot my docs case because I brought those markers. You good? I should have. I messed up this raid already. I should have actually brought. I mean, uh, <laughs> mentioned I don't even have a key. That's usually a good start to a mission is to have the necessities. If you guys loot in here for a second, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go mark the container behind us. Okay. Nope. Oh, that's probably a player. Unless you shot. Nope. How many thingies do you have to mark? This is There's all. four trucks, but I only brought two of the markers because I assumed we wouldn't get all four in one raid. Oh, okay. Since they're all spread oh, out. I found a DVD. You can use that to trade with. What's up with the women in this game? This game has a bunch of like women posed on pictures hanging on the wall. This one's gonna be rough too because I have to run right at somebody else's spawn to get this tagged. Hey Ryan, where are you at? I think he's still sitting in spawn. 
I really hope we don't get into a firefight with each other. Dude, I've been talking this whole time. No, I've been back. I was following somebody. I'm running towards the spawn. Like, where that one spawn is in the corner. Okay, that, that was point. that was me. I'm going to do the truck. I got 10 seconds okay. on the truck, and then we'll... We were supposed to do Big Red, but I completely forgot the Big Red key for the office upstairs, so... So nobody's by the... No, I'm by the tanker. I see the tanker. All right, I'm coming. I see Ryan. I'm coming back. We'll head back over to Blake. So wait, who's, that, who's still by in me? Storage. Not Nobody. Us. I mean, you might hear us running outside of the area, but we're coming in now. Yeah, we're coming in now. Blake's in a storage unit, so if we see anybody in a hallway, I'm in. We can hold fire. up, I'm by one with only one door open with a car inside of it. Okay, hold on, and this might be us walking up, Blake. Okay, yeah, it's you. I hear you like right in front of my thing. It wasn't nope. that one, but you're, you're close to us somewhere. Yeah. Can you hear me moving? No. No? No, I don't hear anything. Somebody's to our left. That's me, probably, then. That's probably Blake. Okay. It sounds like you guys are on the outside of the bunkers. We're walking around the outside of it right now. We're going to head up toward where we can next. Yeah, I'm behind there. you. I'm oh, you're behind us? Yeah, no, look to your right. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Whew. I was starting to panic. I heard y'all running. I was like, there's a lot of people by me. <clears throat> yeah, my dog I came back and my fucking dog had to piss for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready to kick it? Oh, custom key? I found a key to inspect. Oh, door key. Is that it? Wait, what does it say though? Inspect it. Door key. Mechanical key. Old key. Apparently even Soviet made. Most likely it's from administration building doors. We can try it. It does have the gold. I don't know. We could try it. Okay. Oh, that's All right. right. If things right are gold, they're used for a mission, right? Yeah. Let's head to big red. Oh, wait, then. this one's not gold. This one's white. It was gold when you were investigating it, though. Oh, yeah. What the heck? All right. I'm going to Big Red, guys. Um, let's go. I can't remember how to get to Big Red. Where's Big Red? Go straight. Straight. To the left. To the left? Okay. I am at oh. Big Red. I'm going to push in now, so don't shoot when you guys get here. Okay. Um, wrong way. Wrong way? Yeah. Well, you can go that way, but this way's probably going to be quicker. Oh, I missed my jump. <laughs> that is a tour last. Yeah, I'll figure out. Alright, I'm in the warehouse, boys, so just tell me when you approach so I don't freak out. We are still a little ways away. And I'm out of energy. We are approaching. I'm in the back of it right now. Oh, he does. So we should probably only go up there one at a time because it is an area where like you can get plucked off. So go up there, try your key, and we'll cover you from the stairs down below. Okay, dude. Man, how on earth did we get into this building? Right here. Uh, the big door. Yeah, there's only two entrances. Yeah, if it's the old part of the map, I know the old part of the map does not find stuff. <laughs> is this where I'm supposed to go? Yes, up the Upstairs. metal stairs. There's just one door up there. <gasps> Be able to unlock it or not? Is it it? No. Accidentally. Nope, tried to breach it. Yeah, <laughs> accidentally. You did it. Okay. I didn't do that game at all. I just saw it on your stream. All right, well. I didn't cool. hear it either. Let's. All right, I'm at the front door. Let's what other missions did I have? Oh, I need did to find a top. Did you weapon crate, Trevor? Yeah, I deleted it. There was just a grip in it. Here, which way are we going now? We're just gonna group up at the front door. I need to get a Takov, I mean Tar, I mean a Taz. <laughs> what am I trying to say? And what was my other mission? I had another one that I could complete. Oh, look for the croutons. All right. <laughs> I'm at the front door. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I was at the side door. This is the front door. I'm by the crates right at the front door. We're ready to leave whenever we get up, grouped up. Coming right now. I'm you so confused. Go me. I'm coming. Which one's the front door? This one. Uh -oh. 
<laughs> yeah, that's where I was. I thought it was at the side door. Okay, let's just... Trevor, aren't your, your missions, like, right next to a whole bunch of, uh... Scav spawns? Yeah, we'll go over there. Perfect. We'll go through uh, the new area. We'll head up to the old gas station. Find me a Taz. Yeah. It may be even key. extracts? Um... The ZB old gas station possibly an extract for us anyway, so we'll head up there. My tanker's there. That'll be the most dangerous part of our run, though. Gotcha. You know, running through that new area, all the players are gonna be there. Mm -hmm. Where on earth is this? Oh, this is just the river. Okay, never mind. That's Rocket Chair. If you ever hear DJ or Ryan talk about Rocket Chair. What's Rocket Chair? Behind the train. It's a, it's a train light is what it actually is, but it kind of looks like a chair with like rockets. So they've oh, done, named it Rocket Chair. You see someone try to No, nah, I was just looking for scads before we ran across the... Did you see how he runs across the island? In one of his episodes? No. He goes on the second island, and he like, runs all the way in the water almost. Cause it's got a hard dip on the sides. And he runs like, right next to the water. Making it so like anyone from the bridge can't actually snipe him. It's kind of a cool little thing. Okay. Did you get him? I think he's dead. Oh, I hear nope, one. he's not. Dang! I got him. He domed me, bro. Uh, is there more? Why is my gun not firing? No, 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 please. you make that all you have to tag it. I need help. Behind the yeah. There's that one. That was the only one, dude. I don't know what is with this gun. Hold on. If you make ammo, remember, you have to, like, alt tab it and check Sorry. the ammo and then go again. No, I, didn't make, I, I need to loot whatever weapon he has on him because I'm completely out. I shot all 10 rounds into him. He didn't die. And then I reloaded and shot all 10 rounds into him. Like, these bullets are apparently trash. Uh oh. All right, go check the uh, dead body back there. Dead body? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah sorry about that, guys. Like, I was literally fine. unloading on this guy, and he was just standing there. I'm like, why is he not going <laughs> down? I shot when I could, but I didn't want to kill you. <laughs> I got yeah, no, domed cool. by the dude the second I peeked. I was like, what? Cool, I got the key I needed. Correct. Um, he does have a backpack if anyone needs a backpack. I'm good on backpacks. Alright. Sorry I had to kind of steal that gun to you if it wasn't my kill. Oh no, I was just hoping, I, I was just seeing if it was a toss. What's it, a scav backpack or? It's the new blue one. Oh, fuck it. Oh, there's another body back here. Not from us. Mm -mm. He has no weapon. Depression. No, but he's got a pretty sick helmet. I'm gonna yeet. <laughs> He's also got a um, really big He's tack got a pretty tool. good tack rig, yeah. yeah, someone can take that tack rig. I don't remember how big it is. It's a one, right two, one, two, two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, it's just like mine. It's the one I have. Alright, I'm getting off of it. I was thinking a Tarzan is the really big one. It is Tarzan. Oh, that one's better than mine. It's right here, oh, right? Oh, sniper. Is it the sniper scav? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it is. I see him. Crap, he's a ways off too. Yeah, I know. My gun ain't not reaching. <laughs> Our little M9, 9x9, 19 ain't gonna Who's reach. this here? This is Blake. Okay, where'd you go, Ryan? I laid down on the body because that break figured mine. I only have a six slot. Alright. I can try and pick off that scab. <laughs> but... Oh, I can't because of my fucking armor. I guess I'll just put it in my bag. Where is he at? Oh, I see him. Where's he at? Up on that tower? He's on the roof. Oh, the roof? How oh, high should I be oh, aiming above him? Quite a bit. We got oh, him. Oh, there he goes. Somebody got him. Hallelujah. Okay, we can go across now. I did not. I was just getting ready to shoot as soon as I lined up and then he stopped. I'm like, wait, I don't want to shoot if he's down. Oh god, I only have half a mag of ammo again. <laughs> Alright, what? We going to the right? Yeah. This uh, this first building here that's all closed up, Ryan. 
It's known as like medical warehouse. There's a lot of meds in it. There's also a high contest of players too. Congestion. Oh, this one's full. Probably. No, the first door is always open, but this door was closed, so. Alright, where are y'all at? In the medical building. Oh, wait, nobody's looted here because all of this is closed. I'm coming my way towards the medical building. And all the ammo's picked up off this pad. Off this, uh... I am entering medical building, so if you're here running. Okay, I'm, in, I'm just inside the door. That's me. Yeah, uh -huh. Everything's closed, like I'm closing everything. Oh, okay. Well, this isn't closed. Or you I'm closed? going upstairs. Yeah, yeah dude, I just closed it. That's oh, cool. I found something. I'm going upstairs. <gasps> Are these croutons? Oh, they're croutons! The luck. Are any of you guys upstairs, or is it just me? Just you, as of right now. I'm coming up. I don't up. see anybody, but I'm just being sure. So you found croutons in the thing that I unclosed? <laughs> yeah. I think they're closed. Alright, maybe I should open and close it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Since we found dead bodies at scav checkpoint, and then this has been looted, I'm assuming we're following somebody. Probably. So the question is, is he still in the next building? Like, we don't want to catch him, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We want to be waiting. We want to be the lurkers. There's more of that ammo that we keep fighting. I'm upstairs, by the way. Thank you. You're good. The bandage. I'm gonna close the door to the upstairs just so we don't get like flanked from the upstairs here. Okay. The upstairs this door is closed. Where else might croutons be? Um I usually just find them. I don't think they'll be up here because this is more medical stuff and it's pretty looted. Like they made a weird sound and I like <laughs> What? You like started to say something, made uh, like it made like a sound or something like that. <laughs> right then, I also saw like a bright flash walking into this room. So then I was like, <laughs> God, for a <laughs> "All right, well, you guys want to make a bucket run?" Sure. All right, right so Ryan, you since you're unaware, uh, is that you in this room here? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so if you're careful looking through this glass because it's like people will shoot you through those holes. But that unfinished building there is where we're going to make a run for it. Uh -huh. I think we should leave out the back of this building the way we came in. Run around the cross. Well, yeah, we'll run around the right side, though. It's so like in front of that dozer and we'll yeah. run up to like the back corner of the building. There could be scavs. The scav boss can be in there now or a lot of players will go in there. Where are y'all um, not even? We're in the upstairs of the medical looking okay, out the window so I can show Ryan. We don't technically have to loot that area. It's up to you guys. We can just run past it. If you guys want to loot, we can. If not, we can move past it. It's your guys' call. Uh, no, I'm not calling it. No, no, it goes. I Ryan? I haven't played enough, so I need to get warmed up. <laughs> All right, let's screw it then. Let's just loot it. And we'll see what's in there. I mean, there can be some good loot. We just won't stay long, so we'll hit the, the big rooms real quick, and then we'll get out. All right? Let's do dope. And then basically, Ryan, you see the trains over there to the right? Yeah. You have to be really careful because there's an out of boundaries. It's kind of like the, yeah. the guardians. So if you see a sign with like a circle on it, don't go past that. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to hit this building. Then when we leave here, we're going to head to those trains. You can go under the trains by going prone. And then on the back side of that, it now links to old gas station. So essentially we're oh, heading wait. through the new area, old gas station. I need to go yeah, to the door. I went so... over that one time and you died right now. We couldn't figure out how. Sometimes yeah, see the gap. Up. See the gap in between the trains? Basically, that's the edge. If you go in between that gap to the right, you get shot. I need to go so, to dorms as well. I just remembered for a uh, for oh, water. Yeah. I that's just found a CMS best. kit. What? That's that one, Blake. Is best at hatchet run, to be honest. Do you die a lot? Yeah. Hmm. But if you just okay. go after everyone's already gone. Let's reconvene at the door that we came in. And then when everybody's ready, we'll make the run together. So that we're I'm all entirely bunches. out of all my stamina up because I had my gun named this whole time. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's only your arm stamina. It's not your leg stamina. No, it took off both of them. I had it so long. Oh, gotcha. I found a CMS kit. Okay, I'm here, but you're going to stop my fire. Yep. Is your stamina regen? Yep. No, really. Ooh. Okay, you guys ready? Well, we're going out. We're going. Oh. Oh, driver! We can walk at this part, and then we'll... They sounded kind of far away, though. 
You know, that All actually right. sounds like new gas station. You guys ready? Or at least that area. Yeah. We're very unlucky. We get minigun here. <laughs> minigun? What? Why is that my plate? I'm gonna turn and go in that big door there, but I'm just trying to get to the edge of the building for cover first. Well, I'm right behind you. Actually, I don't know this building. That's really good fire you right? Yeah. Okay, come to where I am, guys. Oh, I'm gonna Like in the spin. middle of the building. The pinch points are basically like right here, and then if you turn the corner, you see those stairs. That's how you get upstairs. So the, those are pinch points. This room right here is the super loot room, so go through it real quick. Wait, where? Oh, uh, someone's already been here. The ammo crates and stuff already tilted. I found the uh, unopened weapons crate. Okay. Yeah, just loot around real quick. So there's this room here, which is normally pretty good. And then Blake, there's another room. This way. It's running by me. It's us. It's us. We're fine. You're okay. Like this room is another. People hide up on the shelf here, so be careful what? to walk in. That's a thing. Yeah, this is the other big room, but see, all this is already open. Uh, oh man. Yeah, all the jackets are open. And everything. All right, I say we kick it out of this area. All right, where are we going? I'm there? coming to your room, Ryan. Okay. Blake. Yep, coming. Where y'all at? Uh, left. Right here. All right, so we're gonna leave out this door right here. We're gonna run for the trains and we're gonna lay down under them. Ready? Is that to your right? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Go for like. I don't know if I'm lagging or if uh, you just rubber banded, but you don't like me. I saw you lag just a little bit earlier. I ran a really bad path. I went out the other door, so they, if I'm gonna get shot. I'm right behind you, so I'll eat it. All right. I'll eat it if you're good. Oh, hopefully, old gas station is an extract here. Watch for scabs, everybody. A player? Are you? Is anyone in there yet? No, 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 no. That's player. Oh, we're behind you. Okay, all right. Everybody, get ready. We got a player inside there. I only have a half a mag of ammo. I have a full mag, but I'm seeing a lot of. He ran past. He ran toward Giving Tree, Ryan. If you remember where Giving Tree is. Yep. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna. Uh, you guys go ahead and watch the door. I'm gonna try and go over here on the hill because you can actually see into that by going up on the hill a little bit. I'll try and recon for you guys since I don't have any ammo. He might be extracting. There's a, there's a. Oh yeah. Can you shoot through the, the fence here? Oh, here he comes. I think so. I don't know. Behind us. He's behind us. I don't know. I hear a lot of footsteps though. It might be. Me. Oh, got him. Good nice, stuff. Boys. Good stuff. All right, loot him fast. Loot him fast. I'll watch. There's two guns That's, for anybody who can hold them. That scared me, boys. Like, you guys just <laughs> put that guy up. I jumped, man. There's I'm another body inside of there. Hey, I don't do you see need meds? Player. I got. Ah, get out of this inventory. I have a CMS kit. Right, I'm Where are you at? You have, fracture, but... you have a fracture? In, I have a guys. splint. Here, you loot that, then. I'll watch out for you. There's a second body in here, guys. How bad it are you hurting? Like... Are you bleeding? Like, you're not dying right now, are you? No. Okay, We're true. extracting right here. Okay, true. I'm pushing in, guys. Any scabs at all? No. There's another body in here, but he didn't have anything on him. I think that guy killed him and then was looting and then was leaving, and you guys have smoked him. <laughs> all right, the gas station door is open, and let me see if there's anybody in here. It looks like it's safe for you guys to enter. I'm just looking out for Ryan right now. If you want to check the giving tree. I doubt. I think he literally just came from there. But I'll double check. Alright, yeah. I'm coming back to you guys again. Lutated. Oh, he didn't get this though. Oh, yeah, he did. Alright, we're on you, Ryan. So I'm coming in this hole. Yep. Come on I in there, everybody. Let's, actually, I might need that shotty. Let's, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here because Ryan's about to die. Okay. Wait. Oh, he's got the... Come on into old gas station, Ryan. He's got the shotgun with the grip on it. I'll get need. Ryan out, then I'll wait for Blake. Go ahead and go in, Ryan. You're good. I, I don't get out. It's my own fault. I'm greedy. 
Just open that door, Ryan, and then it's at the end of the hall. Make sure no one's around the corner. Yeah. Sweet. Nice. Sweet. We got one out. Uh, uh, Come on, Blake. I'm greedy. I'm so greedy. I'm Come gonna on, Blake. die because I'm greedy. I'm in the gas station. I'm watching like the factory to see if someone pushes you. Okay, no. So when you run in here, let me know. Running in. Let me show you what he got though. What he had. He has that shotgun for the mission with the handle on it. Oh, the Taws? Yeah. No, 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 no. The MP133. Oh, really? Yeah, with the Griff already on it. Cool. Yeah, I right, right. into that. I didn't even think about that. Glad. Yeah, <laughs> this right here. Oh my goodness, this thing's almost literally everything you need. It's got the sprout it on choke? it. Is it the choke? It doesn't have that. So I don't think it does, at least. It doesn't. The choke is like a muzzle, right? Yeah. Darn it, nope. It's got the scope. Oh, it's oops. It's got to have a I'm laser. Not spot. Does it have a laser? I don't know about that one. It has one. a flashlight. It does have the flashlight. It doesn't have the laser. So you could take the flashlight and the red dot off and sell those, and then... Wait, I thought it needs a flashlight. Dude, I domed that that sniper in the head. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I killed anybody. Who got that first yeah, kill that saved my butt? I think Blake got both of those kills right there. Oh, I did. So technically, he should have looted that body. That was his body. Well, I couldn't carry any of it, actually. I wouldn't even picked up the shotgun if it wasn't for, like, uh, realizing what it was. That was good teamwork. Bro, I got 3,000, I mean, 2,300 uh, XP I'm so that. lucky he didn't see me. I literally had five rounds in that mag. I, mean, <laughs> I wouldn't have killed him if I tried. That was, that was good stuff. <laughs> Exciting. Got the heart racing. That was a good run. If I had only had my key, it would have been a really good run. <laughs> True. <laughs> you guys can fire me. Oh, I didn't hit the gas station tanker. Oh. <laughs> 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 we didn't find any scabs either, which is unfortunate for me. Oh, we, we did. did. We found one. True. Up one and three quarters of a level. <laughs> Correct. So I got my shotgun hey. I need. I did not like that gun. Like, I mean, I sprayed into that scav. I put 20 bullets into that scav. Jeez. Oh, wait. This is a PT91 STD. Maybe it's the ammo. I'll try it one more time. I'll give it, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Let me try a different ammo. <laughs> So I got croutons now. I found another CMS kit. That's dope. How am I running out of room even in, with the in, this inventory? You gotta be kidding me. Auto range. Ah, better. That was seven hundred dollar around ammo. Jeez. And I just pumped it into that scav, and he just took it like a man. I did fine, bro. I, my ammo did pretty good with the Sega. Except for I, I'm pretty sure I hit that guy straight in the arm every time. So all I was saying was flash. There's something I wanted to see. I was hitting him until I got shot, and then I about I ducked behind the wall. <laughs> oh, that's right here. I, I can get him out. Should I trade for an up DVD hard drive and two caps? Is an ump any good even? Huh, I don't know. I'm glad my body armor held though. <laughs> I had I had 10 points left in my body armor. <laughs> Not even close, honestly. I told you, man, that scav. He's like, I don't care about your little pee pee bro, 90. Bro, he murdered me, bro. He hit me straight in the throat. And I was like, ah. Oh. The only thing I really got out of there that I think is decent is a can of fuel. Okay. Oh, that's really good. I yeah, mean, I don't good. know what a, a hemostat is. One out of three. But they made uh, a... About it. You know, like the bandages? Yeah. You know how you used to have like the Alu splint, which was better than the regular splint? Yeah. Basically, that's like the Alu splint of bandages. Oh, Ragman, that's right. I need to give him. Yeah, yeah. 
And they have different bleeds now, Ryan. You have like a light bleed and a heavy bleed, and like the bandage, the regular bandage won't stop a heavy bleed. I think the hemostat does. You'd have to read the uh, description on it. Okay. So there's actually like two different like kinds of bleed now. And if it's the heavy bleed, obviously you die like much, much quicker. <sighs> you know what I did get that I'm pretty excited about? Mm. It's not worth a lot, but I got the um the woods map. It was on a scav. No, no, you got like the actual map map. Yeah. All right, so let me get out this money. I have armor even. Correct. So the gun I grabbed off that guy was a Saga 12 <laughs> shotgun. <laughs> it's a it's a semi-automatic shotgun. It's not the worst. But I didn't grab any clips for it, so I have five rounds and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. Um, what kind of... Hang on, let me go look. I can f bring you some eggs. It's alright. I'll keep using my file for now. I still have some rounds left for it. Right. Um. Okay. Uh, keep in mind too, um, with the new changes, keep an eye on your guys' energy and your guys' water. Yeah, I'm half and half. Yeah, so I'm, I'm like so do you credit XP now for drinking inside the lobby, or do you have to be in game still? I've heard it's in raid, so I would I just take. That's the way it used to be, so I assume it's probably still the same. Yeah, I'm just gonna take my stuff into the raid with us and eat it and drink it there. Let me see if I can get a fatter mag for this. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, I got a lot of water. I'll take a water in. Then I need some food. I have an MRE as well. Taking some meat. I have so much Tashanka. Okay, for that unknown key, do you remember what it opens? Because I don't. Yeah, it's the guard shack that is for one of your quests. Oh, that's right. I think it's the one that's by Big Red out across the street. Uh, no, it's not by Big Red. It's it's in the where all the warehouses are. It's like that little shack. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's that's like in the middle of like a the, crane uh, area. The watch. Yeah, it's it's close to there. Yeah, it's after the watch quest. Wait, where's all my money? Money, 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 money. Oh, there it is. There we go. Okay, so I only have a car kit. I don't know what car kits heal. They stop light bleeding. That's it. A car kit? Yeah, it's the one under a saloa. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go to the hideout. Stop light bleeding and heavy bleeding. Yep. The little red thingy stopped heavy bleeding as well. Actually, oh. pseudo IFX. What are the S marches? Or S marches? Or, oh, sorry. Oh, that stopped heavy bleeding. It only stopped heavy bleeding. Wait. Why does it say I don't have any rubles? That ain't true. Is that because it's in my They don't sell for crap either, so you might as well just use them. Oh, that's because it's in there. Oh, one of the silencers I picked up is a 50,000 purple silencer. That's nice. Damn. Cool, I got nutrition. I can start making this crap. <laughs> but I, I think can't that make was croutons. on woods, though. I don't, think, I don't think that was this last run. I think that was on woods. I found out one of those crates. The one thing I need to make this, I can't even do it. <clears throat> okay. Should I just work on making sure I get everything built? You do know that you can build your uh, generator, right? Me? Yeah. I already see that in press lease. You didn't need the spark plug to do the level one. Well, see, I did. How do you not need it? See, I, don't, I don't get that. Yeah, that I was weird. I watched his video and he literally just paid Bought for it. Bought it, yeah. Maybe they, maybe they made a change after Christmas because that was like, if you yeah, notice in the videos, it was still Christmas time because they were still giving away the Christmas. I noticed balls. that about some of this stuff is a little, like slightly different. Yeah, I only got two out of the three Christmas balls, so I was kind of sad about that. 
Oh, rip. I didn't get any of them. I got one. But I just have it now. I have silver and purple. I need red. Okay, I'm gonna try to make a lavatory. Where can I get toilet paper? Uh, you can find toilet paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so PSR can... ammo is garbage. If you see it, it's not like if pick another ammo over it, gotcha. you have in the full inventory. Duct tape, nut screws, and I need one more match. Need a bunch of little stuff. A lot of styles of it. Okay, dope. What are we thinking, scav run? Yeah, sure. Let's get some let's get some money flowing. We've had some pretty good runs, so. All right, all right, all right. What budget. is that? What's that stuff that you were selling to the the? It's like the fabric that you were selling. Oh, I sold the therapist. One of them's worth like ten thousand. I mean, yeah, ten thousand, but most of them are worth nine, not even five. Like this one's worth exactly five. I just pick them up because I just know their value. So I'm confused. Not because they're really do the good. AI, <laughs> do the AI two med kits still heal you then or no? Because this only says removes radiation exposure. Um, I'm unfamiliar with that one. That's the yellow cheese. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, they heal you. The cheese. <laughs> as soon as they said the cheese, we're all like, ah. Oh, yeah. Oh uh, yes. That's what, name is. <laughs> that's what they called it when I used to play, like the cheese. Yeah, that's what. That's how I know it. The chess. Uh, I'm getting that stupid inventory bug where like five of my items are flashing because I moved them, but it's not. <laughs> Should I sell vodka for fifteen hundred or no? My fifteen thousand or no? Um, I think that's a good deal. Hold on. Uh, yeah, because they sell for fourteen on the market. Correct. What is it? Fifteen exactly, or yeah, it was exactly 15? fifteen. Exactly fifteen. All right. Yeah, there was. There are still, well, they're like eighteen on the market now, but yeah, by the time you pay to put it on there and stuff, it's not worth it. Just vendor. It. What's his name? I saw he was picking up cords. Pat Presley. I mean Presley. Why? Why does he pick up power cords? Um, either it's something he needed for his inventory for the hideout or um, it's something he wants to build in the hideout. Hmm. I guess I'll hold on to him. And flash drives are need for a mission. Yeah, the flash drives you'll need soon. I have that one. I sold a bunch of flash drives and now I can't find one for the world of me. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I wonder where do we want to go though. I used to go to interchange and just get all the caches. Literally just every last one. Well, maybe not That's all. That's what we used to always do on shoreline. <gasps> I don't know why I did it for interchange, but you know, this is the move. I've just never been a big fan of all the egg tents that everything. And they added some more, but some of them were so fucky. Uh, yeah. Man, yeah, I'm sorry, I cannot not touch. <laughs> Supposedly they've updated again where you have less uh, campers now too, luckily. Oh. Where, do, where? What map are we doing? Uh, that I don't know. I don't know. Um, what do we feel like doing? Does anyone have any <laughs> missions they can try to complete? Not on a scav. I do actually. I, uh, the food one. I can do the food one and. You wanna go to woods? I can't get the water, can I? As a scav? No, I don't no. think so. Okay. Yeah, let's go to woods. Did you ever figure out where that. Th oh, send me a picture of that map. Oh. It's actually here. Let me just send you the website. Oh. Mapgenie.io. I think it's the one that. What's his name was using? Oh, I heard. Yeah, I heard you and I think Ryan talking about that the other day. This. Holy crap. 
wow, that was annoying. A thing popped up and said important security message and like all this coding came up. And, I hate oh. that. <laughs> it makes you worried. You're like, oh, wait a minute. I just closed the window, but oh my God, it was annoying. Dude, I just watched a fucking uh, deer jump in my fire and now he's running around and on fire. Wait, what? Oh, I thought you were talking about on Tarkov. I was like, what? No, Bambi. Uh, that is the old map. Yep, that doesn't have the deer in it. What's the new map then? I haven't seen any maps that. Like, even the one that I... Presley did, I didn't see. It looked like this one. Because it's so new, I legitimately think, like, even the in game map doesn't show the new area yet. Where is the new area? Is it north? Is it all the lakes? On your map, it's south. Oh, south, yeah. Okay, so it's this one. This is the new map. It's yes. Got like a goofy head looking thing. On okay, it. yeah, and they changed the orientation of it. So, yes, that makes sense too. Oh my gosh, this is a thumbnail though. <laughs> <laughs> Okie doke. So, yes, that is. The, where did you find that? Is I there a bigger Google version? It. I don't know. Um, let me try to go to the actual website. Might be a bigger version. Oh, yeah, they got it on like Reddit. Is this bigger? Uh, it's a little bit bigger. Maybe you can actually open it up too. Oh wow, this is a lot bigger. Wait, copy. Okay, yeah, so see, we were up by Scav moved, Bunker. Look. Um, one second, I gotta find you. We started at Village and we made our way up to the scav bridge and then we went to scav bunker and then we went down to the USEC camp and then we went down to outskirts hold on let me all right here we go Come here follow me guys oh, let's riggedy rick rock so i guess the question is where's the food though where'd they go Because we were in the, the village, we went to the abandoned town, we went to the scav bunker, we went to the USET camp. On the map. They're eating each other. Oh, Timmy. The guy died himself and this girl's eating him. <laughs> That's a weird okay, game. Okay, woods map update with the expansion now. Woods escape from talking to interactive map. You can't map. tell because it's so dark, but she's totally naked. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking up? Um, Jaeger... Jaeger's camp on map? Well, Jaeger's camp is just that hut with the ladder. Oh, that's right. So there's Emercom camp. Where to find food for Jaeger? Yeah, that might be better. Nah, I'm burning Hey, up thank you, Will Swagger, for liking the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Much so appreciated. Wait, what's... What's the mission called? Um, hold on. Let me go back in the game. Task. It's called Acquaintance. Yeah, it is. Guide. So there's a few places. There's reserve you can go to. Go to shoreline or interchange is where they recommend. Oh, I can craft it in the hideout. I'm going to my hideout right now. Oh, yeah. What do I need? Fine, though. I got to get the freaking croutons. Lots of food items can be found and scattered throughout the ad admin slash theater building at the resort. <clears throat> so reserve. Why is my, my hideout is taking like a minute to load? Called Gosham. Red on the map, look. Packed with food, check all the shelving to find it. A flashlight will help for all the dark corners. Where is that? I missed the first Interchange. Uh, there's a grocery store called Goshen. 
Oh, yeah. Alright, I think my game's bug. I'm gonna alt tab out and then... So yeah, uh, I need to go to either interchange, shoreline, or reserve. What's on reserve? Um, it says there's a theater. Oh no. Reserve. Food can be found easily found in the kitchen wing of the Black Bishop building. Isn't the Black Bishop building, Bishop building a very... Contested one? Yeah. yeah. All it's Bishop. up there by the helicopter. It's one of those big four buildings. I'll pass. I'm pretty sure. So, interchange... Reserve is buggy sure. for me too. Reserve's like the only map that my computer really glitches and it's really buggy and lags. Really what if bad. it's because there's a bunch of... Oh no, that wouldn't make sense. I don't know. It's... There's a minigun in the game. Yeah. So, the ceiling for the game is like extremely oh, high. And it that's why it makes the game... Like, it's just... It's not optimized very well. Like, the coding for it, it's, it's poorly coded. So, that's why <laughs> it makes it dead space up above you that it's rendering. All right, you want to just do interchange then? I think I like interchange. Interchange's fun. I like the indoors. We can, uh, yeah. I also need to find a scav though with a. Uh... Oh, back. Not ready. I meant to hit eggs. Excuse me. Okay, so scav. Interchange. Keepers. Okay, we're doing scabs. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. I think this is a sniper rifle. I think this is the. I think it's called the SVD. It's got no scope or anything on it though. Oh, dun, 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 oh, Blake's got the, the PP. silence. Is that the SIG? <laughs> no, I think it's the PP. Uh, maybe not. It might be the SIG. Sega. Now you're right. With that little clip in it like that, it might be the one I was just using. The PP9 or whatever we're doing it is. Again? Sorry. Uh, interchange. 1405. 1405. You, you have a better vest than I do. True, that's the Tarzan. The other one's the GSC-6, and it's... Oh, Ryan! <laughs> <laughs> they call me Tank. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and once you Dang. fill that backpack, you're going to move as fast as a tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that big gold grape. That's all, how I always knew you from other people. When you used I that, always I ran that really grape. Going. <laughs> I used to run that there was no all friendly time. killing during that <laughs> <laughs> there there is like, a, uh, many people wanted purple backpacks in a, in a map there's a, a backpack now that's like twice the size of the pilgrim what? it has three different compartments Jeez. it literally looks like if you were like to fall into a river it would be your raft like that's how big it is on your back it's huge I've seen Summit use it before. Why would you ever use it? Because it just carries anything you want. Like, you can carry four bodies out with it. Yeah, but what What do you want <laughs> with that? I guess it's nice. It's uh, really nice for storage. A super loot run? <laughs> but, like, you couldn't fight anybody without being... Unless you just dropped it every time you got a combat. <laughs> Some of the good players yeah, will yeah, do I'm that. Like DJ the other day, when you guys were sniping, he threw his backpack down to make himself mm -hmm. smaller. Yeah. All the good players do that. Yeah, that one raid, dude, I got out with all your gear. Hmm. I, uh, so right after you died, some guy started to push the rock. I started sniping at somebody across the way. And because I was well hidden, he saw the guy that was trying to push me. The guy across the way shot him for me. I, heard, I literally heard him die like while I was up on the rock. You know, you hear him like that. Yeah. I finished off the guy that was shooting across me across the way, and then I ran all the way around and looted those bodies I was shooting at. I oh, weren't in the building. Oh, oh we're outside Ollie. 
Oh, yeah, I don't Remember, we're scavs, so don't open fire on scavs. Yeah, you're good. That's gonna be a while for me. I'm still only at 25% loading loot, but okay. I always load in late on scavs. Right, I then. got your croutons, dude. No. <laughs> yeah, I got them in my inventory. Like, I, I spawned with them, though. Uh -huh. I can't give them to you. Rip. I don't think I can. Wait, I'm scav, though. Can I give them to you? Yeah, you should be able to. Is it found here. it? Oh, wait, it doesn't need to be found in raid, even, does it? Well, I think it does, but here. They're on the ground right here. What? Oh, well, guys, I got what I wanted to. We can extract now. <laughs> Blake extracts before Ryan even gets in. Oh, uh, there's <laughs> bodies to our left. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's right. I have a key for these. Not on scabs, you don't. Yeah. I like. Forgot I have a purpose to come here. Oh, wait, no, that's yeah. right. I can look for a Taz still, right? Because that's still found yeah. in raid, even if. Oh, my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. See oh, SKS. Darn it. I saw the wood stock and all. I was like, nah. -uh. You got me all pumped up. I really don't want this actually. Bye bye. Okay, so is that the only croutons you need or do you need more? No, I only need one. Did you find more? No, I'm just asking like what to look for. Do you need any? No, yeah. I just need the lunch box, the green lunch box. Gotcha. But so uh, apparently you can make that in your hideout, mm -hmm. so. Oh! Scav? Where? Oh, no, he's a real player. Where at? In the back of Ollie. I'm loading in right now. Oh, I'm dead. The very back of Ollie. Uh, my I... aim was just dog. <laughs> he was running back like where gas is. Yeah, he's a scav player. Get down. I didn't say. Very back store area or back office area? Store. Okay, back where okay. you'd find like the gas tanks in the back corner. He was running toward the like the warehouse extract though like I mean He wasn't very looted or anything like kitted or anything like he was just a scav so it's not even worth you dying over it I hit him twice. I did 149 damage. I just damage hit him, him twice so. He is hurt. He's definitely bleeding. I'm gonna go let my dog out real quick. Okay, where are you at, Blake? I'm fighting this guy. He's still in Ollie. He's back in the racks. Okay, I'm coming into the rack area now. On the far left side, though. Personally, if I was you, I would stay out just so you guys don't accidentally shoot each other, not knowing who's who. But it's up to you guys. I lost right. him. He's coming your way, actually. I was gonna say here for a minute, see if I see it. Careful, he might be up there. Wait, where are you at? I just came in through the wall. Is that you crouching? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Nope. Somebody shoot at me. Damn it. That was probably your guy. I shot him two or three times, but... Oh, yeah, I was coming to the left by pinching towards you guys. Or where you were. But maybe you'll catch him loot my body. Where were you at? Um, I was all the way up against the back wall. I came out of storage and went into the uh, actual store area where all of the racks are in line and he was getting ready. Like I'm right by the doorway. Oh. It's going to be more to your right, Blake. Yeah, back in that back corner. Should be like pretty much in there, a little more to the right. The exit. Yeah, that's the light you see there is the exit. So. You gotta be kidding me, I gotta reload.
Oh, he's got a backpack. He got it off of... What's his name? Probably got off me. True. <clears throat> oh my goodness, where'd he go? You got a couple good hits on him. I know, I've shot him literally like five times now. And I shot at him a couple times. I don't know if I hit or not. I can find out in a sec. Probably for him, whether he camps you out or whether he tries to get out now. Oh, he's camping you out. Oh, dude, heavens, bro. Let's go. I made me crap myself. Okay, there we go. Oh, he took my gun. Oh, frick, how big is your gun? Well, you know. Shut up. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> I had an AK. Yeah, I, I got the AK. And this gigantic pilgrim that he probably has full to the brim. That wasn't Ryan's AK. Did you have a forward grip on your AK? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh. Bro, why didn't he put everything... Oh, where's his guns? Oh, they are in here. Oh, so you killed him? Mm-hmm. Good deal. Like five guns. Yeah, with that big backpack playing around the store. <laughs> Yeah, I happened to look left right when he popped up to my right, so I tried to hurry and swing and shoot him. Only got three shots off. Before yeah, because I take this pilgrim, I gotta extract. Blake, put all those little things in your other backpack. The black backpack will carry all those little, the bandages, the peas, all that. Gotcha. Be a hoarder, I'll take it all. Now the real question is, how right. do I get out? Um, you're gonna have the other extract. Oh yeah, you got heat mats. Hey, thank you, you, you for liking the stream. You need to head through Ollie and to the right. All the way down through Ollie? You're heading out the front door. Okay, the way you ran, it'll be your left, not right, sorry. Like that way? Once you, yeah. Once you leave all it, yeah, the, the light, the windows there. There's escalators that go down. And then once you leave the building, you're gonna wanna run at a diagonal away from the building and to the right. If you think about the map as a giant, oops. if you think about the map as a giant rectangle, and you being in the middle, you have to go to the far back right corner from your position now. Oh my god, that mannequin scared me. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know which way is the best. Where am I going once I get out here? <gasps> That's a bait. It's all a bait. Straight out into the right. Yeah. <clears throat> Basically, you're gonna just run out there. You're gonna get to the wall where the other scavs are. If we haven't killed scavs, you should be fine. Is that a player? It's worth even shooting at him. I don't think it is. Just let him extract before you. Follow him out. Hop that wall to your left. You want to go to that blue wall to your left there, the big tall blue wall. That's where you're going to... Eventually, there will be an area where that wall is broken. You'll want to go through it. Plus, by leaving him alive and ahead of you, as long as you don't catch up to him, if there's someone camping the extract, he'll run into him first. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice job. Has he got my shoddy? Oh, he's got a shoddy.
Oh, there's a scav. Careful, because there could be more scavs out there now. Couldn't tell. I should have known he ran right past the other guy. So the other guy is probably a scav player too. He's gonna try to camp it. Mm. Head over to where that crane is because I think the hole in the fence is coming up soon. It might actually be where that crane is, I can't remember. I don't, I'm just asking you if you do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Number alt T to check your mag. Good thing there was ammo oh. in here. Hope oh, oh. Jesus. <laughs> I had no idea, I just switched my weapon. Check your uh, fire. Oh, it only has one mode. You only got four minutes, you gotta start moving. Is it not right here? Careful. No. You still have a ways to run. Alright, I'll loot this in boogie. Okay, where am I going? Um, to that wall and then to the right more. Oh, that's probably a scab player. Does he get a gun in his bag? Yeah. Well, it was actually a stock. Oh. Yeah, it's not there. Keep going along that wall. It's up to those concrete barriers. Do the scouts push? Yeah, they can. Sometimes they'll push, sometimes they'll run away. He's not acting like a scab, though. You're gonna have to push though, you literally are running out of time. Nice. Where to next? Keep running along that wall. Once you go on the other side of that concrete, look to your left, you'll see like a big hole in the wall. Mm. Go through there. Am I going to the railroad thing? Mm -mm. Okay, yikes. Yep, Thanks. so basically, yep, run kind of kitty corner like that now, a little to your left. I should be good, it's not that yep. that far, but... No, right, I know, I just meant like... Yeah, you don't I'm definitely have kidding. Just sit and camp out, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, no, I was saying I don't, I was afraid I might not even make it. Well, you don't know what you're gonna run into here, too. Yeah. There could still be a player camping the train. That'd be impressive. That's a dedicated camper. Oh, you wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> They'll just sit there till the last minute and mow people down. Really? That's cancer. Because it only takes like, you know, 10 seconds to extract, so they could literally wait there till the last minute and then just... I don't want to say I've never encountered a camper as extracts, but... Yeah, in factory, remember? You've been there a couple times where someone's sitting mm. in their little room. Yeah. I've had that. But then once. we did it a couple times. <laughs> It'll be on the right side of those trains, but you can use the trains as cover walking up to it. Gotcha. Yeah, you're almost there. It's like at the bridge on the right side. On this side? Yeah. On the other side of the, like the oh, last right train car there. It's like far right, yeah. Holy smokes! I got everything I needed! Beautiful! Let's go! Go How team! How many guns did you get there? I got four? Five? And wait, did you... Was that a player at the end or a scav? I had no idea. 
I didn't even He'll load tell him. You on your I just ran. Here. I got 3,000 XP. All scaffs. All scaffs. Sweet, though. How hey, many can... was it? Four? Four. Rock and on. you picked up other people's weapons and used them in raid? Yeah. Like, look at you go, Rambo. <laughs> Basically. I ran out of ammo. Okay, so we got one, two, yeah, four. Three. Oh, hold up. Four. Plus, what's in your backpack? Yeah, I forgot about that. Six guns. Six. Holy moly. <laughs> Oh uh, my goodness, and the That's six gigantosaurus. Three BMCs right there. True. And a gigantosaurus for a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Literally makes the scav pack look like a baby. Oh my goodness. I thought the scav pack was huge. Good run, good run. Correct. About dang time I get one of them. Holy smokes. YouTube. <laughs> Where's my croutons? Oh, did you lose your croutons? No, you got them. Did I just empty them into my inventory? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this won't fit there now, will it? Nope. <laughs> we gotta upgrade our space for the pilgrim. Oh my goodness, the pilgrim is massive. The Anioki chocolate bar in this game is 25,000 ruples for a chocolate bar. Huh? I think it's trade. It's a trade item. Can this thing reorganize for me, please? Nope, it won't do it for me. I have a full <laughs> inventory. <laughs> ah! Not the best organized, but. Sell, Blake, sell. True. I'm almost level 10. Then I'll selling mad. Then just watch that money hit the <laughs> millions. I don't know about millions, but it'll be up there. Oh, thinking big. Billions. <laughs> <laughs> Billion. Could you imagine actually being able to get... Could you imagine? That'd be like the best YouTube title. First billionaire in Dark <laughs> <laughs> That'd be nuts. Can you imagine becoming a billionaire in Tarkov? Yeah, I was pretty happy with my 80 some million, so <laughs> I, mean, I couldn't imagine. imagine a million millions. That'd be just. You just walk around the maps with uh, scav backpacks full of money, just dying, <laughs> yeah. letting people have some. Yeah, just like suicide running into people just so that they can get your money and feel like they're worth something. Oh, I didn't even drink the water. Oh, no, that was on my actual character. I basically got an upgraded weapon from the get go and then. Oh, excuse me. Came out with a lot more. Crack, that's a run. I can't believe Ryan's AK actually had a forward grip on it. That's I'm. Pretty... Bro, I couldn't imagine that gun without a forward grip. Do you see the kick on that thing? Oh yeah. my goodness. I was terrified. Yeah, the AKM is like one of the worst of the AKs. But <laughs> Unless but the, you get it all dialed in, which is really expensive to do. Yeah. Not as expensive as M4A1, but... Jeez. Bro, the PP is so nice. <laughs> I have two uh, kitted out M4A1s in my inventory right now. Dang. Okay, what did yeah, I... They're like 200... Thousand plus ruble guns. Oh, I need to finish what's his name's mission. Yeah, just well, the old days that red <gasps> tube, the <gasps> gas tube alone was over 100 and some K. Why can't I turn like it on? 150K. I don't know what rate it was, guys, but I got BS ammo. I got 60 rounds of it. It's selling for a thousand per round right now. 60,000 rules. Correct. Let's go. <laughs> And that's a just it's all in a stack, so it's a one by one. Like that's pretty good. Okay. Um I don't know what I did with my food, but it's gone. Just go to the vendor and they'll probably be able to just pull it out of your stash wherever. I saw you click it off. I did too. It's next to your bullets. Your, oh yeah, it's uh, right here. Why can't he take it? 
Is it found in raid? Yeah. Oh, there's different kinds. There's two different kinds of croutons. It might be the wrong kind. No. Yeah, one kind you can trade in for the other, though. So find who has the originals, and you can probably trade those for the other ones that you need. Oh. That's true. I Is it want to say it's like skier, skier, but I could be wrong. No, I thought it was the medic. Oh, you may be right. It may be at a higher level, though. <laughs> he's only level one on everything. Right. Therapist, like me. Oh, man. Like, did you just ask your therapist to like you? <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are just Ray croutons. I need... What does he call them? They're fancy kind. Screw you, Jaeger! Darn it! It's getting me all excited. I think it's like a pink and blue bag. I forgot about that. Amelia. Um, Amelia. Mel. Amelia Rye croutons. Oh, crap me a biscuit. No, thanks. <laughs> you don't want to do that? Yeah, that'd be a pretty gross biscuit. <laughs> crap me a biscuit. Okie doke, where to next, fellas? Oh, I don't care. I, I gotta unload some ammo real quick and then I gotta sell some stuff. I definitely should sell stuff, but... What is augmenting antibiotic pills? You can use those to make certain stems and stuff, if I remember right. I can't remember for sure, though. Should I just sell it? I guess we're going to go back to dorms again. Sure. Well, I think there's something you use them for that you might want. Uh, oh, okay. Something in the crafting. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Since I remember, I used to save those before. Mm, okay. <clears throat> what about repack batteries? Ooh. Well, they're 10,000. Rechargeable batteries are 10,000. Yeah. Blake, did you live with that ZB14 key? You, you yeah. got out of that raid, right? Okay. Yeah. Where I put oh, it? Oh, that's in. my ZB1014 key. Wait, you said that key's yours? No, no, no. Uh, I was going to give Ryan... I had another one here. I was going to give it to Ryan, and then I realized that that was actually my key. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have the cabin key with me next this time, so if we go oh. back to Big Red, I will gotcha. get you into the office. Cool, cool, cool. And the then, customs we go. I've almost fully gone back up in water and stuff. Oh shoot, that's right. I need to drink water. Oh no, I'm back up in water. How? I didn't drink anything. It You slowly regen when you're not using your character. Oh, cool. And that's why like, when you build the hideout and stuff, um, like certain ones will give you buffs to regen that faster. Isn't it laboratory or whatever? No. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What? I sold two relays earlier and I need them for my nutrition, which is I'm assuming <laughs> what I need to make the lunch pack. That's what I did is I was collecting, I sold them and then like ever since then I was like, oh, I need to get the, I need it from nutrition because I was planning on making the lunch boxes. Well, little did I know. I actually just need the croutons and you can't make croutons okay i'm looking for all right hold on a second let me <sighs> duct tape nuts bolts duct tape nuts and bolts and then matches And TP. Oh, you piece of shit. Sorry. Now I'm stuck. Damn thing. Wait, why does he only have eight minutes left? Why does what have eight minutes left? Jaeger only has eight minutes left. Oh, cause he re, uh, his inventory and stash and stuff resets. So like if you buy your one, uh, like say he sells a really good gun that you want, after that time frame it'll reset and you'll be able to buy it again. 
Gotcha. Yep, yep. I don't think anyone has anything that I can't. What do I, I want to attach something to my. Can you imagine trying to make this game? They have so many items. Yeah, that's some of the complaints, though, is that they spend so much time doing other shit instead of fixing stuff that's wrong. So much stuff, though. Yeah, I've heard that before, too. They say, like, quit adding stuff to the game and fix the broken stuff and then add more later. What's broken? A lot. <laughs> Just like how Actually, buggy it is and stuff. Oh. I'm upset my horse wasn't worth very much. This game wants me to buy it for 80. Kidding me? I cannot get those stairs to build right. 61,000! Whoa, did somebody trade you? Something for that? Be Ragman? No. Paper. Wait, he'll buy these headphones? I don't even know how to use them. For 28,000? Are these good? Can't use them. Probably. Buy sunglasses too. I'll still use some sunglasses. Oh yeah, those go on a uh, helmet. Those are a helmet attachment. Um, it's probably one that you actually have in your inventory. Really? It's the um, it's the ones that I use, the green ones that I use, the TK Fast MTs. You can attach those right to the side of it, and then it's part of the helmet. Then, yeah, right there. <laughs> yep. So just take your headphones, drag them down, and they'll attach to the sides. Oh no! No! Oh. Put everything on this guy. You can get a face shield for it too. But they're armor class one. What is the helmet? Yeah. They may go on other helmets too. It may not be just that one. <laughs> Attach my night vision to this one, which is normal class three or four. You can use the night vision if you want for fun in a raid, but to be honest, it's probably a pretty expensive, uh, it's probably like 50,000 ruples, the goggles themselves. 50,000? Yeah, especially depending on which ones they are. They are the GP something something something. GPNVG. The night vision stuff is really expensive. Same with the IR stuff. Okay, all right, so um, customs it is, PMC. 72,000. Okay. Sold to proper. How much is it worth on the market then? Uh, what are they called? Oh, um, GPNVG. GPNVG. Night vision. Uh, yeah, those are worth 164,000 rubles. All right. All right. I told you that stuff's expensive. We'll just sell Let's that do one. the 547 because it'll be switching today. Yeah, On which map? 530, it's daytime. That sounds right. Cool. <laughs> Custom rat attack. Sure, all. But now, bro, you need some rubles? No, I don't, bro. Why would I need money? Oh, oops. I can't insure it all. That's why. <laughs> is my gun? It's because this guy's rich. Oh, it's because it's all in my character. He sold a scav box the other day. He's got money to spend. Oh, okay. It's on my right. character. That's right. It's in my docs case. And I put my docs case on my character. 
How the hell did he get a scab case? Found it in game? No, um, <gasps> he crafted it. Oh. With like three mag boxes or something, but he already had two. Who? DJ. Oh. I have a bunch of guns I need to s that I could sell. But Look why sell them guys. if I can just use them? Look at these three guys. Wait, do I not have a backpack? Oh, Blake doesn't have a backpack. No. Shoot, did I need anything? <clears throat> I don't know. Do you want to hit back now or no? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I need anything. Watch will get in, you'll be like, all right, here's your door. And I'm like, oh, wait, that's, that's right, I need it. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, for your quest? No, you don't need anything. For okay. That. I'm still looking for that Taz. <laughs> we find a scab with the Taz? You walked out with six guns out of interchange and a Taz wasn't one. Nope. <laughs> I told you, bro. I can't find Tazes. I can find. Oh, I am plugging my headphones. I can find everything but. Oh, Tazes. They're two. They're, they're valued, bro. They're such a good gun. Scavs don't carry them. It's too good for a scav. Okay. <laughs> Dang, Blake, I've watched you for 32.2 hours. Jesus. 32? I've earned, I've earned 142 coins, whatever those are. Oh my goodness. I gotta do something three. with them. I gotta give you. I gotta give some thingies for that. What do you call it? Rewards. Uh, channel point rewards. I'll uh, I'll cash in a dollar per coin, please. <laughs> oh god, I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Do I that. need another version of Tarkov. So I've earned <laughs> enough now. <laughs> That would be fun though if you get really good at this game to just like do exactly what Presley's doing. I, mean, I keep saying Presley. Pesley. That would be so fun. I know I call him Presley too. That would be actually really fun. Start over with a new character. Yeah, and, and just explain all the way through. To, yeah, to see how fast you can get there and be like, all right, I think I believe this would be the quickest way, and then do it. And then be like, okay, well, this is where it could have been better. This is where it could have been worse. And then season two, you're like, okay, season one was bad. It was bad. <laughs> We're gonna try it this way now. <laughs> How often do they wipe this game? Um, I, it depends. It's like when they come out with big updates. Like we won't be like when Trevor and I played for a long time. They didn't update it at all. Like, I mean, they didn't uh, wipe it like at major all. Major updates, yeah. Yeah, and then all of a sudden they did the one up, the one wipe, and we both went like right before the wipe. And then uh, they've done two total since then. So. Oh, so not very many. They're not very often. No, it's not even like. <laughs> like I'd say. Like we played I it think for in almost two a year before the white. Yeah. yeah. Dang. But okay. they never released that map that they've been like teasing forever now. The city map. Oh yeah, the one that's on their trailer. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably going to be the next big. Well, and that's what everybody said that was going to be the next big wipe back when it was our first wipe. Now there are three wipes past that, and it still isn't out. So, but everybody's saying now that that's going to be the next <laughs> wipe is when that map comes out. Basically, the reason they do the wipes is because, sorry, when they add like something to the storyline or like the quest line, if everybody's already like you know In level the middle 50 of it, and 60, right? Hey, yeah, so welcome, Eric. then nobody would do the quest. Yeah. Yeah, you got, you got, yeah. Everybody's in lunch and stuff. It is Everybody's kind of cool too to like reset. Like that's kind of fun, honestly. I mean, yeah, you don't want to always be, especially like people like Summit or Pre Pesley, or like they're at the top. Like that just get boring. Because then it's basically just all right. Let's go into PvP. Exactly. Like I had, on the first wipe, I completely 100%ed my entire hideout. I had the Bitcoin <laughs> farm and everything. Jeez. Um, so it kind of stinks to lose it, but at the same time, it's, it's kind of like, fun to like. Yeah, it makes the game still 
Are you guys in game? Because mine's screwed. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, let's say you're right here. Alright, let's riggedy rig rock. Yeah, because we got a ways to go to get to yeah, the Yeah, I have red. a gas tank back here I need to do, though. Oh, okay. Watch out for scavs and players will spawn back here, too. Really? Yeah. Oh, wait, this is not where I thought we were. This is military. I thought we were by railroad. I was going to go look for the freaking... <laughs> what do you call it? The cache. And then I was like, oh, wait. Players will spawn in the factory and push out. Look for a big orange tanker for me. I'm in the scab area now. Raids are going pretty darn well. Tankers by the gas station. Oh man, I'm lying. There is there. one at that one gas station, but I think there's one all the way back here too. I could be wrong. I thought there was one at customs, one at new gas station, one at old gas station, and I thought there was one back here. This is where a lot of players so. spawn, right? Oh, it's in the middle of the warehouses. Is that a piece of cheese? Might be. No. Yeah, players do spawn back here. I'm gonna push you the fence. I'm gonna loot this area as risky as that may or may not be. Brian, if you wanna hit the That's corner nice. stack behind me, all decent, yours. Decent profit. I'm Mainly gonna move down to factory loot. far corner. Get that stash down there. Shut up! I hope I don't get down. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Where'd you guys go once you got through the gate? Yeah, Brian's, hit, Brian's hitting the stash right there by the wall. I ran down to the far stash. The pipeline stash is still open for anyone that wants it. Okay, I thought it was right. I guess I don't know where pipeline stash is. I you have to go through those first two buildings. First two buildings? Like the, it's near the silos. Yep, I'm heading to them now. There's somewhere you said? You should see, yep, uh, on the other side of that pipe there. Over here. Behind this pillar. Oh, I'm coming out of the building, don't you? Okay. I see you. This is us. Oh, right here, up here. I thought Ryan, it was in this summit. new building is pretty Gucci. Which one? This one right here. A lot of players come in here though, so be careful. And upstairs, there's computers. There's jackets in here. There's weapons crates. Hey, a non-broken phone. Crack. Oh, dear. Oh, drill. Oh, we'll that for the raid later. So you need that for hideout. Yeah. There's a grenade box over in the corner too, Ryan. Over there in the opposite corner by the generator thing on the floor. Yeah. Nothing, man, that's unfortunate. And yeah, there's not a lot on the... Normally there's stuff laying on the ground too, but I don't see any stuff like that. Oh, there's stuff in here. Filter, crack. Money. More nuts, more duct tape, crack. And therm. Oh. Money in that one. All right, I'm ready I'm to gonna... I'm regrouping at the door. I'm ready to go. Okay, Having taken so time. I was gonna check this other room upstairs. Oh, yeah, take your time. Oh, somebody already is. <laughs> There's the, you can check the weapons crate though. I didn't get that yet. <gasps> I found a chain, chain light. Isn't that worth something? Those are pretty good. I think those are like 20k, maybe. Dope. Did the container upgrade? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, there's a pistol in here if you want it. Can you not hold it? Well, I I already grabbed a pistol, so it would literally just say. I'll get it. If you don't want it, I'll take it. Quick, I didn't do that right. I'm just a share. <laughs> yeah, I'm a greedy person, so. <laughs> We can get along well. <laughs> Where? Where'd you go, Trevor? I'm right here with you guys. Oh, okay. Over here, other door. Uh, oh, other door. <laughs> Me and Ryan are like. Wait. Did you already check that grenade box? Yeah. yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's close. I'm going in the building with the dead scav. Be Unsafe. careful, guys. That was really close. That was pretty close. 
That's probably at the road, right? Oh man, they are fighting like fuck. Yeah, I think we bunker down for a few minutes. I'm gonna hide behind those lines and then watch. Yeah, them. I'm about to take like this genuine cover, not. I'm watching the front door, the one we did not come in. Okay. I well, hear running. I hear running. That's me, that's me, that's me. Okay. <coughs> I'm gonna Nobody be run right now because it's gonna be too loud. I'm gonna be behind both of you so I can help out either one. Just don't move a whole, whole, whole bunch, Trevor. Else I might accidentally. If I do, I'll go left. Actually, I wonder, should I get high ground maybe? Oh. Forget it. Sounded like it was too close to the old gas station. Maybe new gas station? It almost sounded like the minigun though, to be honest. Like how fast it was shooting. Is there a minigun on every map? I mean, it could be an HK. HKs aren't as popular anymore. All right, I'll cover the boxes. See what's in them. Looks so like Blake's got the little one yeah. in the front. So Ryan, you hit the upper one in the top. Oh, oh no, wait, I'm sorry. Wrong way. Blake's getting the upper one in the top. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping an eye on the front door. Another helmet. Dang. Are any of these better Have than mine? Have they already looped the toolbox and stuff too, or no? I did, I yes. think Blake did. Yeah, I did that when I first got in here. This class if you don't want well. it, Blake, I'll grab one of those helmets. Yeah, please. Anyone need a helmet? I got three of them. Or Ryan, do you need a helmet? Um, I don't know. Not really, you, probably. If you can carry it, go grab his helmet. Well, even if you need one, I have an extra one not being used. What do you think sort of more, a hose or a blue, uh, blue, uh, gunpowder? Uh, hose. Blue gunpowder is the cheapest one, I think. No, I think blue's the middle one. I think it's green, blue, red. I don't remember. I think blue's the little, the, the little one. Because I used okay. to grab that stuff all the time. I it might be blue, green, red then. But the value of some of the stuff you guys have said is like way different than what it was back then. It's, it, yeah, the whole market's way different. It's because of the found and raid stuff. You can't even buy stuff from the market anymore and then like resell it. You can't even like, you know what I mean? Because buying yeah. off the market's not in raid, so. Oh, gonna be fun okay. when I get it. Did you guys figure out your helmets? I think it's red, blue, green is what Eric said. I got, they're just sitting up here. They're in the ammo crate, Ryan, that Blake was in. Oh, okay. Up here. Um, it was the easiest way for him to leave it because he didn't have room to get it and then bring it to you, so. Yeah. But I think we should get moving. Gunshots had calmed down. Ring out like a bell. Oh, they heard was good. All right, so to be the safest way, when we leave here, we're gonna jump over the fence using that um, metal barrier by the train. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Then the next warehouse, we'll have to look for the scav sniper on top. The next warehouse, if you guys don't mind peeking out the door for me, I need to go out in the middle of that crane yard because I think one of the orange trucks I need is in there. So oh, you guys nice. will cover me, but you guys can cover me from the warehouse to be safer for you guys. <laughs> Good luck, Trevor. All right, you guys ready? Wait, which uh, way? Are you at the front or back door? Uh, the big front door that we did not come in. Gotcha. <coughs> so we're running straight left? Uh, yeah, pretty much. You have to go like, yeah. Oops, I went the wrong way to get out. Save your stamina, right? It's fine. Just walk for a minute. Because we have to run and jump over the fence. And you don't want to get stuck at the top of the fence and no stamina. <laughs> That would be so unfortunate. Standing there on top of the- Yeah, you're like, right. nobody see me! You ready? Yep. yep. I mean, Blake already saw me do my last one for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is so bad. Oh my lord, there's, there's a fire. crazy shots going on. I don't see the scab sniper. We're gonna go into this building here on the front right. Okay. <laughs> oh, can we make it? Through the back. I think that's the new area. I feel like the scab boss might be over there. Okay. <laughs> so we'll just we'll skip try. that part. 
All right, come on in the warehouse, boys. Oh shit, I forgot my girlfriend wanted me for lunch. <gasps> There's a guy. Are you in the warehouse yet? I'm in it. I'm in it. Yeah, we are in. Okay. Woo. Wait, hold up. Yeah, We're at. Crouched over by the ammo. Are you crouched? I'm crouched right now. Yes. I'm not. Okay. Okay. Stand up. The guy's still crouching. Shoot. I'm standing up. Everybody standing up? Yeah. Yep. I'm done. It's gotta be a scav. All right, I'm gonna shoot him. Stay back. Got him. Kelly, yeah, that's it bad. It took us that long to figure out if the guy right. was. I'm laying down next to him. There's gotta be a better way to do that. How should we do that when we enter in a new room? I don't know why he didn't see me. Like I had plain view of him. Okay. Uh, just stay in here, boys. I'm gonna go out the front and look for this tanker. Oh, wait, hold up. I don't have a good cover view. No, you're okay. I'm not leaving yet. I'm just looking out the doors. Okay, I'm gonna loot this thing. You know what? I don't see it in here. Hold on. It might be in the next set. It might be. Oh, you know what? I, it might be the tanker that has the pocket watch because that's a gas tanker, isn't it? All right, you guys stay here. Me. It's me, it's me, it's me. I'm I'm right heard you scared the bejesus out of me. Because I thought right, I heard I'm, a scav. You guys stay here. I'm gonna run to old gas station and see if there's scavs, because I know there's a tanker there I need. But you guys stay in there for a minute. Thank you, Because we don't want to go this way this time, because I think the new area has the... That scav, what gun did he have? Do we know? He had a shoddy. <gasps> was it a Taz? No, it was the 133. MP, something. Are you guys still in here? I am uh, yeah, you. just chill for just a second. I'm planting it right now. Anyone missing shotgun ammo? Whoever took the shotgun? Um, hey, another scav around? It. Just find each other and make sure it's not each other and then kill whatever you need Where to. Where are you at, Ryan? I'm by a water thing next to like, orange truck. Oh, you're outside? No, I'm inside. Okay, so anyone outside is enemy. <laughs> yep. Got it. So there is somebody I'm going outside. To, I'm going to come in the back door, but it's not yet. Yeah, I'll tell you the front I'm door go. is where I heard the voice, the scout. The okay. voices. <laughs> I'm paranoid. I oh. hear voices. All right, I'm coming near the back door. Yeah. Oh. Got him. Do you need help? I got him. Hold on. Don't come out the door. I'll sp shoot past you. Okay, he's dead. He hit me hard. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. It's me. It's me. I got to Oh, so you came in through the front door. No, I came in the back. Well, the front door that we came in, yes. Oh, no. So, yeah, that's the oh, back door. Oh, my body armor took all of it. Oh, that's like a hit, though. Okay. There's Utah armor on the scab that you killed earlier. Um, the blue armor. I still have 27 in it. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're gonna uh, come to the opposite corner we came in, guys. We'll push toward the front here now. Actually, that's where I'm at. Is it the opposite? Um, I are thought you I heard footsteps up is there, here. That's Ryan, right? This yeah. is Blake, I think. Oh, never mind. Y'all ain't seeing me. Other side of the building. There you go. That's us, Blake. Come over yeah. here. Oh, I thought you wanted to go out this way. No, because we have to go jump over. Well, if I have the key, it's a lot easier way of getting out. But if I don't have the key, we have to jump over the. Gotcha. gotcha the the scab you might have heard, Blake, you know. might be the one I just smoked. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, let's run. Because he was this he came scary. to the back of the building, but he was on your side of it, so. Mm. Dude, you know I can't make this jump. I tried this. No, 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 that's fine. <laughs> Cover me for a second. I think I have the key for this. No, I don't. Damn it. Uh, you don't have to run anymore, Ryan. Maybe I have one. Nope, I don't. Maybe I have one. Nope. It's a uh, factory key. <laughs> you don't have to run anymore, oh. Ryan. You can just walk. I almost made it. Yeah, and remember, it. you're aiming for that. Oh, oh. yeah. Get down. Okay, run back here, back here. I'm right back. Oh. To the back of the building, around the alley. Ryan's inside the building. 
Where did Ryan go? Inside the building. Okay. We'll come around the back, Ryan. We'll come into the building with you. Come on, Blake. Anybody see where those shots are coming from? Not a clue, but I heard them from both sides, I think. Okay, Ryan, we're gonna come in through the back, so don't freak out on us. That's fine. I'm upstairs watching that one exit entrance. Okay, Ryan, we're coming into the building where you are now. Where are you at? I'm I went inside, Blake. Oh, rip. Uh, yeah, right. Go straight that way, and then there's a door on your left. I hear you. Come on in. This factory is like two sections to it. This is the back section. Ryan should be in the front section. I'm upstairs. The bot, like, what is it? I see you. We're coming up. You have to running past me. One of you. Is. Oh. oh, I see you. I see you. Right. Yeah, yeah, I see you. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know that it existed. Yeah, okay. You can watch out that. Interesting, I guess. I didn't know this was here either. So what do we do, boys? I don't think we should try that jump again, because I think there's people at the gas station. I don't know if there were scavs or players, but yeah, I feel I like we should I go. That jump. I've never made it. Okay. Well, the only other option we have is to sneak around through old gas station. We can do it quickly and along the edge. Um, we could hit the pocket truck there, then we could go across the river, we could try and get to Big Red, get the thing that Blake needs, and we can just leave at Crossroads. That's fine, because my girlfriend wants me to meet her for dinner at 11.30 to 11.45. Okay, cool. Are we grouped up here? I'm coming down. I was upstairs. Alright, so one. we're going to leave out the back. By the yeah. way, Ryan, this is the building with power over there where the door you came in. Under the offices, there's a throw switch. If you ever need to turn the power on for this map, there's power now. All right, let's roll, boys. We're gonna go out the back. What would you need power on for this map? The ZB13 exit that we do with DJ, but you have to have a key for that too. Why do you have to? Do, why would you want to do that one? Why not just do? Because it's on. It's right next to us. It's under the uh, where the scavs spawn. The with the machine guns. That worse. building. Oh, okay. Can yeah, spawn here, right? Yeah. So I was watching the um, Pestley's videos. They do like even though you've been to an area, if you leave it and come back, there is a chance that they spawn. I didn't know how that worked. I didn't know if they would spawn in like the middle of the raid, oh, okay. and they do. Did you All mark right. the tank? Yeah. All right, let's go, boys. This is gonna be the most dangerous part of this I run. Hate I think this little section. Yeah. Just don't go into the train. Just hug the wall to the right. And then we're gonna go up and over the tracks. Try and stay down where, like, you know, you're down in the lower part of the hill. That's behind us there. In the back area. All right, this is the dangerous part because we kind of have to run at the new area. And if the scab boss is in there, he'd be shooting at us right now. I can't run. I'm out of stamina. Come on, what's up? It, it seemed like it was pretty safe, Ryan, so we'll hold up here for- okay, cool. Alright, so we're gonna run into this hole here. This is the new, old construction area. Ryan, you'll be- you'll recognize this next part. I have to go hit that gas tanker. This didn't used to be here, Ryan. This used to be where you had- had to go through the choke point to go to new gas station. Alright, so there may be scavs up here in these shipping crates and by the gas tanks. Wait, should I go loot this area or no? Um, let's clear it for, or uh, there's nothing to loot. Okay. This isn't like the other building. And about now we're out of range of the grenade launcher, so we're okay there. Yeah, this is the gas tanker I gotta hit, but I'm looking around for scavs first. Yeah, it's kind of weird how they spawn in here. It's terrifying. Yeah, I'm gonna stay behind this blue hunt crate. Okay, I'm at the truck. I'm planting. Uh, I'm gonna plant. I'm planting. Oh, wait, you're at this truck. Man, this truck yeah. gets all the attention, don't it? I got 25 seconds, I gotta watch this stupid device. Oh shit! Is that you? Anybody? I don't know. 
That There's a death loud. cam over here. It, it sounded like it was behind me. That's what I thought. They, All right, push toward been, me, guys. Push toward me. They could have been shooting at my head because I'm I stepped up over that ledge on those rocks. I got four seconds, and then we're gonna book it to the alley. All right, let's go. Let's go. The, will one of us die? <laughs> Who's gonna get sniped? That was freaky. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I the did. One... I stepped on those rocks, so if somebody's on the other side of that blue fence, they could have shot at me. It wasn't the sniper scab up there, so there's several sniper scabs now. All right. Um. So this is RFE roadblock. We're gonna go through here. Up this dead body in the road here. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna loot it. You guys can, but it's risky. Heck no. That's way too far out there. <laughs> I thought you meant it was like right next to you. Oh, we got shots to the left. Where'd you guys go? To the right? Yeah, yeah, through the hole in the fence. Okay, I'm with you. We're at RFU roadblock now. Yeah, they are definitely shooting. They're fighting up like crazy back behind us. They're probably working our same route, so they could catch us. On the body. Don't extract here. Run through it. He don't look like he has much. No. Alright, I'm going across the river, guys. Holy cow. Okay. I was considering extracting just because my girlfriend called for me, but you I can, don't want to bail on you guys. No, no, go totally. I forgot. Plus, it's safe. You can get out. You can keep your loot. Blake and I are just going to try and go get this quest, and then we're just going to extract. Yeah, That's but what we're gonna do. I, I don't want you guys to die. So, like, what else? Really? I don't care. <laughs> He's like, shh, I want to play. <laughs> He's like, secretly, I want to play. But I would feel bad if it would just chill here for a ride. I'd feel bad if he died, though, and he could have extracted right there. Yeah. Alright, I'm good. We can go. Okay. Right, hold up, hold up. I need to gain energy. I'm we'll dying. Just, we'll just walk, like, we'll stand up and walk. So that way we're at least moving. This is kind of a rough spot to be sitting in. Gotcha. Do you know crouch walking makes you use energy? Or no, you don't gain energy? Oh. It makes sense, because you're like Yeah, because you're actually squatting. I kind of blew my mind. I was like, wow, they actually took the time to think of that. I don't see anything in the road. Man, I wouldn't feel so on edge if it wasn't for everybody always shooting since we freaking spawned. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going in this blue building, but I'm gonna check it because some like a lot of players will go in here, so I want to make sure we don't get. I can't tell you it's open, it's looted. I can't tell you how many times I walked past that blue building just going to Big Red and got sprayed from inside of it. Really? Yeah. That's unfortunate. Do we want There's good stuff in there, so. Oh, really? Okay, don't run if there's people in there. Gonna get us. My guess is it's people that spawned over here. They looted that early and then pushed up. That's probably why we saw the bodies. And now they're fighting up by the broken area that we ran through. But the door is already open upstairs, so everybody be careful. How did you see that? Oh, I'm it's right here. The, I'm at the front of Big Red. All right, I'll push in first. Oh, Everybody I can go in first. Keep, it's my keep mission. eyes on the front door. Keep okay. eyes on the front door while I go in. Okay, I got. So I'm into the offices. You mean front door to the office? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Oops. I'm I'm up here. It's good. Too late down. Rip my bad. I don't see anybody in there. I'm gonna go ahead and push in. I just meant like while I was running up the um, stairs, if you mm -hmm. guys keep eyes on the door, then I don't get sprayed going up the stairs, you know? First office clear, second office clear. Okay. They hit the safe already, but Blake, your item is in here still. I not say, where's my item? It's over here. Go to the desk, crouch down, and it's in the corner above the drawer. Oh my goodness. You to, like, yeah, it's pretty hidden. Too bad I don't have this place. Bastard. They've already <laughs> looted everything up here. Computers, the jackets, everything's open. Okay. Now, right. do we want to just go back so to look, the river? So here's the tactical way of doing this. Ready? Line up behind me in the hallway here. Let's show you guys a little trick. Even Pestley doesn't do this one. All right, so here's how you do it. I'm looking out at the big open doors right now. When it's my turn to run down the stairs, the next person behind me steps forward and watches out that door while I run down the stairs. When uh, I get to the bottom of the stairs, I start watching the stairs for the last guy. It's like a train. Ready? Yeah. All right, so next guy, watch the door. Watching the door. <laughs> a 
Okay, I'm in position. Next one, come down. Now I'm watching the front door. So I the watch next the guy back that comes door. down, you'll watch the back door. The so the number two goes to the back You're door. Good. Now third, come down. Yep. Look at and us I hold go. position. Oh, now once you two get to the back door. <laughs> Tell me when you two both reach the back door. Wait, which one's the back door? Oh, this door. The one we didn't come in. All right, back door. Okay, now I leave my position and we go out the back. Which way? <laughs> we need our leader. Hole in the wall, hole in the wall to the left. Okay. Da, na, 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 Joe, na, na. point here is going to be on the right. The player is extracting where we're extracting. Actually, we could run the safer route through the... We'll go through storage. It'll be safer. Yikes, I don't like this place. Put more cans of scabs. Yeah, it'll be just scabs, less players. That's Do we all have crossroads? Oh, decent body armor. Oh, there's a dead guy here. Yeah. Do we all have crossroads? We should. Yeah, yeah. we do. Since we're... Man, that's a tar... No, that's a G6, whatever. I'll watch this. I'll watch this way if you guys want to loot that real quick. It's up to you guys. I'm good. I have literally good. no space. Okay, let's bounce. Everybody hit the ground. Oh, my knocked Trevor onto his knees. I'm not in it. Oh, wait, me neither. What the heck? You gotta be back by the truck. Like the back corner of the truck. Whoever's laying down, you gotta <laughs> scrape that booty back. back. <laughs> Don't work it on it. Holy right. smokes! I gotta get dressed. Alright, see you, man. Good luck. Right, thanks, Ryan. Yeah, if you guys just don't want to come back, I'll play, but for some reason, um, you, I'm going to be eating. I'll do that work. Shoot me a text, Ryan, because I'm going to take a break here in a minute, but I'll uh, get back on when you get on. Alright, cool. Yep. See ya. Rock on, street lootations. Yeah, those are some pretty solid raids. What was I looking for, even? Wait, did I get what I needed? Oh, yeah, the docs case. <laughs> We're getting better. Slowly but surely. What's that? 2,000 experience. That's like one Dang. quest. Wait, you might get it. You might get it when you when you do this quest. Oh, wait, no, you have to oh, run to factory, I Blake. I run it back, yeah. You have to go to factory. Oh. I didn't get any food either, which is another one. Oh, where are the taws, bro? I'm going to go to factory and get my freaking taws. Gosh, that's what I need is that taws. Do you have time to run one? Yeah. I mean, do we just get up in the factory, try and get your quest done, and then... Oh my gosh, Blake. What? My scab has a Taz. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think I can drop... Oh, well, it works with the croutons. I don't think so, because for some reason my brother did that, but it wasn't on, as a scav. Okay. Yeah, if it's player, you can't drop it, because the player takes it in, so it wasn't found in raid. But the scav, right. technically, you spawn in as, raid. As you know the saying? raid, yeah. Right. But to complete your quest, we still have to do um, PMC on factory. Yeah, I we say have we to... do PMC. The worst part is, is if you die in this part, you have to restart over. Mm. You have to go get the tox. Yeah, it's. Dude. I had to do it. Well, I had to do this crap. one three times. I'm glad this game is finding room for all this because I don't know where it just took it. I have such a full inventory, it's not even funny. Actually, to be honest, I mean, it's been honestly a good day. Oh yeah, I'm up, I'm up two mil. Dang. I got all the way down to the 10 mil range and I'm almost at uh, 12 mil right now. Overall, like not what I have, you know, to use, but. I was at 80,000, I'm at 50,000 now. I'm a broke some buck. <laughs> So where's this docks? I need to find the docks. Can I put it in my alpha container? What docks? Oh, it's not an actual item that I have. Uh, oh no, the one for the raid or for the yeah. mission? No. Yeah. If you go to your tasks, you have a tasks inventory, it'll be in there. Gotcha. All right. That's why you can't just like throw it in your pouch and then get out no matter what. Mm -hmm. like, they do that for that that reason. So, um, do you remember where? Have you ever done this one where it is or seen us do it? it well, he, uh, Luke said it was the little empty square aluminum thingy, which is kind of around office area, right? Is it that? Is Correct. It that? Okay. Correct. Yeah. 
I think it's actually off the bathroom level, though. I think it's only two tiers up, not three. Okay. Um, and there's the extraction right there next to it, actually. So we technically could just run in there, drop it, and then get out. Or we could run in there, drop it, and then look for your scav with the taws. Um, ah! How greedy can we should we be is the real question. I'm okay with dying because I've ran this. <laughs> You're like, I'm like good. Three games in a row. Um, maybe I should not. Well, maybe I should just extract it one at a time. Be patient. Okay. <laughs> um. So the thing with this one is, is keep in mind, just like Presley says, like it's very close spawning. So as soon as we mm-hmm. hit the ground, we want to start moving. Um. Because like, good players will literally just throw a grenade in the room. Like as soon as we spawn, they don't oh. even know if we're in there or not. They'll just chuck a grenade in there just to see if we spawn in there. Mm-hmm. And because it really matters if you die or not. I don't like my G button, bro. How you gotta like press G and move your mouse at the same like my brain just doesn't function that way. It makes me want to press oh, G. Oh, to look around? Yeah. Well, like no, to throw it. It like it insta throws it. Like, oh. oh gosh, you gotcha. I'd rather hold it. So nades are always an issue for me because I wanna like sit around a corner, press G, peek, then throw. Yeah, I understand. Alright, let's go. Fifteen. Alright, fifteen twenty eight. Ah! I'm gonna try and body block. I'm going to try and body block. Uh, so basically what you have to do is you have to run into that room. You'll see a little indicator on the screen at the bottom, kind of like you were going to pick something up. You have to hit F and you have to hold it and you have to hold it for 10 seconds. There will be a countdown timer that comes up. Um, that's the key too. the first time I went in there, I was just tapping it. And then mm-hmm. I realized you have to hold it because you're, I guess in theory, you're technically taking the documents and actually like physically hiding them. So that's why like, you are actively hitting F because you're actively doing something. Yeah. So, I mean, it makes sense, but. Okie dokie, Smokies. Let's do it. I hate this one, dude. This is one of the worst ones I've done so far. These maps are rough. Your PP19 is looking pretty cool, though. I feel, like you, I feel like it's a little bit different every time. Yeah, I got a 20 round mag for it this time because nice. that 10 just didn't cut it. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame you. I got a 30 round mag from proper because I can't stand the... Oh. And I changed my bullets out because I got better... Rock on. Those other ones, I just pumped him into that scab and he just laughed. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, yo, feed me more. He's like, I deflect your thumbtacks. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta give my dog a bath. I gotta get a full auto version of my gun. Which is PP. I think I've only, oh, knock on wood here, but I think I've only died in one raid today. Oh no. Oh no, he said it. He said it. It's okay. I'm going into this one as a body shield. I've died a lot in a lot of raids. Today is protect. The president, which is El Bleco. Oh, no, one hour. <sighs> My mission on this map is to get you to this crate and to let you do what you have to do. Shouldn't be too hard if I remember, because it's kind of like to the side. Yeah. The, the thing that the first time I did it, Unfortunately, there was a player that literally just camped it and waited for someone to go in there because oh, really? they knew they were going to hit F and they knew that they would be doing the thing. So, it took so like, yeah, we ran through the bathrooms. We ran into there. And as soon as we turned the corner, there was a guy down below that just sprayed through the shack. He just, he just heard and DJ and I both got popped. Oh, really? It's like, come on. DJ lived long enough he was able to get it, but I didn't because I was the one that started. Oh, rip. Like he he ran in first, the guy started spraying at DJ, and then I ran in, so I took some of like the oh, back wait. bullets basically. You can die though, right? And still it'd be Yeah, as long as you get it planted, you can die afterwards. Oh. And yeah. I almost guarantee you you'll get enough experience with this one plus the raid that you're gonna hit level ten. That's if I extract. Oh. Let's go. Oh, no, because I think even even the Quest is more than 2,000 experience, I think. Most of them are like 2, 5, or 3, or even 4. Actually, I know this is a 4, because it's a two-part quest. It's a 4,000. So yeah, if, if you can plant this, you got level 10. Damn. It comes down to this, Blake. Moment of truth. Ah, get ready, get ready, truth. get ready. If we get the good spawn, we uh, run straight down the hallway, and we're there. But that's also say. the spawn where the players spawn together. Ew. Okay. 
If not, we'll run as fast as we can through bathrooms and then over to it. Oh, I'm pumped. Oh boy. Let's go. Where are we? Okay. This is the bad one. Run, 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 run. I hate this. I feel like I always spawn here. Pause here to get your stamina. Tell me when you're ready. Okay, I'm good. Okay, the stairs are basically straight to the right. There's a green light on them. Ready? Go. Oh, okay. I'm gonna stay down here. Yep, up those stairs. Oh, this one? This is not the yep. one I thought it was. It's 10 whole seconds. God. I closed the door. Beautiful. Oh, that's what I should have done. Not that door. I closed the door next to you. Well, no, that's what I'm saying, yeah, because I was looking at that, I was like, oh, please don't peek, please don't peek. Okay. Get it, get it. Okay, yeah. back down the stairs. Should we look? In the hard left, we're at extraction right here. All right. Oh, somebody's behind me. Keep going. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> let's leave, let's leave. Oh, that was light <laughs> way, bro. I was like, should we stay? And then all of a sudden I heard that. And I was like, no, let's just leave. I was like, I heard somebody marching behind me. I was like, uh oh, uh oh. It'll be an early extract, but you'll still get the achievement, I think. Oh, dear heavens, I hope. I would cry. Because I think you get it as soon as you uh, do it. Attention, you have completed this raid too. It used to be 30 seconds to plant it. Lamau, 30. You yeah, have failed to gain enough longer. experience, therefore you have received the ran through X. Oh, it's experience based? Uh, it's, well, so yeah, it's experience or time. Okay. I think it's 600 XP or 900 XP or 10 minutes. <gasps> oh no, I have to, that's right, I have to go back into my task. I thought I didn't get it. <laughs> I, I'm 90% sure you'll get it. Okay. Oh, I completed one earlier. Oh. Level 10, about dang time. So the only gas pump still that I need is the one that's at actual gas station. I got three out of the four done, so that's oh. cool. Maybe I can do that one later for Ryan. <sighs> Proper. I have it. I have something for you. What success again? A bit of a warrior, eh? The, <laughs> the tear of Tarkov, my arsel. My arse. Don't be offended now. Everything's done right. I owe you one. Important business is taken care of. I feel good. And when I feel good, proper people around me start feeling good as well. Got it? <coughs> oh, I didn't hit level 10. How did you uh, just go out? You might have actually hit level 10. Oh, it's 2000. Yeah, there's 2500 experience. There's no way you didn't. Oh, click your depot one, by the way. You have new tasks with them now. Oh, okay. Ah! Maybe, yeah, maybe you have to get the rewards first. Maybe that's when it gives you the experience. What if you don't have room for the rewards? Uh, just take the money. I don't need that hit gun. Accept. You could leave the gun. You could hit accept. It'll come up and tell you that you're missing stuff, and you just say okay. It's open. Click flea market at the top oh. now. Ah, ah, ah. You're ten. You're level ten. I'm level, level ten. ten. Time to start selling. I think it actually oh gives you goodness. level 10, but I think it just doesn't, um, like it doesn't update on that screen. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think you were level 10. It just wasn't showing it yet. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. These things are going up in price by the minute. Oh, I got operation Aquarius part two done. Oh, what? It was kill 15 scavs on customs. Oh. That guy that was crouched down in the warehouse that I shot, that was that was the last one. 
Just die with the markers, bro. How is your EI inventory full? Haha, <laughs> oh, nice, Lamal. That's a lot of stuff for sure. Oh yeah, if you die with the markers, you gotta buy new ones. Yikes. That's why I put them in my gamma. The nice thing is you can use them right from your gamma. You don't have to like switch them back to your backpack. So how do I know what I all need? I need four hoses. That's it. So I have four more I can sell. If I was you, I would get a scav box first. Cause like everything that's on your screen right now can go in the scav box. Like the hoses, the bolts, the water, like all that can go to, but it's expensive. Yeah, like it's don't... like two mil expensive. Once I hit level 15, my prepper will go up to level two. Um, how do I select more than one? Oh. Uh, just click them again. See how it says like times one under the picture? Just click more of them and it'll, there it goes. So now you got four. DJ spammy no on the hoses. I only need four of them. I have eight hoses. What do you mean no? Actually sell like three? I need four. <laughs> exactly. I have so so that's, hoses. that is one thing. The fee you have to pay up front. So like you have to pay, have enough money to be able to afford. So like it's literally going to ba almost bankrupt you yes. to sell those, but then you'll get more money back. You see what I'm saying? Fine, I'll keep five just for you. Oh gosh, I gotta sell something. What do I sell? The minus twelve thousand rubles. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get rid. They're, he can hardly buy the worst gun in the game right now. <laughs> okay, I can sell diaries. He says diaries. How much are they? I don't know how much they are. Dad, you can only sell like half those guns. There's the other half weren't found in raid. For 25 and for 30. Oh, let me show you a trick, Blake. Click, go to add offer. Add offer. Up at the top. I did. You're going to sell something. Oh, and it tells you the average. Hang on. Well, add, hey, add offer. And then right click on them. Whatever you want to sell. Mm -hmm. And then left click on it now. And then go to filter by item. Third one. Third one on that list. There you go. Now move your move that box over and that you don't have to search them up yourself. You yeah, can just yeah. like the PSU, you can right click it, do filter by item, and it'll give you the prices for the PSU. So it's a lot faster doing it that way than to like back out. Um just keep in mind when you're selling stuff, like if you noticed when you first opened that window, it was actually on a shotgun uh shell. So if you look at the diary prices and you put that shotgun shell on there for say 14,000, you're not going to sell that shotgun shell. So that's why I said, make sure you left click and right click on the object that you actually want to sell. Like right now you're still technically on the diary. So say you look up the prices for those nails and you want to sell the nails instead, make sure you click on the nail before you actually click sell. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Bro, I can't even afford to sell all these, can I? How much money do I have? Twelve thousand exactly. Oh wait. Some of your because... other stuff already sold. You could go collect that and then start. Wait, what? So when your other stuff, when your stuff sells, go down to your messages. It'll be a skier message. Uh, uh just hit receive all on that. Oh, it's because you sold the gun out there. I guess some of your stuff didn't sell yet. Oh, and then those guys. Um, go back to, you can do the flea market, by the way, in the bottom, like along the tab. Oh, you have the markers. That's for your next quest. That's what you haven't picked up yet. You can put them in that hole down the bottom, right? There you go. So up in the upper left, you have browse, W is your wish list, and then my offers. Um, oh, you never, that's right. You never posted any of the diary stuff yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, the diaries are more expensive now. Yeah, I just wait a second and everything goes up. I would put them at 20,000. That's what I was going to do, but I need to get... 21,000. I need to put my money over. There we go. Why do people want diaries? 
it's probably like a quest item or something. You probably need it later for your... So, I mean, theoretically, almost everything that you have in your inventory, at some point, you're going to need one of... Like, it's not in the game for no, no reason. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? So, somewhere along the way, you're going to need everything in there for your hideout or for a quest or something. But you have to kind of balance what you're going to hang on to, what you need now, and, and to make enough money to keep playing. You know what I'm saying? Wait, this is amazing. I just made... You can just hit receive all yeah. instead of doing them individually, by the way. Oh my goodness, I just made 40,000. Wait, that doesn't make sense. I should have made 60. Oh, I had to pay 11. This is amazing. Yeah, see, so that's the power of the market. Peacekeeper level 3 has a good at barter for them. Oh. Sell one PSU. Your slims are probably worth a lot. Yeah, that's what they, I saw. I only have one slim, though. I do believe. Where'd they go? Yeah, I only have. Oh no, yeah, one slim diary. No, the stims. Oh, the stimulants. Stim? Oh. Yeah, like the mules and the morphines and stuff. Oh well, I guess I'll this guy too. Make sure you right click on it and then you can search because right now you're not looking up that diary. You're looking oh, up the price. Oh, you're right. I about just sold it for the wrong price. Ah. You you will do that. Like that's just one thing that you're gonna learn. Thirty. Yep, so you would have lost 10 grand on that one. Someone would have bought that in a heartbeat, yeah, too. Like, there would have been that guy yeah. like, yes! <laughs> He's like, steal! <laughs> Bro, this is like drugs. This is a dick. You want to hear something crazy? <laughs> this is a true story, okay? What's that? I saw this online. There was these guys talking. One of the guys was like a pro streamer, which is why there's video content of this. Mm. He had a friend that's just started playing. And he's like, he comes on, he's like, hey, man, I had a really good day yesterday. And he's like, oh, good to hear. Good to hear. You know, he's like, yeah, I got this really good braid. I got out and I sold the stuff. I had like a million dollars worth of different keys or rubles. You know, the guy's like, oh, nice, nice. Like what, you know, what keys were they? Do you remember? And he's like, I don't know. He's like, he's like, well, none of them were like cards, right? They were like keys. And he's like, well, one was a card. And he's like, wait, wait, stop. You got to Okay. You got to explain this in detail to me right now. And he's like, you had a million dollars worth of cards and he goes yeah yeah and he goes i sold one to like the vendor or whatever and it was worth a lot of money and i got like almost a million out of it and then the other keys it was all a million together and he's like explain to me this card it was a labs red key card <laughs> which is worth like two mil and he's he got he only got or it's, i think it's more than that actually i think that's the let's see red Red Rebel, Red Lab key card. Yeah, uh, 49 mil right now. And he got a million out of it and two other things he sold. <laughs> DJ's freaking and this guy, out. This guy had no idea. Like, I mean, I this it, it wasn't made up. You could tell. Like, this was not made up. This was like a genuine conversation. It was the streamer that just like was talking to one of his friends on Discord. And yeah, he told his friend and he's like, what? Like, literally, the guy just goes, huh? Like, that, that, that was his only response. And then it was just quiet for so long. And then his friend's like, no, no. Like, no way. Like, no, this isn't real. Like, and then his other friend, he's like, no, this this is real. Like, there's no way this guy would joke about this. Like, I, I think this actually happened. <laughs> like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at him right now on the market. 49 to 50 mil for mm -hmm. a red key card. And this guy sold it. That's so unfortunate. Guns actually sell for a pretty good amount too. Like most of those guns in there are probably thirty to fifty thousand Rupal guns. Uh, remember to wait, unload them first because bullets sell for even better. Oh, uh, so cool. don't, and you don't want to sell it with a forward grip on it because that's more money mm -hmm. that you're losing. So you want to break you you need to have it be a full gun still, but you want to take all the little attachments off. Bro, I need room. Um, <laughs> I just don't have room to try the and forward the forward grip is a one one. You could pull that off and sell it. See now I think I can put the forward grip on my AK seventy four. I think. Yeah. True. I just need to get because this is the gun I'm gonna use. Everything else I'm okay with selling. So I guess I should just start selling the guns probably. Actually the AK seventy four M is the one that I built. Um, that's the, that's my mid range yeah. AK I use. And say, so I believe that, isn't that like one of the guns that you like deck out usually if you're like yeah. really good at the game? 
DJ is right. The SDVS, that one that you got off me in the scav raid, that's worth a lot. You could just sell that straight up as it bye is. Bye bye. Well, it's got a mag in it, but it's zero. Is that okay? Should I get it separate the yeah, mag? Yeah, you want yeah. Well, you can always check it. You can always separate the mag and see what you get for it. Like the mag. Sometimes the mag's only worth like nine hundred, and then you might as well just sell it with the gun. Just oh, to, like, what about three thousand. No. Huh? What about three thousand? Uh eh, that's still I mean for a mag that's still a low mag. Oh, okay. Honest. Mags are expensive. Go look up like those forty Ooh, round. This is a hundred thousand gun. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll sell this for. I would just do ninety. Just to, if it, remember, if you want to do quick flips, you just want to do a couple thousand under what the best one is. We're gonna so do ninety one. Oh, one too many nines. Okay. Yeah, you have to be careful of that too, because remember, if you put too many zeros or anything like that. <laughs> Um, number. it won't sell, and you've added a whole nother digit. You you gotta click the gun again. See how it says NA? It doesn't give you a price yet. It's because you unclicked it. Oh. Just in from your inventory, just click on it one more time. Okay. There you go. So keep in mind, like, see, that's eight thousand. That's eight thousand to post it. If you had added an extra zero on accident, that could oh. be like eighty thousand to post oh, it. Oh gosh. And it won't it sell. So you're gonna worried. have to cancel it. Yeah, yeah so you worried. would literally lose 80,000. Yeah, so you have to be really careful. I'd get a med case or a mag box to start off, so then you have room for more gear. You know what the best part about uh, like non-hardcore gamers finding a red key card on their own? Huh. Most of the time, at 45 million, they don't have enough to post it. Uh, oh. <laughs> So like you That's literally so could, unfortunate. Yeah, you could literally have a fifty million dollar item, but and not you don't to... have enough to post it. Yeah. Red. Okay, so what's the thing called? The these boxes. Oh. Uh, the scav box. It's a lucky scav box. Um. So right now you're still filtering for the SVD, so you're not gonna find it. Next year offers. See where it says filter item by SVD. Click the X, and that will get rid of that filter. Lucky scav junk box. There you Dang, go. Dang, expensive. Window has enough. What are they at right now? Oh, they're down a little bit. When I bought mine, it was one point nine mil or one point eight. Uh huh. And the the further into the wipe you get, the more and more like they become, and the like the prices do go down a little. Those stay high though. I think those stay about one point three, one point four. To the gear section, he says. Oh. Just take the filter off. Oh. Uh, is that what he's saying? No. Okay. So click the close out of that. Delete the lucky out of your browse. Mm -hmm. And then, um, do you have like just the big list of it? There you go. Uh, go to gear. Oh. Yeah. yeah there. And then, so that's all the different container cases. And gear component. Wait. Containers and cases. Oh, there it is. Sorry, the stream's a little behind. Ammo, which I already have. Document, no, which I that. don't need, right? Uh, yeah, I there you have. Go. Dog yeah, tax sorry, case. Oh, my earbuds are about ready to die. Empty Hold wallet. On. What's this grenade? I don't have very many of them. Oh. What's an items case? And why is nobody selling it? All this free XP. Excuse me. Stores armor in, no but it can only be held by people. Only barter for therapists. The thick okay, items. Okay, have your stream audio. Have. Must be Discord. Oh, damn. Discord? Here. Why would you do this to me? Bunny case. Uh, Pistol output, case. Speakers, headphones. How come I've seen that before? All right, say something. Yellow. Hello. Hello, that's four mil. <sighs> I 
actually have money now. Discord I'm does happy not like already. me switching over my Bluetooth devices. <laughs> So it's completely up to you. The way I personally did it was because I like having money and I like to build guns and I like having ruples. I literally just went through and sold like all the stuff I have that yeah. I could on the market to get as much money as possible. And then, but now, like when I need something for my hideout or something, I have to go find it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, it's completely up to you. But that's the difference. Like I have a, a million. 440 ruples right now, but I don't have any of the crafting stuff that you have. Uh, I want this so it's kind of a trade off. Hey, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I was listening. Oh, can you not okay, hear me? Cool. Thank I was you. just making sure that my speakers are still working right. Wait, why can't I attach this? That black icky doesn't accept the same ammo. Can't put that mag on it. Darn it. Oh, it's got a grip on it at least. Can I use any of this for the black AK? Oh, I think that drum is for the 762 AK, not the 545. Hmm, what else can I maybe put on here? You're gonna have to get a buffer tube before you can put that stock on there. What's a buffer tube? Yeah, okay, so here's another trick. Um, from your inventory there, right click on your AK. Right click. And then instead of going to filtered search, do linked, uh, linked search. It's under filter by item down toward the bottom. Uh, what is all this? Oh, so lot. that is everything on the market that would fit your gun. And then you can go over on the left side there and like, say you're looking for a stock where it says weapons and parts. Oh. You can click on that. Um, cause that one right now it's just showing you everything. So there's like the different ammo, there's all the different, and then you can click the drop down menu there. There you go. So there's like everything that would go on that gun. Now there are a few exceptions, like the mounts there. If you click into that, it'll show you like the mounts you can put on it. It's not going to show you like different sites that you can put on those mounts because it's only showing you like the mount that would go on the gun right now. Okay. Then you'd have to do another link search for that particular mount to see what kind of sites you can then put on the mount. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's real. It's a really nice feature because if you don't know like what attachments go on what gun, you can just do okay. What is the linked things for this gun, what and then I it'll have? pull up like that. Um, so for if you want to put that stock on that gun, you would have to go back in there, and there should be one called a. Um, um, it's a tube. I can't remember what the first word is, but I said it earlier, but now I can't think of it. So wait, it doesn't go on the rail. What? My scope doesn't go on a rail. Uh, yes, it does. For that gun, though, you have a couple different options. You can take off your rear sight, and there's an adapter that you can put a scope where your rear sight is, or you can take off the uh, dust cover, and you can purchase a dust cover that already has a rail on the top of the dust cover. So you kind of have two different options. And again, that will rear? be in the linked search. Oh, so I mean, I I feel like a boy the, and like the figuring out of the gun parts a little confusing but the nice thing is is once you find one that you like you can save it mm -hmm. and then you can rebuild it over and over again so i have a go to mounts mounts is i believe where you find the expensive I think it's the can I get something that goes on my rail already I mean on my a buffer tube lets you put on non OEM default stock buffer tube that's what it was oh. yeah no that's cheap trust me <laughs> yeah that is cheap uh, that'll, the buffer tube will be under your, um, stocks, maybe stocks and chassis. A buffer tube. Here's another way to kind of do it. Oh wait, that was on a oh, different yeah, AK that th I had. Third one down. I died RPK 16 buffer tube. I well, died. that one too. 
So if you get that, then you take your old stock off, you put the buffer tube on, and then you put the other stock on it. Should be a one by two. Hmm. I thought I saw a buffer tube. I thought I had one. Well, there's different there's different buffer tubes too. So even if you had one, there's a chance that it wouldn't go on your AK. Okay. Huh. This is all crazy, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like it's super realistic. I need to start selling crap. I need to get my inventories empty. Like, look at all these meds. I don't need all these, do I? Probably not. Should I buy meds? You can actually go in your hideout and start making on those all into Saluas because the Saluas are more useful True. than like the individual components, you know? Yeah. So I would just get a bunch of uh Saluas. Stims, please, bro. Okay, I need to sell stims. He, he says. still wants you to sell those. It could be worth Oh, a my lot. lunchbox should be done. I was crafting a lunchbox in the hideout. So here's the thing, Blake. So basically, until you level up your um, traders, the traders are actually a lot cheaper you'll find in buying gun parts. So like, you can find all those different mounts on the market for say 30,000. A trader might sell it for 4,000. Uh, but until you unlock that item for the trader, the only way for you to get it is the market, which is why the market prices stay high because people know you can't get it unless you buy it from the market. You see what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. So that's why you still want to keep leveling your traders, even though you've got the market now, because eventually, like once you get all the traders to level three, a lot of components and stuff, you'll be able to get a lot cheaper from them than you will the market. The market is more like for people like us that now have access to every item in the game, but now you're going to pay for it because it's at a mm -hmm. cost to have that access. And there's still some stuff later that like not everything a vendor will have, but, mm -hmm. but that's kind of like, that's how the, the economy of the game works for oh, people 400. like us. You can buy anything you want now, but you're going to pay for it. Eventually, the higher you get, the cheaper that they're going to get. Yeah, but if I do that, DJ, it takes a whole lot longer. I'll still be on in a half hour with my Salua. If I take it out, if I take the fuel out, I'll run out of... It'll take like four hours. That is a nice feature, that how they do that, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I was getting off, it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it's like overnight, you want to get like some Salua's crafting and then just turn your energy off and then... Yay! I just got a Jaeger quest done. Yeah, fuel is a lot though. 150 for one can. Kill five scavs on woods when you're not wearing body armor. Easy, I don't wear body armor on woods. <laughs> True. Keeps going on. Damn, is it really that expensive? hours for one Salua, bro. Well, they didn't say it was going to be easy. <laughs> no they just kidding. said it's possible. <laughs> oh, you know, wait till you get into some of the other stuff. You wait like 46 hours, 41 hours, like Darn. days for some of the big stuff. Where's my ammo box? Uh, am I on drugs? So the, the way I've been kind of doing it so far, and again, you can do it however you want, but um, I've been doing where if I get an item, but it was found in raid and I can sell it on the market, I sell it. If I can't sell it because it wasn't found in raid and it's a component I might use earlier, later, like screws mm -hmm. and things like that, then I put those in my scav box and I save those for my hideout. And that's how I kind of decide which, because if I'm going to sell it to the vendor, it's more worth it for me to keep it and use it in the hideout. But if I can sell it on the market and make more money on it right now, then to me, it's more worth selling it on the market and making the money for now. Gotcha. That's how I personally do it. But What is he? Auto sort. Is there an auto sort button for? Oh my goodness. Thank you, DJ. I'm sitting there dragging them all over. <laughs> For these, bro, my OCD. <laughs> you didn't like watch me try to organize it. 
Oh, wait, PS can go in there. <gasps> Blake. What? What? This is one reason why you very quickly figure out in raids to start picking up ammo. Oh. I picked up these shotgun shells. They're yeah. just called Star. There's only two of them. Okay. Would you have any reason to keep those in your inventory on a normal no. raid? No. They're 20,000 Rupal shotgun shells each. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ammo actually is surprisingly expensive in this game. Now you got me curious. Can I open up my thingy from in here? Your box? Yeah, darn it. Uh, what are, what's all that stacked ammo you got up top? Oh. I have no idea. I think, can you right click it and say open box? Um. Yeah, that's all stacked ammo at top. You can open those. You can just, okay, no cool. one no one sells those by the box. Yeah, you there you go. A thousand a piece, that's not terrible, I guess. That's expensive ammo. What is? And you've got 22 of them. So you got to remember it's yeah. 900 for one bullet. That's shit ammo. Womp womp. Uh, not terrible. Anything right. over like two to three hundred ruples is going to be good ammo. There you go. Twenty. You're sitting on yes, probably sir. half a million in just ammo. Uh, hundred. They like two hundred. Forty, fifty. Flashbang shells. All good there, flashing shells. Any B ammo or 7 9 ammo is always good. What about you, uh, FM? Nope. Check your slugs down there in the bottom row in the middle, the kind of tan ones. Those kind of look like the ones that I'm selling right now. 200 for that one. This one is only 100. The next, the, the next one there. Yeah, only 100. Oh, uh, it's only 100. What are okay. these things? Oh, we sell for like 3,000 pieces. I got 38 of them. Uh, they're more like 2000 oh, There you go. That's a weird skewed price. That's going to be a high one, probably. That's another 1500 ammo. It's about 700 Not bad. Another 1000 like you got 30 of them, so... About another you got over 30000 right there in that one pack. What are these? I got to go let my dogs in. I'll be right back. Man, I got all sorts of ammo. Hey, Blake, welcome to the market. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 380k for that ammo. 366 AP is always good. <sighs> uh, filter by type. How do I sell this stuff, bro? Okay, first let me sell this. Will anyone want to buy this though? As it being a solo? It's one piece. I can sell it for 15,000 easy. I'll do 14, 999. Think, right? That's not a bad price. Oh, yep. Someone already bought it. This is what? This is like 200 a piece. What is this? What size is that even? I don't even know what that goes to. Stuff like ammo and hideout stuff never sell below the lowest price. Oh, people buy that stuff very quick. Oh, okay. Vote taken. So, so what you say? Sell these for what? Three oh nine nine. That's lower. The market used to be a lot of fun back when it didn't have to be sold in raid, because you could literally like watch for items to get low in price, buy them, resell them later. Like it was almost like a little stock market. Like it was so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Why 
Why is mine blue? That's cool. I think it's just because. Yeah, let's keep it. So, adding. because it does take some time to research and everything, generally what I do when we're in raids is I'll run through like three or four raids. I'll just unload everything. And then, like, if there's a raid where you die while you're waiting on people, then you can just go through and start cleaning out stuff that you're going to sell on the market. So, let's do. And then it kind of gives you something to do. Yeah. And I like to. Uh, wait till I get like you know say 20 30 messages down there at the bottom corner because that uh feeling of jumping from like you know <laughs> 500,000 to like a million and a half feels good what I don't know what you're making I don't care I had a piece of pizza for breakfast like an hour ago so uh Oh. Super I hungry. I'll need probably do some pizza rolls or something. I'll just try to do an easy lunch. Make yourself some soup. All right, I gotta hop off. I gotta not hop off, but I'm gonna switch over to league. I gotta get coaching. I forgot all about it. I'm four, six minutes late. Nope, you gotta wait till next time to sell the stims for a DJ. <laughs> Frick, oopsie. I did not see his message. Ah! Oh, messaged me like 20 minutes ago. Hey, I'm good to start early. And I accidentally got engulfed by Tarkov. My bad. I didn't know you were going to do that. I would have tried to remind you. Oh, no, you're good. It's not your fault. Why well, no? All right. Well, I'm going to hop out, man. Thanks All for right. the games or the raids. Are you going to keep streaming or are you getting all yeah. the way off? No, I'm streaming still because I got to record okay. all this. Cool. Yeah, burrs. We'll all right, we'll have a good one. I'll go take a break and just walk around the house watching the stream. Rock on. See ya. Later. Stop the recording. Start the recording. So that's a fresh recording. I just hope I have enough room that we don't run out of space in the middle of the recording. Probably clear some extra storage for it. Um, all 2020, I can probably toss up. Oh, already tossed all 2020. We'll toss all of that as well. Rock on. Wait, what is this? That's gonna be opened up. I gotta watch that. Tarantino, inventor of the Moon Pod, the most comfortable pneumatic on the planet. The first pneumatic. It was just a clump of cheap foam stuffed inside of a shapeless cloth. So about 50 years later, I reinvented the beanbag. Moon Pod uses zero gravity custom boot technology that instantly adapts to your individual body shape with its three dynamic relaxation. <laughs> there once was a league that went to. Hold up, hold up, gotta turn that up. Game. There once was a league that went to stream whose producers learned of a TikTok meme. We told them they're three weeks too late, but the boomers won't let go. Soon may the LCS come to bring us lead big plays and fun. One day when the winning is done, we'll take our trophies home. While at home we pantsless cast in hopes our internet will last. Getting a first look at the teams while our pets just steal the show. Soon may the LCS come to bring us lead big plays and fun. Gave us a reason to tweet and rookie showed they can compete. The spring we want full rosters, please. We'll need those visas though. Soon may the LCS come to bring us memes that we put to from. One day when the group is done, we'll take our leave. Right, here we go. Mark said, I know it's crazy. Where was it at? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Hi, bro. 
Einstein ain't got nothing on that. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, that was interesting. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm forgetting something. What was that even about? Maybe they, they wanted to make a video. Like, why not? Too cringe to listen to? Nah! We'll play it on repeat, man. You know an interesting trick with this fortune? If you Q, if you auto Q W, it makes it so you auto right away. Or if you did uh, click, if you uh, move auto. My genius will be understood eventually. Hope I didn't miss too much. I haven't played in a bit. League at least. What's up? None much. How about you? Oh man, I just had a high quality day of solo queue, dude. Oh really? It was awful. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds more like it. <laughs> Good solo queue today. Oh, bro. Yeah, it happens. Maybe you'll like get that. to experience my wonderful. Like, I'll teach you for today. How about that? Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> this is going to be the best dang game you've seen all day. Oh, I, I, I'm <laughs> so excited, dude. About to get roasted. Better play some more. Yeah, no, I, I just... Some crazy... They just... Whew. One of those days for me where top lane doesn't feel like playing League of Legends, you know? I actually took a break because I had too many of those in a row. I didn't, and I've been playing Tarkov because I, I was just too tilted the past two or three days. And I played yeah. all weekend, then I played all day Monday, and I was like, nope, I'm done. Tuesday, Wednesday, I was like, yes, Tarkov. <laughs> Something else. I needed a timeout. I was tilting. I like MF, though. That definitely is nice. MF over Ash. Yeah, you can play MF? Yeah. Nice. Ash is horrid. Hear that. <laughs> <laughs> After playing this, I was like, wait, what was I doing with myself? <laughs> yeah, Ash is not in the uh, best spot, per se. I don't go without usually, though. I usually go Kraken. I prefer to go Kraken. Oh, yeah. I like press the attack. I feel oh, strong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I, I like that a lot more, too. Uh, I'm a big fan of the uh, Kraken Slayer uh -huh. build. I feel so bursty. Yeah, it feels real strong. Feels real good. Yeah, like right once you get Kraken Slayer, you just win every trade. You just auto Q auto and run away. <laughs> it's like, ee. Come back and do it in like 30 seconds again and again and again and again. It feels good. Yeah. Big fan. <sighs> what about uh, boots? <laughs> Magic footwear that I accidentally took again. Holy cow, that was the quickest. Uh, are you, I gotta, are you a game? Yeah. Oops, sorry. What's that? Oh yeah, you're on a roll, dude. We're flying. We are flying. cruising. Okay, hold up. I got these screens. Yes. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Holy bejesus. Okay. Welcome to Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> there we go. Sure, you can handle me, summoner. Minions 
Nami and Lucian versus MF and Seraphine. Wait, this is actually... They were talking about this in the LCS. But Seraphine and MF is busted. Seraphine and MF is a solid combo. But they would just harass you like no other until 6, and then if you get hit by any CC, you die. Yep, and your E yeah, allows Seraphine to land a mm -hmm. stun. Like, if she gets the double, single E is a root, and a double E is a stun. All right, who are we against? Lucian, Nami. Okay. Lucian so and Nami. They got a big kill potential. Yeah, aggro. Yeah. No, so just watch out for uh, Nami's poke. Or Lucian. Yeah, and Lucian through the win. <laughs> yeah, I was like, eat the Lucian. I'll hurry up, kill it. You won't. Thank you. Keep trying to auto minions. You keep your auto button. You want you don't want them to crash this if you can prevent it. If they do, it'll be like that, but you have to dash them. It's okay. Oh well. yikes. That's... Okay, we didn't have to pop the heal. Oh my goodness. He you're letting him get that position on yeah. you. Yeah, okay. Ooh. So you wanna take W second. Oh. Okay. The, the actually, you actually, usually you actually want to start with W. Oh, w really? Is very, very strong skill. Yes. W is very, very strong. Okay. You can use it. What you can use with W is you can use it to get priority on the first melees because you can oh, just get the attack dude up. Yeah. And it's a very low mana cost. And if you're just using it while well you're attacking different minions every time, you get you can the, use uh, it again. On that. Yeah. yeah. And it's a very low mana cost. Q can be okay um, when you're actually gonna be able to like use it, but like this game you had Q and you couldn't really even walk up, right? Yeah. Because so, okay. not because Nami's there. Try to. With the E, okay. It's okay. It wasn't sure because doesn't your E? Yeah, your E uses a butt ton of e, mana. E, yeah, but you're full mana, so it's okay. Okay. Well, I about walked into it. Hallelujah, he missed. Yeah, just be really aware of where pollution is and try to try to not be in like, like space on the same the size as him, right? Like not yes. diagonal. Yep, yep. But just have to be aware of Nami is the same size. Doesn't always have to be the same side as him, but just it is good if you're at the same side. Um, if you can, just, just try to be constantly bouncing around. Oh, good. Yeah. Eh, I'm not gonna get. Uh, I should have autoed this one. Frick. If you autoed, it, if you autoed the other one sooner, I think you had W going, so you maybe could use the attack speed buff with that to catch it. Um, you're actually in a pretty decent spot in terms of uh, how healthy Seraphine is mm -hmm. uh, relative to them. And should we I play more like, aggro you know, with it then? Um, I don't think we want to be too aggro yet because you're really low. Just let Seraphine do the poking and just try to position them. Where you know maybe we'll be able to. You know, if Lucian dashes onto Seraphine, you'll be in range. Yeah, okay, so just, oh. Yeah, uh, Echo's here, yeah, back up, back up. Oh, she's running it. No, 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 don't fight. Yeah, you should be pinging her out of here. Healer, healer, healer. Okay, 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 you're fine. You're fine, you're fine. She's flash. She's gonna flash, she just wanna get that kill. We can maybe use our E to catch some of these low-ass minions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And grab that cannon with an auto. Too. Oh, you're right. You did the auto. So here you could W to get that melee. So you don't be afraid of using W. It's really, it's okay. really cheap mana cost. And if you're gonna get minions for it, it's fine. Cause you're already in a bit of a defensive spot. Where we're trying to catch the CS. Yes. Oh, you can heal it. Oh, you oh. still got the heal. Heal, heal W. Yep, okay. get him. Go around for Nami. Yep, we can, we can look for Nami. She's got no mana. Okay, well she's. Oh, unless we eat that. W, W. Oh, yeah, it's a bug. <laughs> We'll take that, we'll take that. Holy that's fine. smokes, that was close. Okay, all right, we got a noon quiver here. Now we got a double, that's, that's good stuff. Oh, yeah, that's probably The wave, you might want to check that out. It's probably not great for us. It's looking like it's a slow pusher than yes. But we got a double kill, so we're not we're not bleeding too hard out of that. Ooh, Hachi. I'm assuming Lucian will probably have like double longsword boots or double longsword dagger. I'm a big fan on MF personally. I like to actually go. Um, Press the attack with sorcery second, just adaptive or nimbus cloak gathering. Okay. Just cloak. I like yeah, that move speed buff on her. She's an auto there. So so instead of using the Q, just turn the W on to get that attack speed buff. Uh, and just, it, it's using your W attack speed into an auto is faster cast on the Q. Yeah, 
Alright, we can just go for slow pushing here. Echo ganked this like a minute and a half ago, so he's probably in his top side and maybe recent spot. Yeah, really good short trade. Yeah, we can just back up. Keep the slow push, keep the yeah, slow push. Just to zone him off the wave, right? Yeah, that, that, was, that was really nice. Yeah, that was she really kinda nice. Ended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she kind of ended. Yeah, she like ran right, right at all. We're, <laughs> we're in a spot where we're punishing for that. So now Seraphine's got her E up, so if, wait for Seraphine to be in a spot where she can E the uh, Nami. Okay, well, I was going to say, wait for Seraphine to be where she can E Nami and then try to just aim her. Oh, oh and we're being ganked again. Okay. Um, no, I don't want to die with that wave there. Yikes. Oh. I guess I don't understand. I felt like we should have won that. We dodged Nami stuff, but. They just had a big wave. They had their ignite up. Um, gotcha. Oh, yeah, we can't buy boots because we got. Oh, god damn. It's fine, it's fine. Just run. Just run. We don't need to buy dagger really. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Get me out of that. This Wukong's talking too much. And big E. Oh yeah, the E. Oh, oh you're Oh my dude. god. <laughs> Just one more auto, please. Calling is too strong, dude. Can't just face tank it. God, I thought I could get the auto. Cause I thought I dug it. Maybe I didn't. Oh, this is odd. Frick me. That's real bad. Dang, that did do a lot of damage. Dang. Darn your one shot me. <clears throat> Yeah, calling is so strong. Just that it's a little bit easy to, let, you know, knock it, and not not just take the whole thing. But I, I, I get yeah, we were we were just greedy there. I we thought I just him. one more auto would have killed him, right? I wasn't like completely in team. Or was yeah, one more auto probably would have killed him. Um, so when this next wave comes in, just crash this because we, we really need to get some good stuff for that though. So just search him. Try to auto a different minion every time. You should really utilize that passive. Spam the W off cooldown we're trying to crash here. We can go put a ward, shit, a little shallow ward on his blue buff since that's coming up. It's probably gonna be weird. We don't need to go all the way up, we can just ward. Like, oh, run, 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 run. Run, forest. Oh, this way. Might be death. No. Okay. Cool. So you guys have a really strong combo right now available. I feel like my Nami's halfway okay. I'm not my Nami. My what's her name? Oh my god. He's got a crit chance he might have coming out on this. We just need to play this a little slow. Wait for uh, maybe Seraphine drops an ult here. If she gets a root into an ult, we can pop. Because our ER, like, all, what you always want to do, by the way, is you always want to save your E if you're trying to ulti, and then you can ER at, like, you just press it real quick. Because that slow into your ulti is really, really big. That. Especially knowing that Seraphine had a follow up. Oh, yeah, Shinami's gonna try to ulti us when we ulti. And we're yep. bubbleless. Yep, so be aware of that with your ult going up too. So, Nami gets the Nami. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I'm so free, that's busted. What Pretty the fuck? <laughs> we like it, we like it. Do I want to keep this here uh, or shove it? Yeah, wait for next wave and then we'll try to shove that in. Since Nami's on five seconds, so with the wave already coming, she shouldn't be able to. And then we can push it up for reset. Honestly, we. Oh, yeah, we, we could even just let him reset. Not a big deal if he gets recalled. Um, we don't have a ward done, so play towards the bottom side. Well, yeah, because he's just gonna, he's gonna miss the wave if he recalls here. Um, we have a lot of gold, so we probably want to try to spend that. Yeah, he just crashes. Okay. 
Nice. That'd be cool. Shape is gonna hold this and just gonna reset. Where we have so much work. I think we're really close to our actual like, full item. Yeah, we're like. Oh, yeah, we actually have it. it. We can just wait. We can just wait for it. Why is it always want, why is it always recommended? Just click the noon quiver. Just hit the click the noon quiver and then yeah, there you go. Okay. So we have a much cleaner way of doing it. Alright, by that we run. I love that strut speed, dude. <laughs> okay. So targeting Nami is probably the better choice there because She's an easy one shot as long as like Lucian's not sitting on top of me. Oh, correct. If, if Nami gets CC'd, you can just yeah, you can you guys can burst her. Um, if, if you guys try to focus Lucian, if, if Lucian's already in range of it, you probably don't even want to worry about ERing up at the start because Nami will just cancel you, yeah. as you said. Um, so what you'll just do, especially if Kraken is just pop W and you'll just auto Q auto, like you'll just try to, mm -hmm. and then you know, um. At that point, if Nami's walking up to you or like Lucian's running away, you can just like flash, try to flash Lucian's, Lucian's Q or flash to reposition if he tries to cool you or try to flash if Nami's bubble is going to hit you and just do mm -hmm. the rest of it, Lucian. If you think you get it. Which, ideally, if we're already in range, by the way, Echo's in your bot side, I think we saw him, so careful. I know what I'm doing. He's also got Kraken and Boots, though. He's yep. up a butt ton of farm so far behind. Did I farm. see? Did he? Does he not have a Dorn's Blade? No. Oh, okay. Did he sell it? Yeah. Here comes Echo. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> that was sick oh. dank, dude. Right. Watch, I'll walk into his ult team, then actually will be a good <laughs> dank. And it'll actually be like 200 IQ, like playing mind games with me. Um, Riddle's coming down. Okay, so, oh, what the? Uh, that's not the word he meant to place. Yeah, wow, well, I, like, I like the CS and I like the Q on the caster. Alright, we level W second. Okay, there's. there's uh, sir. Lucian was forced away. Oh, no, 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 Jesus. Too okay, greedy there. <laughs> oh, bad deal. Um, Dang, no, 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 not you, not you. I, I know. I'm just testing. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought you thought I was talking to you. I was like, oh, no, it's not. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I can hear your phone. Don't worry. Oh, uh, God. Uh, we're going to go. Yeah, we got Berserk a second. Um, but we're going to go close this next. Berserker, wait, what next? Blood collector. Oh, collector. We, we, can put, we can buy the Berserkers, obviously, but Collector's gonna be the next item. Yeah. So if he had like 700 gold, it'd be way better to buy like double longsword instead of the dagger. Mm -hmm. If you have 800 gold, you can just finish the Berserker. Alright, Lucian is real strong. Go with that. Yikes, yeah, I'm just so far behind this guy. He's up 60 farm. He's yeah, killing you can play it. first Slubbush for a little bit. Wukong's still going mid. Oh, you can even... No, don't auto that. No, 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 no. Oh, don't auto ease at all. Just then let him. You can, you, yeah, you can go for a freeze or if it was going to slow push. It's fine too, but we can keep it down here for a while since we're not really able to fight them. Our mid laners, I think, losing too. Um, yeah, so we just get up. Time. Deny the enemy bot lane here. And if, oh, there's Wukong. Seraphine can even just go help mid. So pull this out, pull this, pull this back. Yep, drag it back a little bit. Pop a refill, might as well. Stay healthy yeah. in case someone does try to come. And just keep an eye on what's going around mid lane because we might want to like at some point try to crash this out. Sure you can handle me. That goes missing still. There's that going mid. Just okay, sir. So people have ults in mid. Okay, we might wanna might wanna shove this out and start to look mid here because it, it it's looking like it's getting aggressive. Oh, Fiddles is ulting in. Definitely did not have to do that one. Yeah, we can just. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's good work. So let's drop an ER on people here. 
Big. Why is everyone? Uh, never mind. That's a clean. All right, so let's shove this midwave out. Um, I think Echo is pretty low. Just be aware. If you be ready to maneuver, you've got a lot of speed to start as long as. Oh, okay, we took an arrow. So, oh, you I can thought... use your W here. Yep, that's fine. Well, you took mini aggro, so you got hit, so you lost strap. You got her back up, so it's fine. But just be aware. Like if Echo pops out, you're just gonna dodge his W and then you can kill him. Uh, run towards top here. Run towards top here. Run towards top here. Let's collapse top here. We don't. We can't overextend a mid really here. Push because yeah. uh. There's two That's people a, and you're alone. That's probably a bad route, right? So we can run up here. Yep, this is this. Is, no, this was fine. Okay, I wasn't sure if going that way was bad or not. Give me the Oh, Shane's spotting, dude. She's really here. Uh, middle stick. Rob, let's reset. We got a really good buy. We can buy Berserkers and we can buy our serrated third. <clears throat> oh, ooh. Maybe Rift Herald. Stay, 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 stay. That's why I don't fight about that one. Yep. Therapy to check it, it's not over there, so he's gonna move. Just try not to hit Rift Herald, just try to get his own. Here, 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 here. Nice, you got the Rift. Um, alright, we back out here. Okay, and then B. Yep, spam ping your team to back, because you have so much gold. You can just, you can even ping your gold. Yeah, do not, Wukong, don't do it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is why we spam ping. This is why we spam ping that back, dude. Whew. Um, this or that pickaxe? Actually, wait, if you undo the Berserker, how much did you have? You can, you can buy pickaxe and serrated third. That's really nice. Oh, yeah, sell the refill okay. and buy the pickaxe. Because Berserkers, because your W is not really. Not like, Berserkers are nice, right? But it's not, yeah, it's not necessary. The damage feels way better. Okay. So I actually yeah. never go collector. I go Sheen IE. Is that a horrid idea? Like, really? Wait, by Sheen, do you mean Essence River or you just mean you? Oh, no, Essence River, sorry, yeah. yeah. I, I like think the... maybe people are starting to do that. Um, I haven't tried it. Collector's really strong, especially because yeah. their team's really squishy. Like, oh, dude, you'll feel it. That lethality okay. is so strong on them. That... Oh, watch out here. We don't need to walk up. We don't need to walk up. Don't walk up. We can, just, we can just let them have mid prowl. So because their team has mid tower and we don't, it's really hard for you to get mid prowl. Because if you walk up this far, they have a long lane to chase you down, and you can't really chase them very far. It, it sounds like it doesn't make sense, but it... It's mm -hmm. I, I, it, it just is how the game works. Uh, I missed the oh, cannon. Yeah. yeah. Maybe look at bot here if our team's not gonna keep fighting. Oh, there's such a big bot. Yeah, oh. shut this up. Someone on our team is gonna keep bot, but it's okay. We're still solo game. Okay, dragon's up in how long? Oh. Yeah, we just we push, push this. Oh, we can even look to ER here. Okay, who's on ours? Mm -hmm. ER is really, really big. Just. That was a weirder job, not gonna lie. Take this guy. Take it. Oh, <laughs> eight health. Yeah. Alright, so save pass towards mid. No, no, save pass okay. We're gonna need to catch this. There, through it. Someone should deal with main top. Oh, Phil's going in. Yeah, start walking up. Yeah, start walking up. This is Doesn't not save. the best, but it's not there. Is anybody on your team with TP to with this? He's probably on board to see if he's good. He's not TP. Take it uh, Wait, I'm just pushing top. I don't know if we can make it up there in time. Dragon's coming up. You have a big ulti for this. Uh, Seraphine doesn't have ulti. I think your team's just giving the dragon. Yep, just just walk mid here. Walk mid here. Ward the river bush as you're on your way. Here, just drop ward there. Shove out mid, and then we're going to exit towards probably not the Oh, Vayne died. Okay, that's cool. Shove this out. They just got dragon. Walk towards top side. Yep, just walk up safely. Um, and we can just take our... Um, take her on blue. I guess we don't really have much to do. We could seek blue, sure. Just take the whole thing. So hit here, hit the blue right now and go hit Grom. Go hit Grom and then just hit one by one and just spam your W. You can even reposition for it. You could, you could position for like a double Q. Oh, I see what you're saying. But Fiddles is getting mid, so let's just take her. Usually, I'm surprised they haven't been getting into the uh, I think we have our collector, right? I think we have We're it. Pretty close. We'll buy that. Yeah. Had it before wolves, actually. <laughs> um, maybe not. If we get a good opportunity, you will definitely feel the, the collector. collector. I am sure. That shit feels good. <laughs> <laughs> it hits different. <laughs> it hits different. The amount of damage you can output. <laughs> Lethality is really crazy. Huh. 
I actually haven't tried the Destiny Reaper since they've changed it on MF, um, but I, I, I can't imagine it being more mm -hmm. valuable than Collector. Just fits on her so well. Legendary item. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> It just threw out mid. So we can see right now, it looks like slow, top wave is, is slow pushing to us. Uh, we might just want to start running towards that bot. The bot lane? Yeah. yeah. Just start start pathing down there. <laughs> oh, Morgs back to mid. Okay, Echo. Th that enemy team left, so you can see him on the river. Since they left, you don't need to keep coming by. Oh, actually, we can catch this wave. Yeah, fuck I yeah, dude. <laughs> I don't know why Wukong's running into the river and not coming for this wave, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, just, just, just push this up, because Wukong is now, for some reason, taking the one wave. And then run mid, run mid. Quick, quick, quick. Want to bounce between these waves. Okay. Kinda sucks now oh, that nobody oh. Oh, oh, there's more dragons. Snap. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean it's fine if they keep going, I think. Um since two people only have the murder dead. Oh. Wait. Oh, he doesn't have oh, We might just be able to get mid tower here, I think. Okay. Get it. Okay. Just take this and back up. Just back up now. So yeah, uh, you, so to look at the raptors, you can you can look take the raptors, take the raptors. Okay, uh, ward here, ward here. That bush is fine. Oh. And no, 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 don't, don't don't run towards her. Take scuttle on top side. Should be up. Let's get some value because you're not. You know, we could if our team's near mid, we could be in, getting mid probably before we do this. Right, yeah, so we're gonna rotate mid, right? Yeah. Uh, let's go top. Let's go top. Top. Okay. Let's go push out top real quick. Because oh, you see, if you see on the map, Wukong's gonna catch that mid wave. So yeah. let's let him have that and let's go get some XP elsewhere. There's not really a team grouped up for a fight or anything, so let's just go next to you. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah, but we see, we're pretty safe. I think there was four bombs. Yeah, okay, we see them all bombs. There's Lucian. Uh, Echo's here, Echo's here. You can actually win this. Flash's ability. Oh, oh my god. Uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta immediately put space between you and him. Like when you see him E onto you, look at his Q and just try to immediately flash his Q. Because if he misses the Q, he doesn't have a damage. Oh, okay. And he doesn't have a way to he doesn't have another way to gap close onto you. Still let's see how flash. Gotcha. Um by by the cloak still. Oh right. Yeah, we have oh, the cloak. Okay. To pick a blue trinket? No, gosh. Kind of default thought into uh, maybe Echo is just gonna go ball with the Yeah. Uh oh. Two, two different fights going on in the lane right now, right next to each other. Alright, so what we're probably gonna look to do here is just ulti for the wave clear on mid, because we'll be able to. Once the, once the wave starts crashing, just try to ult it when it's entering. I don't have ult. Okay, never mind. Yeah. If the enemy team backed up, oh yeah, you don't. Because <laughs> we tried to ult echo. Yeah. Uh, I think the enemy might just go for Baron. Our blue trinket's up. We can we can blue trinket Baron. But definitely around here. Yeah. It We're is. Just, yeah, it's just gone. Don't go by yourself. We don't want to die. Drake's Not up. much. Not much we could do right now. Yeah, we don't have fiddle sticks though. We we could look to just be up here, but we also don't have our ulti to like try to sell them. I think we should just be trying to catch. Ah, is it Cloud Drake Soul? I know, I know it is their soul, but is it? Oh, it's, it's ocean. ocean. Ah, this looks bad. We don't have bullets, but probably try to run down towards Wu Kong. Be on the same side as Wu Kong and Lord. Do you have a ulti? Yeah. If they, if they do come into your team, just be, be in a spot where you're going to be able to just get multiple Yeah, just look for you alone. Ah, nice try. Not much you can do about that. To be honest. What is this guy doing? <laughs> I don't know. Middle thing? <sighs> not over yet. Game can always be strong here. Very common. Baron is not even that big of a deal if they don't push too hard again. And Ocean Soul is not absolutely crazy anymore since there's just a ridiculous amount of healing in the game, anyways. Yeah, we can walk up behind them. 
them. Shut up. You're frontlining right now, just be aware of that. Maybe let the game get in front of you and slowly keep going. Yeah, take that midwave. Bottom? Or yeah, we can catch yeah, we can catch bot wave. Careful about it. That echo bug just scared me. Yeah, okay, just, just just push it up, just push it up. Yeah, Echo, like when sometimes when he shows on the map his ult he will just like it's a little clone ult he will appear uh, and appear in like the bottom left of your screen for a split second. Gotcha. How far should I shove this out? Like, as far as you feel safe. So you can just, this is the last one. Okay, just push it up. We just wanna keep that. Yeah, we see Bane coming out and back up. You can even uh if you feel safe, you have, you feel six by take crux, take crux. Yeah, yeah, go for the bank, go for the bank. Wait for fiddles to be close to you though. Okay, she ulted, that's fine. Walk away, walk away. Bait her in. Yep, I'm doing fine. Okay, she she left. Fiddles gonna take crux, so I don't wanna send you the from him right here, but uh, let's go by RBF sword. But by pushing bot wave out, you just kinda slow the game down. Gotcha. And obviously you get a good amount of XP by yourself. And then you would just use your blue trinket there to like ensure safety if it's if it's up or you know, if you can maybe sure you can find spots to trinket. Summoner. You can hold on to it for now, we can okay. oh, you can hold on to it. Yeah, but all we're, all we're waiting for is we're waiting for Wukong to get a good ulti or Seraphine to get a good ulti and that's where you're just going to shine oh, with your, your ER. Yeah. So we, we want to let the enemy team come into us if we can because MF doesn't really do a very good job of trying to run at people, but if people try to come into her, she does very good. Oh, that hit me. Probably have a pretty good old sense, like you can just okay. We can just... Dun, 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 dun. Wait, do they get her? I hope so. What the heck? Yeah, okay. there we go. All right, we can run out and push out mid. Probably, I don't really feel safe being bought because Lucian myself, can just dash yeah. on you and pop you. Tommy was right here, but yeah, Lucian, I think, is still bot. Yeah. So we push out mid, Lucian's gonna reset and come do with this middle even after we can go bot. So I'd probably just be this will be the last way we push out mid, and then we just start with the bot. Try to take red. Hang on the way to red, though. Hope we get this oh. oh, it's gone. Uh, I think you should just run bot. You don't have enough your eye yet. Gotcha. Recall doesn't help you. You'll, you'll get the bot faster then by just walking. I We'll be close to IE after one more week after this. So. You should be safe to push this out in the next. You can just slow push it if you feel comfortable with that too. But Baron's going up pretty soon, so we probably just wanna. Yeah, we just wanna get this fast. Next wave. Uh, so we. Yeah, let's hold our blood trigger for the Baron. Yep. W and everything. Let's push this shit out. And we have I, and now we are very strong. Okay. Lucian dashes into us. Oh, what okay. we do is we just immediately W and we auto Q and we try to flash to the side because Lucian will always Q and if you can dodge that Q, you dodge a lot of damage. And then you can just use your attack speed to melt him, to be honest. Okay. But he does have GA now, so he's a little strong. That's just if you're in 1v1 on Lucian. Don't be afraid to try to like flash to the side against Lucian because flashing his Q is very strong. So Lucian is your bottom side. For some reason. This is fine actually what you guys are doing. Yeah, I'll just stick with the team. Don't be too far behind them. It's actually really good that you guys take this position, even if because if they try to enter on you guys, it's really hard for them to fight. But your inhibs are open, so they could just ignore and go for that. Um unless okay, here they go. Yeah. So just wait, don't use any spells. Uh, be really good if we just like started Baron. Enemy team's gonna do Elder, you guys should just call for Baron. Call for Baron, yeah, call for Baron. 
Ah, uh, your team wants to fight Elder. Okay, we just go Elder. Oh, the side waves are so bad, but Elder's on game, so we kind of just have to. Blue Trinket it, Blue Trinket Elder. Okay, it's an 8k. It'll, it'll go quick. Be ready to follow up. Big damage. Oh, what hit me? Pop, pop, pop heal now after the three points. Ooh. Oh my Ooh. goodness, our wombo. Who in this? Oh, I got a quad. Oh, oh. Oh, can you get it? <laughs> I got okay. it. <laughs> oh, hurry, hurry. Catch those waves. Wait, now let's go Bloodthirster next week. Let's just go Bloodthirster. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I like those. Catch those waves quick. Those are juicy. Beautiful. Okay. The Wombo. This is working. really bad for the enemy. Yeah, you guys Wombo. Yeah, quick, quick, fuck. Oh, they're on Baron. I mean, it doesn't matter, they're not even alive. Yeah. Um. Huh! <gasps> Can I go get top, maybe? Top and mid? Or just mid? Yep. He's going top. Yep, you can get mid. It was fun. Did your team have the Baron? No. That's fine. We have Elders, so we can just fight them up here. You have enough for your BT, but try to pick that up real quick. Before you do anything else. No, no, go get your BT. Oh, get your, get your BT. BT. I thought you were talking about pick up bot lane first. Oh, sorry. Because <laughs> you want to just get BT ASAP, because if they start Baron, you want to be able to move it. But if you don't have your BT um, right now, like, it's going to be hard. You know, you're going to sit there like, I want you to call for BT, yeah. but they're already on Baron, so you don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. So we can try to get that red buff on spawn. I don't want to really farm bot with the Baron Bane up, right? Not unless we know where they're all at. Yeah, we don't want to move out. Leave some of the people with that. Um, try to get a blue trinket onto the Baron if we can. We can take Raptors too, it's fine. Okay, you see them in bot side, so they're not there. Oh. We can hold on to it. Oh. So, yeah, so, yeah if, if, they're on the, if they're not on the map, we're on blue trinket down. But if people so, know, like, they're on the map, yeah. So, they're both already carriers weren't there, so there's very small chance of going to go Careful of walking up too far. You're really strong, but we still don't want to get caught. Yeah. We still get one if your team's behind you, it's, it's totally fine. But Wukong's looking like he's going to move to mid, so we just want to play for Wukong. Wait for Wukong. Don't get too hasty. Just wait for the Wukong. <laughs> Back goes behind. He's looking for flank. Yeah. He's oh, right. gosh. He's right here. Big damage. Flash it, flash it, flash it. Okay, cool. You, you, you have a big angle potentially. Yep. He's walking for the hall. Is looking good if they start. Yeah, you can walk this Oh, come on. Just start walking, just start walking up. Start walking up. Start walking. Oh, team you, you, guys, you guys are. No, you're winning this time. Okay, that was. Boom, double up kill. Nice juke. <laughs> okay. Collector feels good. Especially. Eat that bush, eat that bush, eat that bush. Oh, eat the bush? <laughs> As yeah. I'm on top. Don't, don't base check it. It's just vain, but if she condemns you, you're gonna take one. So, yeah, what so. you always do with taking towers is hit mini, hit tower, hit mini, hit tower. Oh, mini, is that more effective? Passive. I knew that, like, yes, a thought, because you but... get your W up and you, your passive damage is broken. Oh, uh, okay. The big thing is the W, though. Because, you, you know, with the attack speed, the attack you're literally speed, yeah. just attacking, like, twice as fast. So you're getting, like, the same amount of autos in on turret, but you're always proccing passive. <laughs> If you can just drop the on Bane, you might be able to call it. It doesn't work on a hit, but you can still do it on a hit for the attack. For like the fight. You, you, yeah, your passive just doesn't. Well, your passive just doesn't hit on a hit, so. Uh, we can probably. Yeah, so what you want to do now is look to eat their jungle. Eat. Ideally, it'd be nice to put the in but. So last item, it just depends. If you feel like you need more defense, which I don't feel like you really in need of, Blue Trinket, that'd be good. Yep. Um, you could pick up GA, but I think you could just go like rapid fire can for long range autos on them since they have quite a bit of range. All right, let's just get out of here a little bit. No, don't recall here. Yeah, don't oh. recall. Here. Um, Do we want? Don't know if we have a good reset right now because they're kind of hovering around Baron, but looks like you could kind of play around fiddlesticks a little bit here. Yeah, so they have to deal with mid, so you could just recall. Uh, your team's kind of set up. I think we should stay for a team because they're set up. They're set up. They're set up. And if the enemies keep pushing, then we should go. Oh, we're just forcing this. Okay. Yep. 
force the Baron force. You guys all have four second recalls, so there's another one. Be looking, hold your camera a little bit down. Hit echo, hit echo, go, go, go. Echo, it's in there. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh. Enemy team is disengaging. Alright, let's just recall my rep. Oh, echo is just dead. Okay. <laughs> we can maybe, yeah, we could probably push mid here. Yeah, just push mid. I think there's an ward all team then. Kind of Actually, it. yeah, so push out mid wave and then go, go, go meet us. And do what top lane? Unless Seraphine's forcing it. This is So if you think you guys can end, which I don't know if you can, I would just go. Yep, spam pink. <laughs> if two people are we're done, I think you guys could force the end pretty easily, but always use W, always use W. Broken. 2.3 attack speed with W, 1.6. That's <laughs> A lot of attacks. Um, Echo's alive. We might just want to go on a reset. We, our team is sitting on a lot of gold right now. Yep. Yep. We call this And Dragon is coming up. Oh my goodness. So we can buy. Um, I would buy Rapid Fire Cannon here, probably, personally. And just uh, Red Elixir. Red Elixir. Red Elixir. Oh. You got some. <laughs> We have a hundred percent crit chance. Do you ever sell boots? Yes, if you have enough to buy like another zeal item. Um, you can. Okay, you don't need to and get this you know. So try to walk behind Wukong here. Where is Wukong? Oh, all the way that down. Uh, unless your whole team's top oh, Usually really? your whole team just wants to follow the Wukong and kill him. So if they try to come in here, you can just do that. Yeah, this is really good. I don't have all yeah, right yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, I'm AFK running into him. I baited you again. Wow, that was like one auto from here. Boom. I don't have flash in that red. Oh, he is he is, he is, he is. You can eat up, but eat up. Yep. You win this, you win this, you win this, you win this, you win this. Oh, Keep Jesus. Keep so burst. Yeah, someone's seeking. And the game should be over. See, I told you, it's not oh over. You guys fucked MF scales ridiculously hard. Okay. Like, like your their damage is crazy. Yeah. I think more. At least we get elder. He's so slow. <laughs> what the heck? Bro? He is really slow. Push. I don't think he's using his abilities. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my goodness, and they kill the right Kong. Okay, here we go. This is kind of weird. I don't think he can... Oh. Yeah. Nice bonus. Oh my goodness, he's all <laughs> Echo's trying. Man. Elder Drake. Oh, more to be six power twice more, man. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll, I have a fail six of So you could sell boots here and buy, like, uh, Phantom Dancer. Phantom Dancer gives you so much attack speed, do not it? And move speed. And move speed. Bigger thing now is, like, you want an item that gives you a lot of move speed. But all it gives them movement speed. PD. All zeal items, pretty much. Uh, there's not much else, is there? I yeah, it says it says QSS and Bork give you move speed, but those are just the actives, so I don't know why. Uh, Aside from that, it's only zeal items. And I guess Triforce. Get red buff, get red buff. Oh. So what you should have done also is, if you ever have excess of 500 or more gold at this point in the game, just all right by uh, Red Elixir. Because there's no downside, you're not going to buy Yeah. Alright, we just play with our team and play for team fight. You're really strong. You can like three shot, you, you can like three auto attack anyway. Try to use your rapid fire cannon and just sneak auto poke in there. Um, just like, down, like dancing around people. Because I, I don't think there's anyone on their team that can really zone, you know, um, threaten a hard engage on you mm -hmm. and kill you. The only one really is like a morgue binding and then your team follows up on that. But you can just like bait out morgue bindings with your because you're really fast too. Mm -hmm. Boost right. It's pretty easy to dodge with the when you're just standing at a good range. Choke. Just give me enough time. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to everybody. Um, yeah, we just we could just push mid. We should just be pushing mid. El Fiddle has Elder. Yeah, we should just go mid, get in him. And th that mid tower is really low. Like, you'll two, two auto attack, kill that tower. Team.
Come here. Like, you can walk up and look to auto solution thing, if, if there, people are close to you. Yeah, just use that rapid fire cannon. Just w wiggle into the range. Okay, not now. Not definitely not now. But. Piddles. He's a wild child. He's a wild one. Long game. Oh. Boom. Big one. Auto minions, auto minions. Get that full picture back. Careful with the front line. Yeah, there's one. Nice. Good move back. All right, come on, team. Let's just fucking walk it. <laughs> Should I ping help mid? Yeah, yeah. Just ping on the way. Your team's. Oh, Lucian's uh -huh. trying to back door. Okay, you yeah. guys do this He doesn't have a wave. He can't do this. What is he doing? There's no bot wave, so Lucian is not a threat. Uh, your team is. You're probably. You might. You might not even wave actually. I don't know how Lucian thinks this is worth it, but he's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, like, it doesn't do anything for them. There's no way. It's not they just lose. Yeah, what? Genius play, bro. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, no. One more auto fiddle. Okay, true. <laughs> okay, yeah, you probably don't want to just ignore them right there. <laughs> but I got the job done. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. <sighs> No cracked, I'm in promos of gold. Boop boop. Oh no, I was already in promos of gold. Easy top damage. Well, uh, Morg's, Morg's unfair, she gets the W. Sure. Uh, yeah, what is your peak rank? I don't I can't remember. Gold. I mean like peak if you include not ending a season was probably gold one. Or gold two. One of those two. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. A lot of stuff going on late game. Just, just remember what, that like thought process we had of always just trying to get those extra minions. The gold, that's, yeah. that's that's the really big the XP and the gold. It's really, really that shit goes along. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, what was this? Oh, this is. Oopsies. Open this and now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whoa, don't want to do not want to do that. All right. Oh, you're seeing it all good. Seeing it? Oh, Everything good. Yeah. All good. All good. All right. Cool. Yeah, so I like W starts so you can come into lane and just usually with the W with the attack speed you can just auto these minions really easily. Mm -hmm. Um as well as if you do the movement speed is really nice for sp getting into the range of him real quick and out. Okay. Or especially other range of curious. Um they're already kind of in the lane, so it's a little bit hard for you to get prow at this point, but it's 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 nice in a lot of spots, but also you'll get to lane quicker because you'll have the W <laughs> speed. Yeah. Um but it's nice because you could come in like if, if he's not pressuring you to already come in way for you know distance from Nami. If Nami's up here, we come in down here like you did. And then if we have a chance, we can auto minions pretty quickly. And you press the attack. So if you have the chance with your W, you can get it pretty quickly on him. Lucian, you gotta be afraid of because he's got the Q into the passive auto so he can return damage fast. But champions that don't really have abilities level one and just also rely on auto attacks, Misfortune does really well with her W mm -hmm. to them too, because you can just obviously the attack speed gives you that press the attack proc pretty quick. So champions that kind of come into mind would be like Zaya, 
doesn't really have <laughs> much damage for level one with her Q. Also, you have longer range than her. Um, Caitlyn, you can't really get in range of. Varus isn't. Uh, he's got his E, but you can kind of be a, away from that. Just usually, like you're not trying to necessarily use the W to trade onto them, but you can just get the wave prowl for the slow push yeah. really, really quickly, which is like the stuff we talked about before. And then you can pressure them really well. <clears throat> I think we just eat a few Lucia Qs, which is you know you kind of correct that a little bit later, start mm -hmm. positioning a little bit better into him. For Lucian's, you know, if Lucian's walking down here, we probably okay. also want to walk down here, right? And then he's going to bounce up here, and we're going to bounce up too. Sure. Just, again, similar like what we talked about before with Fiddlesticks, we do have to be aware of where Nami is, because if Nami's down or up here and we're trying to get away from him by going up here or something, we might end up in her range. So, we, you know, if Nami's pressuring us a lot, we might need to just step off the gas on the wave and kind of come back a little mm -hmm. bit, right? Um. That was close. No, there's too much. Yeah, they're level two also there at that point. So, you know, this minion, third melee minion is always going to be level two. So I think that what you did to this hit, this minion is fine. I think we just lay off of it now and just wait. Because you know they're going to get level two and Lucian's going to get dash. Most champions will have a lot of power at this point. And this minion's at a good amount of HP for if it does, when it comes into tower, tower's going to put it at last hit rate. Mm -hmm. if, if we auto it a couple times more and it gets down to this point, right? And it's now we can't, shot. we get zoned off level two. Yeah, it's not going to be able, we're not going to be able to get it. So I think we did a good job prepping it for that and then just, just lay off a little bit, let, it, let, let them crash it. So we avoid, you know, th the stuff that hurts is actually like just either way this wave's coming into, but at this point, yeah. right? We're, we're losing lane. Losing the first few, we're not necessarily losing lane, but we're behind the first few waves. We've gotten every minion on the first wave, which is great. But we want to stay healthy now. We don't want them to use this level two. So even if you know this, if, if this is an, another champion who doesn't have a dash, it's fine that you're trying to like hit this. But if you know, it depends on how they're positioned. But you really just want to play for your HP right now, so that now you're not at this point where you're playing <laughs> really, really low HP. And this is just a, a really, really common mistake around this rank. It's just like being greedy to hit. There's not even a reason to hit this minion right now. Yeah. It's coming in. All you're doing is risking HP for like actually nothing at that point. Unless you're trying to really like hold the wave out, which at that, like right now you can start auto for auto for auto on minions trying to thin the wave out, but they are still in the slow push, so you'll still have to respect it. Like once once they're gonna hit level two, you just hundred percent respect that. <clears throat> Where was that? Was that? Did we get bubbled when they were level two? Yeah, we did, because Nami, mm. duh, she didn't have bubble at level one. I don't think, at least. She would have W. Yeah, Lucian got a lot of poke on us. Nice that we have a sustained support, though, so we don't get <laughs> totally... Murdered. <laughs> yeah, murdered off this. So, so what are you doing if you're Lucian right now? He hit level... Oh, no, Lucian wants to be taking even trades, because I'll die before he will. Right. Well, well, sure, but what are you gonna do with the wave if you're Lucian right now? Oh, crash it so it can bounce back into me. Well, I guess the next wave is really close, but you could. Okay. Maybe... Well, you. you... Yeah. Uh, you're you're on the right track. Maybe he like uh, break checks it. I should have said. I should I should have said from here. What are you doing if you're Lucian now? Not touching the wave, right? Not. Yeah. Let that shit come into you, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Nami's kind of low, but she can heal up. She's got a health pot ticking even. He he can just play slow, let this wave push into him if he just doesn't auto these minions from the start. Like, just already from here, this is a new wave. It's separate. Yeah, just like, it's going to slow push in. He can just play slow. He could just bounce out and get a yeah, ward. Right, yeah. He can... He There's a lot of options. It's way better if it's wave three that he's crashing and bouncing back to you, which is what he's going to do, um, because then he'll have prio for the scuttle crab. But honestly, if he lets the slow push, he probably still will have prio for scuttle crab because you're just so low HP, you're not going to be able to fight it, but you're going to mm -hmm. be able to crash it at that point. So I think it's totally fine too if he just decides to crash this one and then but as long as the next one he's trying to let it come out. But he should then at least be really trying to crash this one so the next one will bounce around Skull Crab. Um now I think I think after this really rough start, you start to really respect them a lot more yeah. and you put a lot of distance. But the problem is now it comes at the price of uh losing quite a bit of CS yeah. under turret because you're so low that you actually can't even really walk up on your turret very well. So if you're full HP when he's crashed like wave two, for example, if, if we didn't get poke sword, he'd probably play the exact same way, right? It's, it's kind of the default in this rank is just to push a lot. Mm -hmm. um, he'd probably play this exact same way, and we're full HP at this point, and they're on our tower. We have actually a lot of potential to, to go for a kill on them with Seraphine having a root. Uh -huh. um, and I would also recommend taking W just because your your E's not very strong 
in terms of like it's it's a damage ability. Um, you're gonna be way better off in trades with press the attack with QW than you are with QE. With Comet build, you like E because you're just poking. Mm-hmm. And you get that comet proc and the slow one to comet is like guaranteed comet land. But if you have press the attack, you usually just want WQ level two because your trade will be a lot, lot stronger. And you can fight for wave prowl a little bit better. Um so well at this point you start playing a little bit better with the lane here, respecting him a little more. And now Lucian could just be playing a lot slower, but he's still coming into you. How does he end up? Yeah, you get a really nice Q on him, gets him hit down a little bit. That's all you're looking for with misfortune, mm-hmm. really. Eventually they'll mess up and you'll get a juicy Q through them. <clears throat> yep, we see Echo down here and <laughs> Seraphine does not see him. <laughs> That's for sure. So she flashes. I was, yeah, it's fine. She flashes. We didn't have to heal. So I'd probably rather have her flash than my heal, but maybe not on this helo because I don't know what she's going to do. I'd probably rather play her for myself than my own <laughs> heal here. So I'm probably pretty happy she flashed, actually. So you can still play with you. Yeah, so like just under the turret, what you could be doing for minions is, you know, use that W. Mm-hmm. W attack speed. Like if you W right now, you could probably get oh, two autos on this one. Um, maybe one auto even kills with your passive. I think one auto will kill this one at level four. Um, but your W will let you hit this one, hit this one, hit this one, and then you'll be able to maybe hit that one under the, under the last one pretty well or if there's a mini that you need to auto attack twice really quickly your w does really well with that too pretty good a little bit a little bit slow on the word but uh, i'm not complaining still a good kill and then you get nami too what happened i don't remember what happens oh yeah i just, eat the bubble that is Got to space that bubble a little bit, huh? Mm-hmm. That's okay, though. Oh, Aerie is what took you down, too. The fat auto. I didn't think yeah. I could get it with that auto. That was like all 102 damage I got. Why not look at this? Yeah, I like that. That's a good play. Hmm. Sort of sheet into, okay okay yeah. this is yes yes so this is slow pushing in so you you honestly don't you know even though echo did just gank you in this rank he i i just you can never trust their pathing very much mm-hmm. down here so if, if this was slow pushing in i'm a little bit scared that echo might come so you know just play for slow crash play distance don't try to force too hard i think you're doing a good job of like pressuring him right now and the nami walks in really stupidly and get damaged <laughs> so already she's putting too much space like this is just back out of the straight really good already you don't have anything to follow up. Like, you don't have your EF. If you're mm-hmm. up, maybe we can wave some more ability to go because we know she doesn't have flash for the first fight, but yeah. everything's down. Don't chase too hard. Just come back and start getting the minions and play for slow push again. Or maybe if you had, like, a W, but honestly, the minion aggro will take your W down really quick, so we probably won't get that move speed even. <clears throat> Which, I know we did back off straight, so was, we, did, we did a good job. But now, so now what we want to look for, right now, while this, these waves are coming to meet, this is a really good time for you to just come get a ward down. While, these, while your wave's walking up. Because we're not really like, you're, you're not really in a rush to sh- crash this right now or anything. What we're more worried about is that there could be a gank, because we're about to be overexcited. So, after this trade, and this wave is, when like, this wave is, you know, we look at the map, we see this wave coming in, so we know there's coming out of turret right now. Instead of just rushing up to the next wave, just like crash, we don't have any ward coverage right here. And we even see Echo right here on the map mm, for a quick second. Yeah. This this is usually a good time when these waves are like going to move up or a fresh waves coming in. Even if it's like your wave's so big that it's slow pushing really hard and there you might miss one melee or something, it's still a really good time to just come get a little ward out somewhere up in the river. Um. Even if you know a good ward could just be a little bit past the bush, just in the river, depending on who the jungler is. If you're worried about Echo like tumbling over the wall into the bush, you know, end of the bush is pretty good. But it's a really good time because we don't even know if like if we do come to shove this next wave where we're going to be a little bit past the lane right now. It's you know we're not safe to do it. Mm-hmm. So just giving this coverage is a lot better that we just sacrifice. And right now you won't even lose any minions. But even in a case where you will lose one melee or so, 
it's pretty good <laughs> okay. to use this time right now to go get a ward out because if you don't get the ward out and you go to shove this and you get ganked you're gonna miss a lot more than that one minion that you would have lost otherwise now if you see echo top or something or you saw him on a ward right here just five seconds ago you're probably safe to not ward right mm -hmm. but if we don't know where he is um or especially if we do see him in the boxes <laughs> or not just take take the time to, to ward because that is going to cover you a lot and also, if Nami gets into a bad spot, we're going to be very safe to kill her because we are aware if Echo is behind us or not, and we can actually react to this. Um, so we can play a lot more aggressive, even just with this ward now. And we don't have to just necessarily crash and like run away to ward. We can actually crash and pressure Nami because we have this ward already. Now, if it's, you know, certain junglers might require a little bit more coverage than just right here. Like a Hecarim who's level six can speed turbo yeah. speed behind you. So like this doesn't always save you, but at least you like if you have flash up or something, you can react to it a lot easier just with a shallow ward. And when you're gonna be crashing a wave right here, this ward's pretty good because you're not all the way up here where he's gonna be like behind you quickly, right? Like we can be playing we can play towards the bottom side of this lane now with this warded, and then if someone does come, we can just run through these bushes and it's gonna be hard for their bot lane to like catch up with them. But Moral of the lesson right here is just, okay, wave is going to crash. I know I'm going to be overextended soon. Ward. If you know you're going to be overextending, ward. If you don't know where enemy jungler's at. This is why Wukong was like spamping you guys because we just saw Echo right there and then you guys <laughs> still like disregarded it. Um, but so what you want to do now is like, um, so other than the ward, as we know that Seraphine's got her, like with the, these procs up, no matter who it is, like you know, if this is Leona or whoever has the CC, you know that they have CC, right? Right now, we okay. know that Seraphine has our, her E with our E combo, especially. But even if we're not MF, Seraphine has with this little like three bar thing, that means she has her like double note thing up, right? Yeah. Which means that she has the root note um, as is. So Nami is super low. I could, if Nami's playing really far back, I could, you know, me and Seraphine together, if we're, if we're standing in a good spot together, we could look for a short trade onto Lucian if Nami's not in range. Perfect. But Seraphine needs to be next to me for me to do that. I can't just, like, just because Nami's this slow doesn't mean I can just look to, like, go for a trade on Lucian by myself. Because then I'm just going to get, I'm basically just even trading. And then I'll mm -hmm. get low and he'll, she'll get low. Or her, you know, we'll both lose half our HP, whatever. Whoever wins the trade. I think... Um, in a short trade here, Lucian will actually do a little bit more damage than you, especially when he has Nami's E to buff him with a, a lot of damage, and then Nami's heal is a little bit more prominent than Seraphine's heal. Um, but if I'm going to hit Lucian, I want Seraphine to be like really close to me, so that we can both hit him. So if and it's assuming Nami's not in range, but because Nami's so low, what I'm trying, what I really want to look for is I want to look for Seraphine to be in a spot where okay, Nami walks up too far, I can E Nami, and Seraphine can hopefully E her too. Or if this is a Nautilus, I actually just want to like look for Nami to be in a spot where I can E Nami and then that person can get the hook on them and engage. Because Nami's just such an easy target now. If Nami's play again, if Nami's playing really, really far back and Lucian puts himself in a spot where he could get hooked or CC'd or whatever, then I can obviously go for the look on Lucian. But I'm not trying to like pressure Lucian too hard by myself because I'll still he'll still be able to trade with me even with Nami this low, because Nami can just support him with an E or a W. So I, if I want to hit Lucian, it needs to be Nami's too far away, and it needs my I need my support still by me. If Lucian's half HP and you're both full HP, you can probably yeah, look for a little bit of trade yeah. on to Lucian, right? Yeah, and you've got your two refill pots too. So, like, so what happens right here is your position is actually like not amazing because you could be hit by both these both people, and it's like actually Nami's closer to you than Lucian, and we just like eat at Lucian, and now Seraphine's looking at it like it doesn't. Nami's HP being low doesn't really mean that much right now if we're hitting Lucian. Okay. Because she's, she's almost like full HP because we're not going to hit her anyways. Yeah. Right? So then this trade just kind of becomes a little bit different. So then if we would have targeted Nami from the get-go. Yeah, so like look at the end of this trade. Whoa, we're so low. Yeah. Why? Because even though Nami started low, she's still the same HP because she didn't even get hit. Yeah. And we're also walking into their whole mini wave. Um, so like right now, if, if if Nami's playing so far back, if I want to hit Lucian, I should probably come down like closer to Seraphine, where Nami can't do anything. And then again, me and Seraphine can hit this guy together, and Nami can't just like hit me. And I, again, I, even though Nami's low, she still has supporting abilities with her like E damage and her heal being ranged and being able to like you know she can W Lucian that W bounces to you, mm -hmm. so she's still actually able to do stuff. 
it's like we're, we're running at lucian but nami's actually able to just totally hit you and then the q goes on nami and then some autos here but it just doesn't really do that much so it feels like you should hard win this because nami's so low but she's not taking very much aggro so that's why like if, if we're gonna go for a trend illusion it needs to be where like we're just doing a short trade on lucian and then we're gonna like refill pot up we can't really just all in on lucian just because nami's super low because especially inside of a mini wave mini waves do a fucking lot of damage a <laughs> lot a lot of damage like if all six of them are hitting you every second you're taking like like 60 damage from minions like per second maybe more like 50 you're taking a lot but that's a lot that adds up that's yeah. 150 damage from minions in three seconds and even if you're just short trading on Lucian, if you're coming all the way up here to hit him one, two, three times, then you walk away. These things will probably hit you three or four times each. And that's like 200 damage. Add that in terms of a short trade, that, that's a lot. So what I'd like to look for here is either one, Lucian steps up really far into my wave. Well, that's when I'll hit him. Or two, Seraphine's up here with me. Nami walks up too far. I E her and Seraphine falls up and then we're able to just like kill her really quick. I don't really want to look to run into their wave to hit them though. I still, what, what I should just do now if I'm trying to, either one, if I'm trying to crash this, get this in and go for a recall, I don't think you really need to do that right now. You could just still play for like, pressure this Lucian off the wave, wait for your wave to come in, shove it in. And then we have priority to maybe do Dragon or something with Fiddlesticks. Or because Nami's so low, if I'd already got this war down, maybe I can just bully under tower harder. Like, I, you know, me alone can't do much, but if I'm standing next to Seraphine and Seraphine's right here, Seraphine can just spam QEs under them, at them under tower. And that's going to hurt them. Kind of what Nami did to you under tower, right? Mm -hmm. Or what Lucian's Q was doing to you. So it's just a little bit of poke, but you're still the dip. But we can't really pressure our tower unless we have this warrior. So we can kind of zone Lucian off this wave. If they mess up, we can hit them, right? But we don't want to walk into the wave to do it. You know, but um, okay. if anything, next wave comes in. If they don't come up to us, we crash that wave and we bully them under tower with this ward mm -hmm. that we had put. Because we know we're about to overextend and we had a little bit of time. Like right, right when you're killing this wave off, even like right now, if I, if I feel like I'm gonna overextend, I could just drop out and ward real quick and then come back. I maybe miss a caster main, not a big deal. So I miss a lot more if I am overextended and get ganked. So actually, I wonder, do you open the death recap here? I wonder how much damage minions did. I don't think they do. If we click this and we looked at how much damage minions did, I bet it'd be a lot. Yeah. But yeah, re really like so the kill the kill that would come out here would just be your slow into Seraphine's combo on Anami if Nami missteps. Or it could be Lucian coming up too far, you slow, she roots Lucian, and then um I would try to position a spot where Nami's not to be able to like really just walk at me uh, or support too much, and I would just go short trade with that CC from Seraphine, get out take that advantage so that when I crash that next wave, I'm able to bully harder on the tower. So I even think like necessarily this trade's not even super terrible. Like at the beginning we, we come in, I think it's better if like, so right now if we came at this angle where Nami's put distance mm -hmm. between us so that she can't just W us. Um, unless, so if you're Lucian right now, you'd feel pretty comfortable like dashing at Nami and just executing her. Yeah. But you don't have that MF. You don't have that dash into a range stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe we drop the solution. We come outside the wave instead of coming into the middle of the wave. And make come it at this angle. And then maybe we'll be able to just hit Lucian next to Seraphine and then yeah, kind of duck Seraphine. out. Okay. Yeah, and duck out real quick. That's so like so even nice. right now, I think you guys have won this trade until you go for this auto. Because he's gonna be unrooted and he's gonna get a full combo out on you now. And it'd be better, right, if we don't use that Q on Nami since it's not going to kill her and she's mm -hmm. going to space. So, like, you can see it right here. This E is not bad. You probably just want to, like, okay, Seraphine's walking up. I, I'd prefer if, like, from the start, I'm kind of just where Seraphine's going to be able to hit him from. Um, I don't really want to go for anything until Seraphine's kind of close to me. It's so, like Seraphine's not in the spot to be able to follow up right now. Now she's getting closer. And now I'm going to go for this E, but maybe I want to start stepping this way, mm -hmm. then E, when he like walks in. And then now I'm at an angle where I can run at him with Seraphine. She roots, we can maybe just Q auto, auto Q auto him for press attack. Maybe just auto Q, maybe we don't want to get the press attack. But if we just hit him right here before, if we got this auto up before he was going to be unrooted and just turn out, probably be pretty decent. And if we're down here, this wave's not blocking me from getting out too. Because you're also already probably about to get unit blocked. Because we've run through the wave. Why can't I put this? Yeah, see, it kind of pushes you like 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're clicking this way too, but he'd be forced that way either. Anyways. So the look on this trade is pretty good. The idea of it, but vision is first priority before we try to do this anyways. And then again, unless you saw echo top or something, um, and then thinking about, you know, I, I'm putting myself, what you're doing right now is you're putting yourself kind of in a triangle on them where it's easy for them both to hit you. Um, and Seraphine's kind of far away. And Lucian, like, you could be like, oh, well, there's kind of a triangle for me and Seraphine on the Lucian. But the problem is Lucian can just dash away. Yeah. If he really wants to. So... A good look at the trade, but remember, like, our, our our priority here has to just be, like, a short trade. We're not really trying to evenly trade our HP with Lucian right now when, you know, I'm just going to be vulnerable, especially overextended. Be in a spot where, let you know, kind of let Seraphine be the determinant of if you're going to, like, actually be able to go into the trade or not, since Lucian has really high damage output, and just use this E for the... Hopefully, Seraphine follows up here. And hopefully I'm in a spot, you know, where I'm outside the wave and then me and Seraphine can hit together and then just duck out really quickly before Lucian can really do any return damage. Just like, even if it's just like one auto, like even if that was just an auto key on Lucian or just, just the key on Lucian, and then you just back off. Before, like he's rooted right now, so you're like tempted to go in and hit him. We're already tanking all his minions and he's about to be unrooted. So yeah. if that auto came out, this key was on Lucian or something and we just got out, we'd probably be in a pretty good spot where Lucian would be down to like this much HP after the end of what Seraphine's about to do, and then we'd still be pretty healthy here, and we'd be out. And if we're in an even better spot over here, those minions don't also put us low. But enough about this play. <laughs> but yeah, just try to consider for wards. When do I ward? Well, whenever you think you're going to be the spot where you're going to be kind of vulnerable. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted that one more auto. Your Q is really good. And then you eat. Oh, we're just running into it. Try to just take a step up. Yeah, one more auto definitely kills at this point. But so this, I think you could even keep chasing him. Um, Lucian's calling actually doesn't stop your W for some reason. But what stops your W here is well, actually, maybe the first shot of it will stop it, and then the rest of them won't. Of them won't. But either way, minions are stopping it right now. Mm. So as soon as he starts calling you. Because you've lost W and you don't have really much, very much move speed, you have to just step out of his ulti first. And a really good way to do it actually could be to go down, like click down here and then click up really quick. Because usually when you click down, he'll move down. And then if you're really quick to move up, he's not going to react to you moving up in time. And then you're just already going to be like ahead of it. That's a really good way to juke Lucian R is to like run down and like just wiggle like down and then move up really quick. Because they'll try to just react to you moving down. Gotcha. Um, yeah, this Q is really, really nice coming into lane. I don't think the play overall is like a really bad look. It's just that you, you just face tank the whole goal. <laughs> the <laughs> That's auto. the problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Let, lesson learned here, right? <laughs> yeah, just fucking, one shot. Don't bro. face tank the cooling. First, oh first priority is, is move. Because if, if you are at the angle where you get up here and he's like running this way on you, like you're always going to be able to cut him off. Yeah, you'll always be able to cut him off. I don't know if Nami might come in and save him at the very, towards the very end, though. Yeah, that was that that puts you in a really bad spot now. After after we'd already died like on this overextend without the vision, um, and done this kind of really over aggressive trade it, into into this calling like that. Now you put yourself really really yeah. far behind. Um, so we come back to land. We have the slow push. He the next wave comes in. You crash this, and then you go to ward, which is totally good, right? Um. Try not to ward right at the edge of this wall because you kind of like yeah. this little crevice tends to block vision sometimes. It might just be better if you can like get it right above it in the open area or even just like right here where it might see a little bit further up this way. Um, or again, like if I'm against Hecarim, I always pop this too. Um, depending on who you're against, you could just a good ward is even just like right in the center right here. Um, if you pop this blast cone and they have Hecarim. Hecarim can't jump over this wall. So a, a deeper ward right here where you'll see him like coming this way or coming through here would be a lot more valuable because you, you need more time to react to like Hecarim. Echo could always eat over this wall, so this ward's pretty good. But, you know, putting it here is generally good because then you can see him if he just decides to come through this way instead of like coming and eating over the wall. Because if he does eat over the wall, he now doesn't have um, his E for like eight seconds and he kind of just has to sit in the bush and wait for it. 
But the purpose of like buying pink wards is usually like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna be, if, if I'm trying to like really pressure them or something, I can get this deep ward with my normal ward and then I can come just like shallow ward with a pink ward that this one I'm actually gonna be able to defend. I'm gonna be able to defend that pink ward then. Or obviously if your jungler is coming in, you can pink ward in the lane. I don't think buying pink wards is necessarily a priority for you right now though. Doke. Um, I think you play the rest of the lane pretty pretty fine. Uh, we just, we're, we're behind, so we have to like play, we like play behind pretty well. <laughs> yeah, we, but we play buffer and behind pretty well from this point. Um, Minecraft is coming up. Yeah, it it happens. It it happens occasionally. <laughs> yeah. So you, you you but the rest of the lane of what you're trying to do with like CC supports as MF is like if they overstep like. You know, if if you what you're looking for to use your E is like if if I'm here, my support starts walking up and Lucian stays, I can like I'm just using it for a slow for my support to be able to follow up. It's so like that that's kind of what we're trying to use our E on MF for at this point. Like Nami's walking up here and Lucian's really far away. This could be a good time to drop E. Okay, yeah. Like depending on you know, my support's Nautilus, Leona, anybody who can engage, they're gonna be able to catch up to Nami now and get in range of that. And also the slow makes it hard for them to dodge it. So if Seraphine like has her E or her R right now, we slow Nami, this is a really good time for Seraphine to let them like mm -hmm. follow up because Lucian's really far away. Evolution's yeah. like right here. The triangle the effect in reverse. Effect yeah, yeah, exactly. I think Seraphine does are pretty soon. Yeah, I it Minecraft, so I just restart the stream and it usually fixes it, which is nice. Yeah, so it's finally Seraphine does just go for the R. Do we E first? No, but she just goes for the R. And then you drop the ER. Fantastic. Woohoo. Free <laughs> kill. I like it. Oh, then you can just threaten the freeze for a bit here. So if he does recall, all you do is just like wait for the next wave and then shove and it because he's going to miss that whole next wave now. And you could also be looking at the fact that you have you need 2100 for your item and you're really close to that, so you might just want to like... Well, let's say he was like low, low though. Away from that. Then it changes, right? Then we want to keep him here because either way he's going to try to back. Yeah. Yeah, because if you keep him here then and you crash, you can try to like kill him under turret or especially like jungler comes or something. Okay. And we might want to hold this here even too until the next wave comes in so that we're not going to be overextended pushing the next one in. Does that make sense? Mm hmm So like if we if we instead of like just default autoing these minions right now, if we just play it slow, we can wait for that next wave to meet up a little bit. Probably push by then, but maybe maybe the next wave the, middle, the next two waves yeah. meet right here instead of like over here. Where we're overextended pushing because it's gonna be a lot easier to crash them, right? Now, now we're crashing from past the a little bit past the river, so it's a little bit harder to safely push it. But you guys are like full HP, so it's not as um, important in this case because it's gonna be hard to die to a gank. But if you do get ganked, it's gonna stop you from crashing this now. Let me force to leave. I just wait for the kraken. Now we're pretty, pretty dang strong. So, like right here, we know that, where is it? Coming in right now, this new wave's coming in. We know it's slow pushing, mm -hmm. right? And Lucian has not recalled yet, right? So he's going to crash this wave, and we can assume he's no mana. He's recalling right now, right? 100% this guy's recalling right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he doesn't, he has no mana. He's trolling. There's no <laughs> way he can fight you. Um, so, because we know that he's gone right now, that means there's very little threat to you. So what can we do now that we know that it's slow pushing into that? And Lucian's could, not in the lane, which means we're pretty safe. We could ward. Yeah, we could think about a ward timing right now. We don't have a ward up, but it's going to be up in like 12 seconds. Mm -hmm. And Lucian's, you know, just think, okay, my, my ward's going to be up. I want to probably be ready to drop that down. Or if, like right now, if you do have your ward up, it's a really good time to go put that down. So like even right now, by the time we like walk up towards the scuttle area, our ward's probably going to be up. Mm -hmm. So we can just ward scuttle since it's coming up, and then we'll see if Echo's doing scuttle, and then we'll know he's bot side. But we could even just be aware of like, okay, I'm going to be overextending on a, a, like a wave or two from now. I'm going to need to crash, right? You could probably slow push the net. You could probably wait. You don't need to crash on the next wave, but the one after that, you're going to have to crash if the enemy team doesn't like do anything. But so there's Echo even. Look at that. I think Seraphine put that word down for us, which is very nice of her. She did. And Echo was already looking for us. Mm -hmm. That's why just because before we want to, we want to get that word preemptively down, usually before we are going to be overextending. And I think we couldn't walk up to really help this because we knew Echo was bot side right now. Which is fine. 
Yeah. Lucian Nami has like really, really strong, just like all in potential. Mm -hmm. The fucking Nami Eon Lucian is so strong. <laughs> Um. Oh, yeah, we have yeah. <laughs> Should I just let this die? I kind of tried to defend it and then. So I actually really trade. think what you did from the start here was really good. The, you started this out like perfectly fine. Like this is really like so when you walk up here and you look to get this auto on Lucian and then you you I think what is this? Is this Nami's W? I think it's Nami's W. Now he's in the bush. Nami's right here. Pit. We could look to like E Nami, but we don't want to like walk into his colon, which we have to keep in mind. Because if, mm -hmm. if we walk this way, we're in an open spot and it's hard for us to like get back into our minions. We kind of want to play by our minions now. So if he does call us, he, he like, you know, we can walk into the wave. And we don't have much force for now. So if anything, we just E Nami and maybe Seraphine ults Nami and then we can kill Nami for free right now. If Seraphine ults Nami, Nami's going to die. I don't know why she doesn't, to be honest. Could maybe we E her, maybe Seraphine gets a double E off and we get a stun and we kill Nami. But 100% right now, Lucian's out of this vision. If we walk into him, we're walking into threat of the culling. So fuck Lucian, let's hit Nami. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. Let, let's hit Nami and let's play more inside our wave where Lucian can't cull us. Because I have a problem. Like, if I'm Lucian right now, I am sitting here and I'm like, oh boy, please take this step up because I'm ready to cull you. And that's going to hurt you. So, which is exactly what happens, right? Boom, we're getting cold now. And that hurt. Mm -hmm. But if we just go on Nami, it's pretty free. Because Lucian's already like out of completely out of out of range, so he yeah. can dash back in. But if we hit Nami and move away from him, he can't dash into range of me now, and yeah. he can't call me now because I'll just duck back away. From him. So Nami, Nami, this is a good another good time, really good time, to just go on Nami. And if we start going on Nami and we slow her and we auto her and then Lucian dashes in, now we can like go back onto Lucian potentially and maybe Seraphine holds Lucian. But if Nami just holds not or Seraphine just holds Nami right now, Nami's gonna be pretty easy to kill. And actually, Seraphine looks like she did go for the e, the double E. I don't know if she missed it or what. What I want? It's like E right now on Nami would be so strong. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, she does. Oh, she so miss. barely misses. I wonder if that's the U.S. So influenced that, but that's still not necessarily like it's not your fault. We it's missed or anything, but could have uh, helped the situation. And now you see the problems happening again. We're being really, really greedy now. We see this guy coming in. We're still aiming at this person. So what, even if we kill Nami right now, We're this guy's killing us. Yeah. Yeah. And also a problem is we still have both the refills. Always, you know, as soon as you start fighting, you just pop those refills. Get that habit going. Because, like, that shit will... That, it's OP. Having it, you have 100, <laughs> extra 150 HP. That's OP. But this is like, yeah. So Nami would be really good right now. We had a cold, which we could just kind of predict coming. So it's good that we, you know, go, he, he flashes away. Cool. This is really good right now that you're going on Nami. This is great. Well, we're probably going to hit Nami and move up this way because we're putting more space between Lucian and ourselves then. But as soon as this guy gets a range, if we haven't killed Nami like right now, uh-oh, right. I don't want to get dashed on. If I'm full HP still, I might care less, but I'm in range. Like, I, I think you played some Lucian. I actually think I saw on your Twitter that you put some Lucian clips up. You know <laughs> Lucian with Kraken Slayer is going to kill you in one full, like, <laughs> dash auto Q auto. Like, you're dead. Yeah. So it was it was it was really good. Oh, except for like the start of it. <laughs> starts off starts off really good. Get a little bit greedy chasing Lucian and letting him call us. Would have been perfect if we hit Nami. This is perfect. He's forced away. Nami's got there's space between us and Lucian. Well, Nami's in range. We can just hit Nami a little bit and you know again kite away from Lucian, where he has to dash at us to, to hit us. Um and comes into which means his dash is enough for Seraphine. So obviously we know this is a bit of a mistake. Ulti ends up now we turn it around a little bit. We've, we've the ult is good because it forces Lucian away, and then this is really good turning on Danami again, even though we already butchered a little bit. But now it's like okay, Lucian comes up. We knew he was coming up. We have to leave again, right? Same, mm -hmm. Similar to last time, it's like the fiddlesticks, right? We we know we want that auto on Samira, but fiddlesticks is coming to slap us. Okay. So unless we know that we can kill Nami without dying here, <laughs> it's not worth it's not worth to kill Nami and die to Lucian because now Lucian's gonna get this whole wave, and the next one you're gonna miss it all. Even though you got to kill on Nami, you referenced an early an earlier game. The... Yeah, Smear yeah, <laughs> Fiddles game. I remember that. <laughs> um, but if you trade one for one where you die to kill Nami and Lucian kills you, it's not worth. Mm -hmm. It's almost never worth it. The only time it's worth it is if, like you're dead no matter what. Um, 
I mean, it's not necessarily worth it, but it is like making the best case scenario out of it because you're going to miss at wave wave and he's going to get wave wave and just be like, that's why he becomes two levels ahead of you. Mm-hmm. And then actually Morgana's on our way too, but. Okay. That's something I've never done, really thought about is the whole like keeping distance. Yep. Distance is everything, for you, especially team fights. Mm-hmm. Like but, I've yeah, thought so of, like in terms of team fight, but like not like, I, like I don't adapt. I don't adjust or like change who i'm distancing from yeah. very much in I, like, it's a, like a tunnel of vision like, obviously he yeah yeah for real and if you could break that it's like huge stuff city carry because a lot of 80 carries is threat like managing threats yeah um and in the early phase stages of the game or you know throughout the whole game like threats change very quickly it's so like right now there's no threat to you so you're just like unami but then this guy's coming in range so it's like you know, threats it's changing threat, i yeah. have to walk away but again, like if I'm full HP and Lucian's maybe really low and I'm not afraid of him actually killing me here when I kill Nami or if I turn on him if he comes into me, I can I can be a little bit more aggressive here. But I'm so low and I don't have summoners and this guy's coming in. I have to just respect this and turn away. So like the biggest point of it though is like I don't think right here you'll be able to kill like Lucian at this point or anything if he comes into you, like you're too low. But the biggest point is just like this whole point. It's like Lucian already got away. You're in range to Nami. You can just drop the slow on Nami. You and Seraphine can pop Nami really quick. And you just walk away, kind of away from Lucian, but still in range of Nami. I think we talked about last time, kind of like the curved movement instead of like yeah. running straight up, right? Yeah. Similar to the time right here, I can curve towards Nami where it's putting me, you know, more distance between me and Lucian. If if I know he's around here. Um, and I also know a threat is the culling and I'm walking out of the wave here. But if I just kind of go for Nami and then if if Nami's like forced away, if we don't kill Nami for whatever reason, if Seraphine like decides not to alter or something, then if Lucian wants to come and like make up for this fight, he's forced to like dash in to get in range now. And then if he dashes in, it makes it easy for Seraphine to ulti. And now I can just switch back onto Lucian. But I don't want to like force myself into no vision calling big damage to like try to get this off. I need to just play for who I can hit safely um, and change targets if it's necessary. But is it? I hopefully this like just I know I'm watching this over and over at this point. But I think these are like the two biggest points. Of these mm-hmm. games, the games were like yeah. the times where we were just overstepping our boundaries and really getting aggressive. Because you again, we we like those just small victories that set us up. Because if we if we even just like killed Nami here and then we have this Rift Holder with us, so cool. If, even if we don't kill them, we're just like this trade is forcing them off the wave, which is going to force our Rift Herald further up the lane, which is going to make it easier easier for us to you know. Obviously, we're going to get big turret gold off that. The Rift Herald's really bad, by the way. I mean, but you got to make the best of what you have with this. I don't know why we have Rift Herald coming in bot right now, but... I think he was trying to use his Scarecrow because they just placed placed a pink. You can see him. Oh, pink is in there. Or? Nope. (laughs) Yeah, I've got no clue. Like, the trinket wouldn't even matter because it's a pink word anyway, but... Yeah. um, So I think we've exhausted that part. So really try to try to just try to practice this stuff right who's yeah. who's in range and not walking into like because again if, if we're going for this lucian now we're coming into lucian and nami but when lucian's already gone nami's in range it's 1v2 yeah. take that 1v2 lucian you want to make it not a 1v2 come into us i want you to come into me mf it does not do very good at chasing people she doesn't have a lot of tools like you've got a slow but like you're just purely pretty much auto attack based Auto and people who have only auto attacks don't really like to walk into the kiting, yeah. unless you've already won it. You like people coming into you because you can just turn your attack speed on and passive blast them real quick. You don't really like to run into people, especially like in team fights for a map. Running into people is what you do, like when you've already kind of won the fight or when you're like super super strong that you know you can just pop that person. But usually you're waiting for like MF, you're waiting for the fight to begin, and then you're okay saying, "Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to do damage since mm-hmm. you guys can't get onto me now." Yeah. So we're we're freezing this, which is by the way really good to do. Um, even at this point in the game, you just have to kind of pay attention to like what's going on mid. Because if if you're seeing like a fight mid that you think you can affect from this point, it's really it's it's pretty good. But right now, like you don't have Seraphine or Wukong ulti, so what's the point of being mid for a fight? Like we're we don't have ults, we don't even have our ulti. Like what are we gonna do? What? I don't know why you're and your team wants to fight this. So what I'd be doing, it's not always gonna work. But the best thing I could do here is like oh I'm just danger pinging them or like telling them just just farm mid, don't fight. Yeah. I don't know why they try to fight this. If we will call a Seraphine have ulti, I'd probably think about just shoving this out and seeing that how many people are heads are in mid on the enemy team and it'd probably come mid because I think Fiddlesticks is going to be able to force them. But 
no ulties on us three, I'd be like, why, why would I bother? I just want to get farm. And then we end up getting a nice little kill here anyways. Cool. I'm happy. We got a lot of XP, a lot of gold and bot lane, and then we came in and got more. Cleaning up a little bit. And then, this is a really nice rotation too, by the way. So, because there's two people still alive, it was Morgana and it was Echo, right? Yes, Echo was low, but together, you're very squishy. <laughs> like, <laughs> even if they're low, they can just jump on you very easily. So I don't really feel safe walking past this point um, to get this turret. And the turret's also very healthy. It's like full HP still. That it's going to be hard for you to really even kill this turret as is. Um, if the turret's like 1 HP, maybe I'll be able to walk up and kill it. I feel comfortable doing so. But I don't know how much HP Morgana was. And even though we thought Echo was low, he might have like flashed out or he might he might be healthier than we thought. He might have smite, smited a camp. He might have gotten a honey fruit in the river. There's a lot of things he could do to gain HP, right? Yeah. So I don't really want to overextend as MF without flash into Echo's potential W and a Morgana who can walk up and bind me. It's too much risk there. But there's a, there's a vein overextended and I've already caught out, I've already pushed out mid. I've already gotten all the gold and XP that I feel like I can get mid. So I can look for like going to a side lane or I can, you know, well, that's usually what you'll go to a side lane or you look for like jungle camps, which we tend to start to do later in the game more so. Um, jungle camps are when you're like really, really strong. Like if, if you know that there's no way that Echo or whatever can contest you in the jungle camp, you can just walk in. Hey, what's up? Raptor is cool. I'll take Raptor's red buff. I'll take red buff. And then you pay attention to death timers and think about how long it could have been for them to re like recall and come back to the jungle because you don't want to get caught out, obviously. Um, just do it for as long as you feel safe doing it. And that's kind of your reward for winning this kill in mid and getting some deaths is like, oh, cool, I can get a little bit of extra gold and XP in the jungle that I can't get in mid lane. Um, does that make sense? Was that too much right there? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I did some overload. <laughs> no, but, I think I get it. So, so what happens, bot, is I know that... I, I just know because we we finished by like kind of pushing up bot in a weird spot that and just looking at this wave, it's a pretty big wave, so it's actually slow pushing. So mm -hmm. by the time you get bot, the, the thing to think about is like I could come finish pushing this out and that's kind of fixing the wave so that it's forcing this wave into their turret and so that their team's going to lose this wave potentially if nobody gets there in time but there's also a vein just pushing top while your team is running out of base and you have a slow might as well just run top go for a kill here yeah this vein is top laners in this elo just they're just always doing this shit they're always <laughs> overextending like i don't know why she's still here if she wasn't here i would probably go fix out fixed bot wave right because you can see it's kind of stuck down here for a while but vein is like an immediate vicinity so as soon as you finish pushing this wave out i just start running towards vein which is what we do right i think eh, maybe we do a little bit clicking around thinking about what we're doing and then now we move now we move top okay <laughs> <Eventually>. <laughs> took, took a little oh, yeah. bit but it, it, we're gonna get there about the same time as fiddle sticks especially if we moved a little bit sooner um so he's got to wait for us a little bit now but yeah we i mean we can just cut her off right some wukong comes this way she's she's dead and that's going to lead us to actually be able to get a lot more for a little bit because rift turtles up mm -hmm. and so now a recall would be fine too if your team is not looking for rift herald but um seraphine checked and they saw that any team is doing rift herald um otherwise if your team wants to do rift herald, just support them here because it's a 5v4 so even though you have a lot of gold we're probably gonna win this because you're also really healthy yeah um so we're using Vayne's death timer to get a little bit of an objective here. Uh, otherwise, you know, if if maybe if maybe we killed Vayne and like the rest of your team is not in this area and Rift Shell doesn't look possible, uh, we could probably help push out top, and then we could recall. Or if we see enemies pushing mid, we could just come catch this wave under mid tower, clear it, recall, or we could just recall and move afterwards. There's a little bit of options, but always just looking like, hey, where's there where's there some immediate value? Mord's gonna push top. Cool, I'll let him do that. I'll recall if I'm not gonna do Rift. Good that we stopped the reset though when we saw that enemy team's doing Rift Turtle. Enemy team's trolling doing Rift Turtle right now. Their vein is dead. It's a 5v4. I don't know why they would try to do Rift Turtle. <clears throat> you steal it. Easy, <laughs> easy clap. And now, cool, we got some value. And then the reason we can recover right now is because Wukong's probably just going to move mid. He can just catch the mid wave and we can go spend our gold. I don't know if you felt the difference between Collector versus Essence Reaver, but Man Collector is just so nice. Alt, I think it's yeah, mainly the alties. The alties yeah. are oh, a huge difference. If, if you, when you have serrated, so if you're like still in lane or something, when you get cr cl like Krakus there and you have your serrated Thurk, dude, if you get a Q that kills a minion <laughs> and hits them, it's like half their HP. It's just, it's just dirty. It's nuts. 
Yep, so now we're just in mid. There's no other waves. Um, what happens here? Nothing's happening. Actually, oh, yeah, our team killed Echo. So if Wukong ulted, you were just ready to drop ER. Yeah. Always safe path here. We don't want to walk into Lucian Nami, just get popped. Unless, you know, if your team's, if Wukong is like walking first this way and there's like Fiddle Six Seraphine with him, then you can follow up behind a little bit slower, right? But generally, rule is just safe path. Do we even need to kill out of this Fiddle's ulti? That was a wild thing. <laughs> like, Dragon's coming up. Why do you have to do that, man? Yeah, so when, their team, when your team's not going to contest Dragon, clearly, because the way they're moving, you just push this mid wave out. What, does, what happens now is enemy team is losing this wave. Yeah. For Dragon. They'll at least lose a couple melees. And then you can, like, usually, if you're fast about it or if they're still on Dragon, maybe if you feel like you have time to finish off this turret, do that. If the turret's still healthy enough that you're not going to kill it in, like, two autos, we could, this is a time that we could even, if, we're, if we feel safe, you know, we see the whole enemy team on the map and Bane is dead, take the Raptors. Yeah. Otherwise, what we do is, I think we just loop around the top side and we just uh, eat our jungle cap. This is really nice to do up, by the way, because your W um, just makes it so easy. Like, your passive and W makes you take them so quickly. 205 gold, two for the <laughs> price of one right there. That's a lot. Um, shout out mid. I think from here, you're doing pretty well. Shove that mid. We're not going to be able to push anymore. Team's kind of in bot side, so we can look for raptors. Okay, so this is where we just get one turret, and then Echo's dead, but we don't have ultis anymore, so we don't want to like be caught over saying because enemy team, like Morgana's just wave clearing mid. Are we really going to be able to do anything here? We don't want to just sit here mid while they're going to wave clear and then just do nothing. So we just immediately instead just look for some extra value, which we get scuttle, and then we just finish pushing on top wave, which is good. Um, this is where we end up kind of overextending against Echo, I think, just but that's because we kind of assumed he was bot, which is our mistake. So here is like he jumps on you. You have yeah. to flash like right now. Whereas Q is going to come out because this is what this is what hurts you is that Q hits you gets that three hit passive. And then at that point, by the way, at this point, there was no point <laughs> flashing. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. But, um, Fine. Oh, did we not W? Oh, uh -oh. big mistake. Oh, no. <laughs> Gotta pop the W. Oh, I didn't reuse yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, at this point, it's still up. So what's really nice about MF, by the way, if you're doing one for 1v1s near, like, the wave, is even if you're not going to queue a minion to go through him, try to, like, so what you could do is he E onto you, he's going to queue. So if I flash at, like, some sideways angle, because since I can assume that he's going to queue like this, right? Mm -hmm. It's gonna keep this way, so I want to probably flash this way or this way. I'd probably flash this way because otherwise you're flashing into this wave. If you flash down here, now there's minions behind him, so your Q will hit him, hit a minion. So you think that hitting the minions irrelevant, oh, but what it does is give you a reset yeah. of your passive on him as well as an extra W proc, yeah. like reset W proc. So hitting minions through them with your Q is actually really good because your okay. passive big, is big fucking brain. OP. Big and brain. the W is fucking OP. So like right there, if we're like, oh, okay, shit, my W's not up yet. Like four seconds on it. If I could just, oh, boom, I'll just get a Q through him in the like flash to somewhere. Like right now, I'll, he's going to Q there. I'm going to flash down here, auto Q him. It's going to hit a minion. I'm going to get my W back up. And I'm going to hit him with another passive proc. That's going to be really a lot, a lot of damage. Um, they get Baron. Can't do anything about it. Team comes a dragon. Just want to stress that because our team is down here, we don't want to spend time like behind this wall or trying to enter this way. It's too split. We want to come behind these people. Okay. Very important. We don't want to be behind this wall looking for an ulti. We don't want to be over here looking for an ulti. We don't want to try to come this way unless we're confident that our team is and like four of us are entering this way and someone is like flanking down here. That could be fine. Mm -hmm. Usually, you know, two people are already down here. I don't want to be over here with Seraphine. I don't want to be ulti behind this wall where my ulti is hit or miss i want to be somewhere like down here that i can actually follow up into the fight and still ulti from and i'm behind them now because if i come from this way it's very easy the enemy team just turns on us right mm -hmm. if i mind this wall like they can even just jump over the wall on us and these two are doomed over it. so i want to immediately try to position behind my front line come down right away i see we're kind of bouncing back there just come behind these people like asap i think we end up just dying because lucian comes on us by himself i even thought like an ulti is good just right here right now i'd just ulti this way Okay. Probably, because they can't really like enter on you anymore. Like you're forcing them like to stay on the river. It's gonna like, stall for you a little bit. 
like even right now 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 dragon is done they're just gonna run at you but e even now it could be like it's a little bit blind but like this ulti right here could be pretty good but like right as soon as you see them kind of grouped up and they're kind of like still running at your wukong here and he just dashed like this is really good timing too because they're they're looking to come onto these three right now so your ulti they cannot they can like no longer like try to run into the into this fight they have to back off and you're probably mm -hmm. still gonna get some damage on them and if they do keep coming in which it looks like lucian was pretty committed and morgue's kind of like walking in and so is echo they're gonna eat a lot of ulti damage it's like echo used his e they're nami ulting they're coming in i i would have just used the ulti got a good chunk of damage off because your ulti doesn't have to be like it doesn't have to hundred zero everybody it, even if they stand in it for like a second it's still a lot of damage Obviously, it's ideal if you combo it or if uh, mm -hmm. you hit the whole thing, but that's just not always possible. Um, we're playing defense. I think this is all solid. Uh, so so this is what what I was doing. This like you have to go to Elder Trick, but like say this is just like their second or third dragon or something by chance. I know it's really late in the game, but just by chance. If this isn't like a game changing dragon right now, like Soul or Elder, or if it's just Soul and you can't fight anyways, look at how big all of the waves in your base are. Mm -hmm. I, like this is a time where we just say fuck the dragon, get get the waves. But obviously this is Elder Dragon, you you have to fight that because if you don't, it's doomed. Mm -hmm. And then we end up coming in and getting a really nice combo i think you play this fight well too but just those side waves oh man i'm just so sad when i see them that they're just gonna die actually i think we're still gonna get quite a bit of them because we win this dragon fight oh that was massive <laughs> but like but this kind of dragon like if this is a normal dragon and we're what, what's happening if 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 this is like their third dragon there's these side waves if we lose this fight we're losing all these and this is so much value yeah. in these three waves right now. So I'm just trying to put that in your mind. You know, think about side waves are OP. Ah, this fight shoot, was nasty though. Ah. Okay, sorry. I unplugged my headphones. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, really, really good position back here by your Seraphine and Wukong where they're going to be able to, you're just running, able to get a nice ult off. And we get a Penta. Yeah, good even better. Makes it all worth it. <laughs> I mean, you won the game. It True. should have been worth it. Anyway. <laughs> True. So, like, you, I think you were two levels behind Lucian at the start of this fight. Yeah. He's level 16, I'm pretty sure. Where is he? Where are you, Lucian? Right yeah, there. he's 16. This fight, and then these waves, you're actually almost, you're halfway to 17. Like, the whole, my mm -hmm. god, dude. Massive. Yeah, but now we're just looking for value, playing mid. Is this the last fight of the game? I think. Uh, no, it's not. This fight, this game was this super one. Long. This one sets up for Baron. This was a really good sidestep. It's the strut. Oh no, this isn't Baron. We do. So we will by the way, we would not want to take these jungle camps if we know that like Baron is gonna be rushed immediately and we're like you know, maybe maybe if like you're low on HP or like really out of mana, you would just probably want to reset right after this red buff or like pay a lot of attention to their death timers because we want to be probably like respawning or like in base at the same time as more like their um last death timer coming up so that we can match that person at Baron. Gotcha. So we're a little bit riskier, but I think you, these four items are so strong on you that it's not that big of a deal for you to like not have recall yet. It'd obviously be better if we could spend the gold and just if we know that we have enough like rapid fire cannon, but you're already so strong. And I just kind of wanted to give you the example of like always aim to take the jungle camps because it's really mm -hmm. OP. That's your reward for, you know, that's that's the exit. We're exiting their base. If if we don't have an immediate thing to be at, we always just try to get the uh, camps. Camps, yep. Yeah. Minecraft again. <laughs> so what happened with our? Oh, that's why I didn't see the ulti. That's why I didn't know our ult is down. I didn't even see this one. I think. 
I yeah, I can't even tell that he ulted. <laughs> I, I could not even see. Um, <laughs> that was one auto. <laughs> this is not Wukong's damage right here. Just one. I love MF damage in the game. Like Wukong does some, but she wins. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, balanced. He's in GA. I was trying to flash so, over the wall so, right there. Would that have been a really, horrible idea? I, I don't think you would have needed to, but I don't think it would have been terrible because you're, you're really strong in full HP. But you do have E for vision on this bush and blue trinket, so just consider that, even for this bush too. Um, that's why I told you to E this, is because I know that Lucian was like Jing in it and Echo also we saw walk into it, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so E gives you vision, but after you E, you probably want to blue trinket because you're about to lose it again. Um, Jesus. I wonder if... Do I not heal? I'm... I don't know. Oh, caught heal. on the echo arm. But we're still in a really good spot, so. Trying to look for poke with the rapid fire cannon whenever you can. Um, oh, yeah. I, I, was, I was hoping for a good team fight to end the game, but Lucian, I think. Like, it's not a bad idea what he's doing to back door, but the problem is he has no wave yeah. with him. Like you see his wave down here. How is he? How, he can't kill these turrets. Like what is he trying to do? <laughs> Their turret is like one hit. Like how, what? I'm pretty sure you guys just like tank it. Yeah. So <laughs> confident here. <laughs> in them, but, but whatever. Um, anything you want to look at more from this one? Uh, -uh. I think it was a pretty so... solid. Game started out a little bit rough, and then really, I think your biggest enemy is just the over trading, yeah, and like not this. looking for those, not just changing targets to like ensure that you're winning the trade. You're you, you like chase into the two v one, yeah, because you're really like committed to hitting one person over the other. Um, I, I think that's actually just probably the, the, the biggest, the biggest problem thing. that you have right right now. Um, and then. Just you know, keep in mind the warding. If you know you're going to be oversaved, if you know you're going to be in a position mm, where you're, yeah. you're potentially threatened, just make sure you get a ward down. Even if it means missing a minion or two, get that ward down because you will miss a lot more minions when you die. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got. If you have any questions or anything you want to look at more in depth. I don't think so. I think that's pretty good on me. Warding. I mean, kind of like ward timing, I guess. And then... Um, kind of like tunnel vision. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but yeah, tunnel vision is pretty solid about it. Yeah, yeah. It, it is pretty much tunnel vision. Very tunneled on like, oh, I'm trading onto this person. And you're like, it's and like everybody else switch. just disappeared. Yeah, yeah <laughs> just everybody keep... else has disappeared from the screen. It's just a one v one now, but yeah. it's, it's not. It's not. It's always those two people. Um, yeah. So just really stress that, man. Stress that out. Right. Is that? Hurting you a lot right now, in terms of like just the, the just the like even if you have a lose it a little bit, just walking up a little too far and going a little too ham. Yeah, play to maintain that that lead. Even if you have a really big lead, um, depending on who your support is, right? Like if, if, you can't always just force a, a fight that's going to be to the death. You still need to worry like get that. Even if it's like what's great about MF is. Even if Seraphine's out of position, if you just get one Q through the wave on Dilution, he's half HP. Great, mm -hmm. now it's really easy. <laughs> like, <laughs> because of one Q, because he fucked up and you just had a good position on it. Yeah. Um, you know, if it's Leona, you know, it's a little bit easier to like try to E and then she just all in combos. But uh, even if it is Leona and you're going on Nami, you still now again, maybe I need to worry about where's Lucian position because he might just be able to burst me really quickly. Mm -hmm. even, if, even if we're full blasting Nami. So I might need to you know, Leona engages and we're both in range. I might need to wait for Lucian to target Leona for just even like two auto attacks, like a dash auto queue before I start to walk into Nami. Because as soon as Lucian's combo is gone, like, great. I, he's not going to kill me now. Mm -hmm. But especially like stuff like Coling, don't walk into that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if, if it's MF, you don't want to be walking into that MF ulti either. Yeah. You know, just keep that space and just look at the support or you're going to be able to hit easily now. And then, you know, it, it might change again pretty quickly, but we need to make sure we're actually changing. But, all righty. All right, dude. We're finally back at it. I took a, I guess it's only been probably like, what, a week? 
Well, not even. I think we we're scheduled for Monday. And oh no, you're well, right. I, guess I mean, it was since like the last week. yeah, since the last month's been a week. Yeah, it's been about a week, so it's not too bad. But I am, yeah, I just got a lot going on, dude. Moving yeah, back in good. like three three weeks now or so. Rock on. Probably still gonna be doing these while I'm in Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Rock on. Maybe a little bit. Catch year, some, but it'll probably be fine. You'll catch some um, Korean solo queue, maybe. Oh, that's how that goes. That'll be fun. Yeah. Well, all right. Just keep in touch when you want to do the next one. We can get that scheduled, no problem. Rock but on. We'll do. Till then, dude. I'll talk to you later. For sure. <laughs> See ya. Right, have a good peace. one. You too. All right. Day three done. Oh boy. I gotta write this down before we get it. Oh. Remembering to. I'll be uploading this straight to YouTube, by the way, guys. Tunnel. Vision. In. Boarding. When. Possible. All right, but other than that, that's in the stream. I'll see y'all tomorrow at 8 a.m. No, I won't because I'll be at work at 8 a.m. I'll see y'all at the latest Monday, maybe this weekend. We'll see. Other than that, y'all have a great rest of your day.